third one? It's further down. Okay. I can't. I can't see him at the moment. Yeah, because you've got an easy drive. Yeah, baby, good, good. Okay, cool. He's behind the two. I apologise, we're going to jump onto this easy jet because we know someone who's on it. Yeah. Um, off to Gibraltar. Yes, good morning everybody. Good morning, sorry I didn't say good morning. So we've just been in a mad panic just to make sure we got this easy jet here. Uh, we've got a friend who's on board. Well, he's a really good guy on Twitter who's always like, really complimentary about my shots and stuff like that. And he's a nice guy. So we were just like, go the stream up because once again from this spot, you have to boot Start the stream. Twice, yeah. You have to boot up twice. It's really, it's just this spot, and it's I don't know what it is, but it was the same issue that we had yesterday. But I think we were on time today, weren't we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just we were maybe like a minute. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> welcome everybody. How are we on this bank holiday Monday here in the UK? Um, we hope you're well. Um, I want to say thank you for another amazing show. I said I left. I left the mound feeling buzzed yesterday. Yeah, it was really good. I like. It's just the feelings you get. It's really good. So thank you, everyone. All right, let's get this easy jet. Have a good flight, mate. A bit of corrections there on uh, takeoff, but off to Gibraltar, and, and I envy you because I love Gibraltar. <laughs> it's one uh, of my favourite places on earth. You've got two Tui Dreamliners. One is nearly on finals, another one's about to go on to finals, and uh, you've also got the Qatar um, just over, just past Macclesfield. Thank you so much, Liz. Uh. All right, let's have a quick good morning to everyone. Pixels in the sky, Chris, Hayden, uh, ABQ, John. Hi, John. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Hayden. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, David, Neil. Uh, who else have we got? Good morning, uh, Samil. Hope you're well today. Ian S. Seven three seven after Naples. Uh, who else we got? Eric. Good morning. <coughs> uh, Ian, Mr. Modfather. The Modfather himself. <laughs> Get in there, mate. Um, Money Bean Slayer. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Just gonna have a drink. Don't blame you. Just like, <laughs> just I think I've got a bit of Kit Kat still in my throat. I can taste oh. it. Well, he just came up a hill. Like I'm like, carrying like 22 bags. Like I'm like I'm like pretending I'm like <coughs> one of the Iron Men or something. One of them strongest men in the world. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's good to be live again. Even though it was only yesterday that yeah. we were live. Uh, John and Fernie, good morning. Lucky 13, NCL guy. Uh, going. Oh, uh, just to say, uh, who was it again? Sorry. Uh, who, who was what? We got the flight, didn't we, the easy? I the recorded it. Yeah. Oh, Callie. Callie. 
Sorry, my brain's still not engaged. Yeah, no, I was just going to Callie, pop. I've, I've actually got a recording of your thing. Uh, we, uh, sorry, we I was, was going to say, I was going to pop in. The but I've got box. a 4K recording, so I'll actually do an edit for you. Probably do a reel for you. So um, There you go. Two for one, in it? So I um, hope you have a great flight as well, by the way. Absolutely. I know we've got a load of people who are flying out today, so it's... Uh, yeah, because mm-hmm. what was the other one looking out for? The Ryanair to the Dublin. The Ryanair to Dublin. Ryanair to Dublin. Um, so, uh, yeah, busy show. Joe, good morning. Hope good, you're well. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, Mr. Martin. Martin in the house. Mr. Martin in the house. I don't even know what's <laughs> going on. Uh, Keith, good morning. JC, good morning. Good morning, so about the Dreamliner just going past your house. I can now say that the first Dreamliner is just going past Cheadle. Thanks, Liz. So that'll well, be here soon. I will get that, this one rotating, and then we'll get... We have an unusual movement in today. Uh, unusual. I, <laughs> well, it is, it is for us. I mean, we've had it before, but... Um, Turkish Airlines are always the best airlines if you want variety. I mean, they literally throw they at us... They are the spice of life. ...everything. So today we actually have their 737 Max. 737-9 Max. Which would be quite... Nine, isn't it? Sorry? Isn't it Max 9? Max 9, yeah. Yeah, not 9 Max. 9 Max sounds weird. <laughs> Na- it sounds like um, that old ni- uh, uh, cable and wireless thing, wasn't it? Yeah. 9X or something. <laughs> I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along. But yeah, so we've got that in, and that, that would be quite a cool movement. We, um, I'm just going to move the weight forward on this tripod. Um, yeah, that should be interesting, that. That should be cool, especially if we get it on this runway, yeah. just for departure. Uh, Mike, Good morning. Hope you're well today. Uh, Paul D, good morning. Harry, hello. Also, we've got Gary, Lucas Selshaft, Loza, Diana. Good morning to you all. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah. On this bank holiday. Bright and early. And, uh, Money Bean Slayer gifting 10 memberships. Oh. Wow! Uh, thank you, Money Bean Slayer. Your uh, your support of the channel is like bonkers, and we we do really appreciate it. We really it. appreciate it, thank and I'm so sure much. those lucky ten new members really appreciate it as well. If you are in the chat and have just received a, a gifted membership, please do say thank you. Yeah, but yeah, awesome support. Thank you so much. Keep bumping the exposure up a bit. What's better? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this show. It's, uh, it should be a good one. Yeah, Diana there saying about um, Callie's uh, easy jet. But yeah, don't worry. I was like, I was like, I know she's flying out. And at first, I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll get it on my, like, well, on your phone. I was like, I'll get it on a phone at least. I'll get a video. And then we were almost selfish, and she taxied over here. So it was like the first, was it the first or the second? It's first. First one yeah, off, first off one. runway two. Um, and you were, oh, we're set up and do a record. I'll just throw the mics on. So, uh, and we've uh, yeah, so sorted. we've got that. So I'll, um, like I say, I'll do a reel for, for, her and uh, we'll send that over. There you go. But uh, always nice to catch people who, uh, absolutely, you know, like not only members, but you know, people who are in the chat a lot and stuff like that. Yes. So, you know, if you are and you know that we are uh, streaming, feel yeah. free just to like send us a DM or something. I'm, I love catching people. Next to a Dreamliner approaching Heel Green. That one's from Barbados. The one that's just come in. Uh, was from Montego Bay. Excellent. Well, we'll, uh, we'll wait patiently Patient. down at the bottom end for it. <laughs> be nice. Nice. That's, uh, so we could have got that um, Etihad if it wasn't for that reboot, wouldn't we? Yeah, I know. A bit good about that. But, hey. Right, where was I? Uh, Simon, good morning, Burnley. Brim, good morning. And I can see the lights now coming through the bush. Awesome. So I have to watch this wire. I have to move few things around in a little bit. That's Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Up, up late or up just awake? <laughs> oh, we couldn't watch the stream last night, could we? Um, airline videos live. No. We were watching the golf, sorry. I'm I'm a golf nut. And, it is a uh, golf nut. I have to watch that. Sorry, Kevin, you don't take precedent over the golf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a romance there, but you, you don't think. But uh, it's great to see the... Uh, the premiere, well, the, the shot of the work that he did when he went back um, to the maintenance area with United. So, uh, 
I can't wait for the full video of that. Should be Honestly, like, I saw, I was like, oh, no way. And like, I messaged you, I was like, oh, it's Kevin, like, with that. And you were like, oh, yeah, did I not tell you? Like, oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm good at keeping secrets. Although that sounds really weird, that, doesn't sounds it? Sounds really strange. No, that doesn't sound wrong. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, that one. That. No, I don't. I don't go running my mouth. I think that's, that's the way yeah, I would. No, uh, it's, I would it's good. I would uh, put it. Uh, TCE, morning Sam, morning, saying, Sam. Uh, hope you're sad. Let's, uh, thankfully, no more balconies nearby. Uh, do you know what? I, I was li- you, were like, you were literally about to get a balcony thing off me there, mate. It's good <laughs> to see you. And uh, I hope you had a good uh, trip away. You needed it, mate. And uh, it looks like you had a great time. So, uh, And uh, John there with a $20 super chat saying, uh, always uh, nice to hear your voices. John, always a pleasure to have you in the chat, mate. So thank you for your yeah, amazing support. You. Absolutely amazing. And, uh, Stuart, good morning. Hope you're well. Mike Davies, good morning. And here we have an easy jet. Kirsty, good morning. Karen, I don't think I've said, have I said good morning to you. I'm not sure. Well, good morning, Karen. If we haven't, if we're going to say it twice. Yeah, there we go. You're worthy of a, a, t- a <laughs> two time <laughs> mention there. <laughs> uh, Nigel, good morning. Living at large. Living at, living at, living at large. Morning, Paul. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. No, know. I don't. I think it just kind of, it just flows. I, I just, just make going. stuff up as I go along. I'm weird. At least I acknowledge it. Yeah. Um, Pat, good morning. Roberto, good morning. Just going back to uh, Sam from TT8. Right, he's got one of the best YouTube channels. I, I love it. I, I go in for his uh, his flight sims. I go in for his actual streams from Manchester Airport. You're going arrival, 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 guitar. Guitar. Cool. Mm. I'll do that after. I'll do. I'll do. Give yeah. you a nice little shout out after. But uh, look at that flex. Very nice. Uh, in from Doha. But yeah, Sam's got like one of the channels that kind of inspired us to do stuff. You know, he does it in a fun way. It, he, yeah, it's just, he doesn't take himself too seriously, which is a compliment. Yeah, like, I me. like that. Like, I like just the kind of, I don't really, like, it, I'm just going to have fun attitude. I, I like that. I'm here to have a bit of a laugh, and if anyone else wants to have a laugh with me, it's brilliant. I, I, yeah, subscribe to it, please. Uh, fantastic channel. And he takes the mick out of me a lot, and I like it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Brussels. I think we've got the Icons livery in. Crossing the runway. After and feeder. Okay, where was I up to? Good morning, Cammy. Hope you're well. Ah, oh, Diana, you've got work again. Oh, come down here, you naughty oh, yeah. plane. Thinking of the bank holiday play. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm hoping this beauty comes down right in front of us. Which one is it? Belgian icons. Ah, uh, okay. It's that moving down thing. with a bit of pace as well. Uh, if so, that'll be my car for this one. As this is. Oh, he's going fast. Keep going. Keep going. Don't turn left. Don't... Oh, you mugged me off big time there. Um... I tell you what, he's taking that tack to turn at a, a fair old lick. That was... Uh, yeah, no messing there. Defo wants to get back to uh, Brussels. Real Brussels. Real Brussels, that's the one. As opposed to fake Brussels. Yes. I think I might still record this one. Yes.
Liz just got buzzed by the robin. I didn't really, it just flew past. Yeah, exactly, yeah. buzzed you. <laughs> Good morning, Pablo. Hope California is, uh, well, I was going to say like nicer than here, but I suppose it's probably quite dark there right now, but still. <laughs> uh, morning. And, um,. Sarah, yeah, the uh, the EasyJet Jesus went to Gibraltar yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's the right place for it to go. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why, but went to give a sermon on the rock. There you go, David. Good morning, Kobe. Good morning. Cammy, I take it you're not a fan of the golf. <laughs> It's uh, an easy jet after Hamburg. It's A320. They're just struggling a little bit when they're on the rotation to keep their uh, wings level today. Mm. I don't know if there's a bit of a side breeze. Well, I mean, there, there is a crosswind. Uh, Got the, the uh, Elingus A321 Neo from um, um, Dublin. Uh, Dublin? That's the Belfast, which... I, no, it's only just turned on, I was going to uh, say. Okay, thanks, Liz. JFK, sorry. Do you know what? I saw that and just assumed it was the... You know, because they keep sending the one from Dublin. Yeah. I don't, but yeah, no, it's the, it is actually the JFK one. Yeah, it's nice to catch that one on the stream. Because, <laughs> like I said, during the winter, it was always in at, like, 5.30 and stuff like that. Yeah. Now they've, they've pulled the hours back, and it's uh, it's, it's, it's cool to catch it. And uh, thank you, Joe, the $15 super chat, uh, saying... Oh. Don't say no. Oh. Did, no. did, did he just say oh in that super chat? That's no, a, no, you, Joe, you need to work on your super chats, lads. You, you just moved my whole chat. Oh, okay, I'll let you off. Uh, saying so happy Monday morning to you, Simon and Liz. Uh, lots of love from the whole family. Oh, exactly, mate. Uh, it's really good. Thank you so much Thank for you. Uh, your support. And as I say, we do treat this thing, whole thing as a family. So thank you. And we really appreciate it, mate. Take care. Boom. I just, I put my arm up like a face thing. I don't even know what I was doing. Yeah, they, they can hear you. They can't see you. <laughs> uh, Clear for adventure. Good morning. I'm sorry we're stopping you getting your work done. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. Disruptors. J320 Neo off to uh, Dalaman. Just Dalaman, not a Dalaman. <laughs> yeah, Ashton. another one. Just like on, on rotation, they're, they're really. I know it's, it's a lot more exposed up at the top end, you know, when we yeah, do yeah. shows up there, you, you do notice the wind and everything. Um, but they are struggling a little bit just as they. Uh, as, as they hit V1 and just pull back on the. Uh, mm. Well, it depends what, they, what plane they're flying, whether it's a Boeing or. Um, an Airbus, but um, yeah, zero toe, they're just getting hit a little bit. Uh, Kevin, just mo- uh, good morning, saying it's wet down south. Keep it. We have got the tent with us today, so we're not. All the weather changes all the time, all the weather say different, like all the weather apps say different things. So it might rain, it might not rain. I know it's going to rain this afternoon, so we do know that we kind of go. Let's just get off before that. Yeah, let's, let's make sure that we're not here when it's absolutely chucking it down. But as an, at the moment, touch wood it's not bad but as i say we do have the tent uh if if that if it does come to that we're going to take Wait. like five or six minutes i'm yeah, just going to leave have it to on the tower up. and put it on and you'll just have to see planes bush past and, Make- and listen to us going oh god you can't put it in there oh no no you gotta do that that's what you'll be hearing yeah. to be honest like, oh god i hate this thing I hate this tent <laughs> love streaming hate tents <laughs> <laughs> well, Jan, hope you well <laughs> Up to his toaster. Good morning. Did so say Jesus? Yes. <laughs> morning, Rick. Uh, Miles, good morning.
Mount Ryanair is off to Copenhagen, 737. And I can uh, see our next arrival. That was the Aer Lingus, wasn't it? Uh, waiting to go out, we've got a Ryanair 737 for Carcassonne. Uh, and a Ryanair 737 Max, which we're going to Almeria. Oh, it's going to be on one onto another. This is going to be fun, people. Seamless. Well done. LJM, good morning. Uh, Why, well, thank you, uh, Miles, with the 10 gifted membership. Oh, thank you so much for that. Oh, that was amazing. Who, I couldn't, right, because at the end there's a plane turning on, I couldn't hear who that was. Miles. Thank you, Miles. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, awesome. And I'm sure the community and ones who've just been gifted those memberships really love it as well. So thank you for that. And people, if you've just been gifted a membership, please just take the time to say thank you so much to that individual because I say their generosity not only helps you, it really helps us as well as a growing channel. So thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And then Joe is also gifted five memberships. Boom shakalaka. We're going boom shakalaka at this time in the morning. <laughs> I never thought I would say that at this time in the morning. Thank you so much, Joe. Lots of uh, amazing new members. You guys are awesome. Absolutely amazing. So we have this Ryanair um, 8-200 Max. I'm sorry, I still can't say it without laughing. Right now, just change it back, please. Oh, no. Just I do leave. love you, but, like, guys, just change it back. Everyone's over the max thing now. Exactly. They're not... You know, they're all right now. We're all good. I don't get any messages off people anymore going, is it a safe plane to fly on? Exactly. That's a good sign. I used sign. to get a lot of those as well. Yeah, exactly. It's a good sign, that. See how this uh, Ryanair mm. does on rotation. See if it gets uh, what's uh, about. David uh, working another bank holiday. Just a little I think bit. That's cool. I, I didn't. That was that was one of my kind of things. There's like obviously I know it's a bank holiday in the UK. It is it a bank holiday in like all the countries? Like I kind of assume probably maybe, but yeah, apparently it is. Um, yeah, I think it. it you know, Catholicism well, goes well. Yeah, but at least you get time and a half and a day off in Lou, so that is all good. Um, we couldn't cut the grass due to two thunderstorms in the afternoon, so I love a thunderstorm, mate. It's like the most relaxing thing ever to listen to. Uh, overtime, overtime is re- always, go- always a bonus, isn't it? Well, that's true. Uh, we were listening to someone being explained what o- overtime was last night, weren't we? Out. Yeah, a little dark. Let's just bump that up a little bit. It is dark here today. Yeah, it's gl- it's, yeah, it's, it's gl- gloomy. It's not exactly... Um, gloomy, gloomy. Lovely. And, uh, Paul, good morning. And uh, happy Easter. Hope you had a good weekend. And, uh, I hope you've had some uh, chocolate indulgence. Oh, yeah. People, how many eggs did you have? We want, we want like a competition to see how, uh, who had the most eggs. Exactly. So we got, I got a Maltesers bunny, nearly accidentally picked up the orange one, and no one likes orange chocolate. Well, I know, it's disgusting. Um, but then we got some, I was like, oh, I've got a cream egg, but they only had the caramel eggs. One of us, there's five caramel eggs in a box. Uh, which is basically like it's chocolate with a lot of caramel in but one of them was like the caramel had leaked and it was like oh, super glued to the box and then I tried and I was like it's just a bit too much caramel like I feel like with caramel chocolate you need to have like quite 
underneath there's a certain like caramel to chocolate ratio and they just don't do it that well oh i'm sorry you're just wrong you didn't have one i've had one before oh, oh. Uh, oh are you... get you but poor tasted eggs yep poor taste And it's the max hour here. Uh, TC, Sam, the only question is, did you go? <laughs> uh, LJ, I, mean, I think I've watched that Boeing documentary on Netflix. It's not... It's all right. Background viewing. <laughs> For me, personally, anyway. And, um, and Nigel, good morning to you over in uh, Northwich. It's not too windy today. As long as the rain stays away, the mud should stay away as well. Yeah, it should be all right. Well, we can focus on the tower for a few minutes, uh, just because it has gone a little quiet. We do have an easy jet that's pushed. Uh, we've got another one that's about to taxi. Cool. Alpha Charlie, good morning. Saying that, well, if it isn't my old haunt. Has. We've got some finals, finals, finals. Finals. Rainer, Rainer, Rainer. It's, it's not that close yet. I don't know. It's. I can see it. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, Liz. Like, I've got oh, visuals. Sorry, all right. Well, then you've got an Erlinger A330, not far behind that for a minute. There you go. Look, uh, perfect Barbados. timing. A nice slow pan over there. And I'm on it. There you go. Well, he's going in for a Bosch landing here. <laughs> um, oh. Money being slow with the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. We need to get on the remotes. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much, Money Bean Slayer. Absolute uh, legend. Thank you, you so much. Legend's um, overused. But I think I think it's correct. It's used worthy though. Yeah. I think you're worthy of it, easy. Um so thank you so much for the support of the channel. It is helping us massively, yeah. so thank but, you. And I know that if you're wondering how people are getting gifted memberships, if you go up in the chat to the green box where it has the thing, the announcement for the money gifted memberships underneath it says allow gifts. Um, you should be able to do that on any device. Just to add, um, you, po you put a post up last week about joining the uh, Think Planes Clubhouse. So I'm not talking about that. Just to say to the people who are kind enough to gift memberships, if you go in and just check on that post, there were quite a few people who just said who were just saying thank you so much to the kind people who would donate, yeah. who, you know, who were gifting these memberships. So you know, it, it really is having an impact, not just for us, but also for members of the channel. So thank you. Uh, Kyle, good morning. Happy Easter Monday to you too. Morning, Steve. And uh, yes, you're correct. Typical bank holiday or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Steve and Charlie. Sorry, I just got something about this. Steve and Charlie, good morning. Oh, I know. And there was someone who I needed. So, yes. Waters, the... good morning. Good morning, Waters. There was someone yesterday sorry I'm not focusing on the things I'm looking at my phone so there was a chat that was, we got sent a message on Facebook and I don't always read ones out on Facebook but I did read the partial message but then I realised there was another part to it this is why you should like if you want like you know to get a shout out or something just do it in the chat because we, we can't always oh. Oh. I need to re my tripod after that <laughs> There's the uh, A330. I did warn you in fairness. You did? Funny. No, you did. You did. You did. You did. That one's my badge, but we did get it. I got the good bit where he's making the noise anyway. Uh, Cammy, no, I didn't see anything about that right now at Dublin. Is that on. Oh, um... I did, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, I showed you it. Did you? No, you can. When did you show me that? Last night. When? I showed you the front gear. I showed you the front gear. No, you didn't. Now, Liz, Liz had a glass of wine or two last night, so I'm, I'm going, you did, I did, and I know I did. You probably went, oh, look at that, with your phone, like, five 
metres away from my face. No, I, I, I showed you it. I said, that doesn't look good. Because I said, Tom. I said, imagine what Tom would think of that. Yeah, I did. You see, now, I did. No. No, I did. No, you didn't. No, I did. Are you sure you didn't put it in a group chat? No, I didn't put it in a group chat. Because it was in the group chat this morning. Okay. I don't so, remember this. Well, you, you probably need to stop drinking then. I can't remember what you're saying. You need to start putting things in front of my face if you want me to see them. Right, I'm just going to re-level the tripod because I did just move it over a bit. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense today with the call them public holidays down, uh, down there. Sorry. <laughs> over there. Just automatically say you're around there. Down because you, you you're in like your south. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Why do we call them bank holidays? Is it because you're banking a holiday or banks are closed? The well, well. Uh, good morning, Louise, over in Denmark. Ah, yes. If you could send some Danish sunshine, that'd be lovely. He's J320 off to Berlin. Chocolate eggs, Paul. Like, why? Just get some chocolate eggs. They're all going to go on discount. Probably from... Oh, it's going to be first thing tomorrow. I seem to remember, was it... I don't know. I feel like it was at some point in lockdown I tried to go and get a load of cheap Easter eggs. And I think I remember going... I think it was just Sainsbury's because it's just the closest shop. And I swear it was like the Tuesday. And it's probably about 11am or something on the Tuesday after obviously the Monday. And I swear they were already like ripping them all off the shelves just like I didn't the staff were like put them away or take I don't know what they were doing with them but I was like no put them on discount so yeah just in regard to that message thing that I was mm. doing about for, um, so it was a guy called Mark Campbell um, and he just wanted me to say hi well wanted us to say hi to Coral in Colchester so, there we go okay Done. it's a day late but I did say I was going to be doing it so there you go if we can we will Uh, Andrew, good morning. And uh, yes, I am aware that Erlingus don't have a, an EIEIO registration. <laughs> the thing is, that it only went, I mean, I don't know if it was uh, for, he said it was for a Piper, but if they had done it, then they'd have had to start naming uh, their planes like Virgin Day, and then they'll have had to call it Old MacDonald. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, BC, good morning. Um, chocolate, salty, caramel, hot cross buns from Tesco are so good. Yeah, we we're going back to the hot cross bun conversation we are. again. <laughs> I need to try. I feel like I need to try to them before they all disappear for another year. I think Tesco need to pay us. I know. I feel like they probably we've probably done Tesco really good. Yeah, you know, every little helps Tesco. Yeah, give me some club car points. Yeah, please. Al, good morning. Is off to Tenerife. It's a 737. Well, we have our first Jet 2 coming out now. Light like the fires, kick the tires. Good morning. <laughs> oh, 
last time you met me, Chopper? Where is this off to? Um, no, Fun Chal. Ah. I wonder if Fun Chal is off to Fun Chal. Oh, it's only the old ones at the name, isn't it? <laughs> Miles said, uh, finally after 20 years, my family uh, gave in and got me a plane at Cadbury's Easter egg. Uh, good size as well. Felt like I was a child again. Uh, so hard to find in Oz. I bet it is. They are... Uh, you can't beat just a, a Cadbury's sort of... No, it's decent chocolate. It is. It's like... Do you remember all the debacle about Thornton's back in the, back in the day? You know, they used to put like uh, they used to put your name on it. Oh yeah. And then it all came out that like they used to charge you a fortune. Mm. And then it all came out that their crated chocolate was actually worse than like um, yeah. just, like, just normal Cadbury's, and it was like. It's about that. Uh, Paula Sugar, morning. Thank you, legend. Um, 999 Super Chat saying, uh, fill the flask fund. Thanks, Simon and Liz. Absolutely. To the mod father, it should be us thanking you, mate. Absolutely. So thank you so much for your amazing support. And it's not, I don't mean just like that, that financial support, I mean just for your support of the channel, full Absolutely. stop. Absolutely, yeah, like, you're always. Guys, hammer that out. best mods thing, because like. Emoji. Yeah. It, cause five that, star mods. Five star mods, get in there, because that's what. Our mods are, but Ian, Ian is just boom. Hashtag daddy o. <laughs> He's the daddy o mods. So we've got a Ryanair coming out. I can see, and I can see another easy jet on the taxi. So we're going to have a couple more planes over here in a minute. Good. We just want a nice little steady flow today. Yeah. That'd be a nice. Uh... Good morning, Annette. Hope you're well. And uh, Suzanne, good morning, also with the £10 Super Chat, oh. saying uh, happy Easter, Liz and Simon. Uh, sorry I missed your stream yesterday. I uh, had family around, I uh, was Bed, gutted, exactly. missed it. Well, hopefully you managed to watch some of it back. It was, yeah, was, was alright, the weather was nicer. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no, we had a really nice show, like we finished the show and it was like, we just went, both said to each other, we really, both, really both enjoyed that yeah, one. Yeah, it just had a nice vibe to it, but uh, honestly, Suzanne, thank you so thank much. Thank you for your support and we hope you have a similar show today, but just to say, like, we, we knew when we did the stream yesterday, like, it probably wouldn't be that busy just because people have so many family commitments on um, Easter Sunday. I so. think uh, we've had quite a few people watch back there, I will yeah, say. Yeah, we have, so uh, thank you to everyone who's done that, but... Uh, we totally get it. Like, exactly. If you can join us for a bit, that's fantastic. If not, no worries. We're not going to... I'm going to go mental going, Ah, oh, you should be watching us! No, we don't <laughs> like that. It's just like, if you can, superb. If not, don't worry. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just oh, trying to okay. catch up with the chat as usual. So, uh, just to give you a heads up, so we did, I did play that I saw, I thought it was an EJAT, it's actually EJAT 2A321. I just an, saw an it. An EJAT? Is that like the short version of EJAT? Yeah, I just say so for a it just goes through your head. It just <laughs> it doesn't even have time to actually translate in there. It's, that's, that's how good it is. But, um, but there is an EasyJet push in now, I can see, in the back. I don't know, I saw, uh, like the fire skits, I said uh, a friend was on that Ryanair flight. I uh, said it was like a giant bang, and he felt like it came to a sudden stop. I bet you it did. Well, it was good to see that everyone, you know, it was resolved in a safe manner, but yeah, I could imagine. You just sat there thinking, oh, this is all good, and bang. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so Sarah, it's um, saying about the M&S hot cross buns and they look really good on the TV. 
and apparently it's two for three pounds. We'll see if there's any lie. You've always said that the M&S ones are good, didn't you? Yeah, the decent, decent. But I, I won't lie. Liz got the uh, that as the ones, and I, I, I was impressed. Extra special. Yeah, um, not, not, not extra fruity ones. Not the box standard ones, but the, the, the these premium ones were really good. They had just that perfect amount of cinnamon and spicing in there. It was really nice. I enjoyed them. I, I only had one, didn't I? So. I yeah, exactly. Well, we've got another one each to eat, to be fair. Yeah. Let's see what Jet 2's doing. Uh, uh, Riley, I assume that A340 that's coming this afternoon is a high fly again. Yeah. Um, I but I tell you what, we're not going to be here at quarter to six in the evening. I can, I can guarantee that. I can guarantee you that one. <laughs> Twenty-one after Faro. Uh, so all right, all right, LJ, it's not just um, Easter eggs. The same like, why do Easter eggs? Why does the chocolate taste different to like the normal bars? But it's the same like, if you think of Cadbury's chocolate, there's so many varieties of that. It's just the plain like. So you've got twirls, you've got normal like Cadbury's bars, you've got Freddo bars. Um, I can't think of any just off the top of my head, but they're all just like plain Cadbury's Cabri chocolate. Cadbury's twirl. But yeah, yeah, but that's what I said, but they're all, they all taste different. Yeah, they do. Flakes. Yeah. Obviously, that's like, a, like, even a flake and a twirl taste different, and a flake is basically, a twirl is a flake wrapped in chocolate. Pretty much. Cadbury's make flake, though. Yeah. 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 I didn't know, I thought that was another. Yeah, no. Oh, there's all the five-star moth emojis. Boom. Testify to those people. Look, I've got my one arm up. You can't see me, but I am doing it. Well, Paul Sanders, uh, mum used to love the uh, Thornton's truck. I used to like the champagne truffles from there. You couldn't eat too many of them, but... Oh, I know what I meant to say, and I didn't do it, and I, I, I did say I was going to, but... Well, uh, apparently, uh, the guitar pilot was waving, wasn't he, yesterday? Was on it? the stream, oh, yeah, yeah, right, I did. Okay. See, I mentioned that as well, but obviously not listening again. I think you think you've said all this to me, and I was actually having a nap. No, less. it was in the evening. Ian, we love having you here. It's just a bonus that you like being here as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hayden with a two dollar super chat saying uh, I melted chocolate and put it on my hot, Ooh, on a hot cross bun. Yeah. See, I was saying yesterday Nutella would probably be quite nice on a hot cross bun. That's that day though, Hayden. I like that, mate. And yeah. thank you for the thank uh, you the chat, mate. Super chat. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for your support as well. Thank you. You're, you are awesome. very much appreciated. Yeah, it really is. So thank you. We do have a BA. I'm being so nice to BA at the moment. It's just because yeah. they're waving to us a lot. And I know. If you wave to us, I am going to be nice exactly. to BA. I'm still not going to change my opinion on them, but <laughs> I'll be nice to them. Oh, I'll tell you what, I saw someone's uh, uh, video the other day on a, a, a clock app. And. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, it was like a, you know, like a little uh, come travel with me to wherever. Oh, yeah, you and told me about this. It, it was with BA. I can confirm they still do them little mini bags of uh, sour cream and onion pretzels. I literally was there watching it go, oh, they still do the pretzels! <laughs> Excellent. So, oh, we've got two easy jets on the taxi now as yeah. well. Oh yeah, Paul, I was going to say if you're vegan, though, like, I was going to say don't uh, Cadbury's do a vegan chocolate, but I'd try it, like, I think with a lot of that sort of stuff now, I think they've really kind of refined the um, the taste of them all to be as sort of similar as possible. Absolutely. Um, so they're probably, pretty, I mean, they probably cost you a lot more, but I suppose it's a treat. That's life, isn't it? Mm.
but uh, Jack, good morning to you, or good good evening probably over in, uh, well, middle of the night, I don't know, hang on, so North Carolina, is that five, five hours, and I'm six, four, three, two. yeah, that's like middle of the night, yeah. <laughs> but welcome. Yeah, thank you uh, for joining us, it's great to have people over from the United States. Yeah, especially as we know the times are, yes, we do. are a bit not bonkers favorable. for you guys, so we do appreciate it. I'll just hope that you're not working tomorrow so you can uh, yeah. keep watching us. <laughs> Selfishly. <Absolutely. laughs> selfish on that one. Uh, do we have anything on finals, Liz? I'm going to just have a little look. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, it's just at Stockport. It's the Cafe A350 50. from Hong Kong. Nice. This will be a really good one. To a cap. good job I uh, checked that. <laughs> oh, good. It's good I actually asked. Yeah, that's true. Try to take the glory once again, yeah. Liz. Yeah, lucky 13, you cannot microwave a Cadbury like It will not melt. That is a fun thing for you. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, no, the, it just crumbles. It doesn't you, melt. You should, you should have seen Lizzie's face there. I've never seen so much excitement on there in all my yeah, life. I know something. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was a bit of a thing. Uh, God, it's probably about a year ago now. Yeah. Uh, and everyone's like, no, nah, no, surely not. And a load of people tried it. That sounds like it. That, I, sounds, I think like, it, actually, that sounds like a lockdown thing. I tell thing. you what, yeah, well, I think it was It was towards the end of all that. I think it, in fact, I think it might have been like the end of 2021 or something. I actually tried it with a bit. And it, yeah, it just kind of did. goes a bit soft and maybe crumb. It, it definitely, it doesn't melt. It's, uh, oh no. If you're really stuck of things to do with the kids while they're on school holidays at the moment, get yourself a flake. Just mess with the heads, people. Just yeah. mess with the heads. Try and melt it in the microwave. I tell you now, it'd probably give you at least 20 minutes of entertainment. <laughs> Liz's top tips for... Tips for uh... <laughs> Make sure you say that right there. Wow. Top tips. There you go. For... Uh... For keeping kids entertained. The other one I saw the other day... Uh, and I think this is more probably for much younger kids. Um, but I'm sure it probably applies to some of you. Um, get a load of their little toys and put them in a bowl of water. Freeze the bowl of water. Uh, and then they said it was Elsie that froze everything. I'm going 600 on this, peeps. Cafe. Priorities. 600. Sorry. That came in quick, that. Stop pot. Huh? Wow. Nice. Well, yeah, See the cafe. It is. It is. And it's the 900 variant. You can tell by the numbers on the wheels on the rear gear there. Quick way of doing it. I mean, because it's longer. Uh, on the 1000 it is, not on the 900. Because 900 is smaller. All right, we'll catch this easy jet as it goes past. Oh, Sarah's saying she's living near the Bourneville factory. I bet, yeah, I bet that smell was nice. Oh, my God. I want to live near it. The thing is, though, I feel like a bit too much too much chocolate smell will get a bit sick like for a while. Well, Maybe. I think that's the thing. I could you, be wrong. You, you go through little things with it, don't you? It's yeah. like, you go, oh, it's too much, and then it's like, it's not too bad. I'll tell you what, Bourneville chocolate, I don't mind. I never used to like that as a kid, and then they've made it a lot sweeter now. Oh, no. See, I, if I want dark chocolate, I just want dark chocolate. Well, that's the thing. Like, I think, I can't remember. I don't like a hybrid kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, um, I can't remember why I tried it. I don't know. It was just like, oh, I'll just try it, whatever. And probably had it in, like, a selection it thing. It could have probably come from something like that, yeah. Um, yeah I love dark sweet. chocolate. I think the I think the best one. I like the lint dark one, but I like the flavored one. So the mint one. Yeah. The mint dark chocolate. It tastes like after eights, but you know, minus the kind of the gooey bit in after eights. Do you know Aldi do a decent dark chocolate? I oh, do they. Yeah. Oh. I don't like the milk chocolate. Yeah. But, but the dark their dark one. chocolate's not bad. 
I think it's like the 80% one. Ah, okay. But yeah, it's like a couple of pieces of that and you're done. Well, that's a good thing. That's what they say you should have for dark chocolate for. Like, if you want that bit of a... You need to settle a sweet craving. Yeah. Um, but because it is quite, like, bitter and stuff, you don't eat that much of it. No, exactly. Uh, Dora's good at morning. Good morning, Roy. Wow, that, so there's a Tui crossing the runway, and my goodness, it sounds like it's spooling up. Is there something it coming does. on finals? Um, like, short finals? Because, I mean, he, they were in a rush to get over that runway. No. No, it's really weird. You put a lot of power down just across the runway. No, next thing in will be a uh, little biz chat. Oh, you always want to get out of the way biz White jet. Plains. Oh, it's for, is that the one from White Sands? White Plains. White Plains. Ah, oh, see, I got that muddle of white sands there. Okay, boom. That's safe, cause I, I think... only really know the name White Plains because of friends. <laughs> well, White Sands is the alternate, one of the alternate landing sites for the shuttle. Oh. This is more the, the space shuttle. And it's like one of the wrong... Is it... The, people in America, please correct me on this one, but it's like one of the longest runways that, oh, okay, that there well, are. Yeah. Or that one. Yeah, but it's not this one because I've got muddled up. Okay. Uh, Scooter, good morning. Okay, we um, have this uh, British Airways shuttle now going back to Heathrow. Awesome. So, uh, thanks for joining us all. I'm going to have a long Oscar. wave because they're really <laughs> good towards at the moment. <laughs> uh, Devon, good morning. Sam, good morning. Stephen and James, good morning to you both. Glad you're enjoying the stream this morning. Yeah. And the noisy Tui has now entered runway 23 left. No problem, Jack. Good night. And just to say, if your internet and the equipment you're using allows it, we do stream in 4K. Uh, so, yeah. whack, get in the, uh, the gear icon, whack it to 2160 and uh, enjoy the better sound um, as well as image quality. And it does come in handy in some things, doesn't it? It does. Um, morning, Maggie. And Eddie, good morning. Uh, weather gloomy. There's a shades. Do you know what? There is a patch of blue sky. I can see it. Wow. Hey, I'm um, taking that today. So I'm hoping to go to Bellevue for the speedway uh, oh, later yeah. if the weather allows. It is meant to be raining this afternoon, like properly raining by the looks of the weather forecast. Now, the weather forecast is known to change and be wrong, so it could be anything. But I do think, I think every weather app is saying it's going to rain this afternoon. Yeah. So I think it's a safe bet, that one. If you are going out... Raincoat and Brolly, maybe. Someone on Twitter called Carlos just followed us. <laughs> she hits the crow. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> so she just signed up. To... <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, it's got a bird. Bizjet is at Cheadle, if you're interested. Cool. cool. I think we're going to concentrate on departures. I would agree. Uh, if we do get to see it, though, I'll definitely okay. uh, stick the camera on it. 
Uh, Next same years ago, I visited a friend um, that lived just down the road from where a lot of Mr. Kipling cakes were made. And the smell of Christmas cake in summer was divine. So I couldn't smell Christmas cake in summer. It would be really weird. Like, imagine if you work like, somewhere like that and you're going to make Christmas cakes in the summer. Nice. Yeah, Suzanne likes dark chocolate as well. Good choice. I have to be in the mood for it. Otherwise, I'm just... No, I, I get that you have to be in the mood for it. But as I say, if I'm just like feeling that and I don't want to have like a, you know, go, you know, go in full and gorge mode, yeah, which, you, yeah, which yeah. you tend to do really with dairy chocolate, don't you? Um, I'll, I'll always just have like, you know, try and have a couple of pieces of that. In fairness, gorge mode usually wins though with me. Oh, Sarah's saying that the Aldi chili chocolate that's dark is apparently really good. See, I like. I'd be intrigued to try that because I do like chilli. I do like, yeah. But, um, so the best one, I can only find it abroad. I even when we were in the lint shop, I looked and they don't have it here. Um, is it's like a dark lint chocolate, but it's got you know like a you know like a fondanty type of flavour. I can't think what you call it. It's like a fondant, I guess, in the middle, but it's like yeah, a bit yeah. more liquidy than that. I don't know. But it's um, it's chilli and cherry sounds a bit weird but honestly that stuff is so good like if you're ever abroad like they've got quite a few I think they've got like orangey ones and stuff as well right um, everyone's like everyone's like looking at you like weird no no honestly you've got to try it I, I at first was like mm, no but then yeah it's a winner let's go on the engine Well, I've never even been to the Cadbury's place. I don't know, it's, it's quite the tourist attraction, isn't it? But, uh, EasyJet off to Belfast. Thank you. Uh, this EasyJet coming out is going to Paris. Oh, and there's the BizJet. Yeah. I'll just get on there. Hey there, I'm very rich. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's in from... This is in from White Plains. Code is HPM, if that helps anyone anymore. <laughs> There you go, see pretty Swiss there. I'm in White Plains, New York. Get in there. There you go. Oh, nice to see something. Uh... But then to answer your question, so John was saying, uh, White Sands uh, is very long. Um, yes, isn't that? Uh, and they never did get all the sand out of the uh, shuttle that landed there. Wow. <laughs> oh, we have a lovely easy jet just waiting in front of us. Cool. Uh, I think the Jet morning. 273 is going to be going for that, though. Peter, good morning. Yeah, there you go. So Eric's saying, um, so White Sands and Edwards... Edwards, Ed yeah. Air Force Base. Yeah. There you go. I just had to go, what was that? Oh, Air Force Base. Uh, here in California uh, with the backup shuttle orbit landing sites. Alternates, yeah. Uh, super long, uh, especially Edwards. Uh, nothing but dry lake around. Wow, okay. Now I know as well. My irrelevant trivia yeah. showing through there. <laughs> thanks for um, thanks everyone who just uh, put those uh, comments in. Always helpful. Absolutely. Good morning, Paula. Hope you're well today. Yeah, Peter. So let's see what 2160p does to my laptop's battery life. <laughs> oh, it's only 2130. We're not going to kill you with a 60. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are going to be trying to go for 2160 soon. Um, there are a few things that we're going to be doing for that. But, um, I think you need to explain that to the vast majority of people probably like, what are you on about? So it's the frame, so 2160 is the resolution. So 2160 is typically 4K. You know, everyone when you talk about 4K, it's the normal resolution for the base level of 4K. Um, and then there's another thing, and it's like, you know, um, 
the frames per second, uh, what you're going to be seeing it as. And we're, at the moment, we're about 25. We're at 25. Um, but we're looking to move up, or bump it up to 60 for a smoother kind of experience. I think that's possible, but we need to experiment. So, um, yeah, we'll tell you when we're going to do it. Um, the, as I think as everyone knows, the problem we've got at Manchester is we're in the middle of nowhere when it comes to uh, signal, uh, mobile signal, and it can create a few issues, but the numbers we're getting at the moment are crazy. Yeah. So, in that regards, it's all good. Exactly. So, uh, I might try it. We might try it. Oh, thanks, Ian. Saying the uh, quality on the TV is fantastic, I have to say. Boom. That's what we want to hear. That is what we want to hear. Uh, Ian Meadows saying she never want a lion. We get a lion on other days. Get a lion tomorrow. <laughs> Anything past 5 a.m. is a lion. <laughs> Anything past 5, yeah, 5 a.m. is definitely a lion for me. So, uh... Um... We have a new member. Hey. And, uh, hang on. Uh, Hinsenberg, 79. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much. Sorry, it took me a second then to make sure I read that username right. I don't like getting usernames wrong. But, uh, welcome to the channel. Yeah, welcome. Um, part of that, you get to use the fabulous emotes that you see all the members using. And you also get access to the Think Plains Clubhouse on Facebook. So if you just go over there, um, and when you uh, go to join it, it'll ask you a question, what's your username on YouTube? If you put that in, uh, we'll cross-reference you and get you in there. If you don't use a YouTube name, because we do check the list, don't we? We do. Um, then, unfortunately, we won't let it you in. It goes for gifted memberships as well, so if you've been gifted yes. a membership, you can also join there. Can you have a cheeky? Any chance of a, a coffee Happy, in a minute? yeah. Thank you. It's full, that, by the way. That's okay. like... like full because like after the kind of I fill af- after the comment yesterday I like right I am filling this to the brim I, I wouldn't have it in your knee that's not the point I'm right up to the top oh lovely do you know I tried that because I tried that coffee you know the new coffee yesterday yeah it tastes absolutely no different so I usually get, when it's on offer, you know, I'd like to get the Dow Egg, but it's gold blend, right? Nothing fancy, it's just a, what's it, coffee? It's um, uh, instant coffee, but it is nice. And so it was on offer still, so I ordered some in the last shop that I did. And it was substituted for the dark roast. And I can honestly say there is absolutely zero difference in the taste to me. I think if you got one of those like nickel spoons out and did the thing, you'd probably tell the difference. But I think you know when nickel you whack, spoons? With, yeah, it takes the taste away. You know, like it's, it's like pure for taste. It's it's weird. It's one of them things like that. You know that book I watch for coffee stuff. Oh yeah, he uses one of them, and it's like yeah, it's uh... is that coming forward? I think it is. Let's have a look. Always happens, isn't it? You know when I go off one plane. This other one looks like it's going to start moving <laughs> towards us. Oh, what? Sorry. So this plane that's been still. Yeah. Was doing nothing, and then I went to go and pan onto the other plane, and then this one starts. Of course. Engine it does. starts making noises, which indicates it is going to start coming forward. But I don't think it is. It's not moving anyway. Um. Just well, Shannon. Big... Good morning or good afternoon to you down in Melbourne. Uh huh. Please don't die, Liz. I will try not to die. Morning. Morning. Hi there, mate. You alright? Morning. I don't know which of these are going to come on the runway first, I'll be <laughs> honest. I'm just like, yep, okay, whatever. My YouTube just uh, thing just moved. I just saw someone put something about chocolate orange, and I was about to go. I don't know. You can like chocolate orange. Orange flavored chocolate is horrible. 
And I don't know where that comment is now. <laughs> you deleted it because you've heard that you got a hate for red chocolate. <laughs> Orange flavoured chocolate. Awesome, Chris, watching in 4K today for the first time. That's great. I'd say, it's, it's if you can, and if you can't, don't worry about it. What, another thing it does help us do is, like, push it out at 1440 as well, which is a really good resolution. chocolate wow I, I have loved chocolate since i was a child like i prefer savory stuff i will say i'm more of a savory girl than a sweet girl so if you gave me a choice of you have to eat either a chocolate bar or a packet of crisps i'll pick a packet of crisps is that has that always been the oh. case with you because i know that as you get older you do your your a lot of the time your palate does move towards savory items are you asking me though with that yes that's it uh, no no i've always been like that okay Can have a little look where the uh, A380 is. Get in there. I think we got a wave there. Uh, so the Emirates A380 is 22 minutes away. Was that a wave or was he just doing his last checks on his uh, depart? I can't. I couldn't tell. All right. Forgive me for being all over in the chat right now. <laughs> such a multitasking legend now I can have a coffee whilst waving whilst <laughs> morning Joanne hope you well right I think I'm back up to sort of take uh, Tim Alli uh, Tim Alli boy good morning Martin good morning and we have a Ryanair 737 Max coming over I just had to look at the English, so that go. Still could be 737-800, but I don't think yeah. we've got any of them based here at Manchester okay. at the moment. Good morning, Lyle. That'd definitely be a max. Thank you, Liz. Oh, there we go. We've got Eric with the uh, the other more some more sort of is it shuttle facts, I guess. Uh, so an STS three uh, it was the first shuttle launch uh, with an unpainted external tank, uh, and the only mission to land at the White Sands Space uh, Harbour near uh, oh god Al Alam Alamogordo. There we go, New Mexico. <laughs> You're killing Les here, people. <laughs> uh, the orbiter was forced to land at White Sands due to flooding in its originally planned landing site. Yeah. Uh, Edwards Air Force Base. Wow. Yeah, honestly, it's fascinating. I think, you know, it's, you know, we do, we still have a fascination with space, don't we? Uh, yeah. Morning, Adrian. Hope you're enjoying that McDonald's breakfast. me that was oh. nothing else apart from me okay. not concentrating on uh morning daniel hope you're feeling a little bit better today yeah mate uh good morning jeff yeah 
Yeah, I just hope you're feeling just that little bit better. And I just remember, you know, if you get a little bit every day, a lot of things change over time, don't they? They do. Uh, okay, so Peter notices the difference between the Dow Egbert's uh, Golden Dark Roast. Um, prefers the gold. Maybe it's just because I'm just... I think it's batch as well. Maybe it's I'm just there like, coffee, give me caffeine. <laughs> I think it's batch as well. I do think that, you know, certain batches of beans do taste different. And you, oh, you, definitely. You, you can talk about consistency of bean all you want, but the, 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 it's so hard to kind of get that yeah. consistency in, in regards of that. So, yeah. Um, uh, Stephen Wood with the uh, five pound super chat saying I have a coffee on us. Oh, thank uh, you so From much. Uh, Stephen, Debbie and James. Well, thank you to you all for thank your kindness you. there. And uh, we will enjoy our coffee. We will, <laughs> well, indeed, we will definitely will. That. Oh, yes, here we go. Proper playing time. Please don't be on the tow. Oh, I think it's on the tow, isn't it? Yeah, I can see the towing vehicle. Oh, that's annoying. I thought we were going to have a proper plane coming out there for a, a minute. proper plane? Is it coming out? Is it 757 on? It looks like it's going round the back. Yeah, it is. I could, I'd hear it anyway. It's the hair dryer, isn't it? You'd hear it from there anyway. Yeah, it's going to Palmer. Oh, is it? Is, th- is this one coming out? Excellent. It looked like it had a tug at the front. Oh, right. Maybe because it was being pushed back? <laughs> no, no, it's on, it's on the taxi. Oh, right. Maybe it was... They did that little thing where they kind of push it back and then pull it forward a little bit. Well, I was about to say, it looked like one of them... Uh, do you know like the tugs that they do at LA? You know, like where they have those really fast vehicles doing yeah. it? And it's like, you're like going, you're, you're, you're pulling that vehicle along at that speed. That's crazy. But, oh no, I can hear the hair, uh, the hair dryer now. Awesome. Which is, uh, epic. Yeah, they, to be fair, the only reason I'm buying dark at the moment is because the price is like what it used to be at the moment. You, get, like, you can get it on um, special offer, can't yeah, you? Yeah. Um, otherwise, I found the little one all right, didn't I? Like, the little one's really nice. Yeah. Uh, they've got... I know um, Aldi do an Ethiopian blend, which is really mm. nice. Just, you know, for a, yeah. any, uh, for an instant. Not proper coffee, anyway. <laughs> so. uh, good morning, Jack. Hope you're well. Oh, it was poor. Cadbury's orange twirls are awesome. Uh, oh, heaven. Sorry, Paul. I just made up the word awesome there. Is that mod? Yeah. Good man. I like you. This is why I like you, mate. No. Don't Matt, care. Matt also saying I love chocolate orange. Yes, get in there. Uh, then I love most chocolate that doesn't involve nuts. I'm not having fun of that. So I satisfying, isn't it, when you, know, when you punch the top of a uh, chocolate orange and then you know it breaks into pieces. And you can finally turn, ra- know, you can could... finally turn around to your family and go, I'm a man. I could just about <laughs> live with... Um, Harry's chocolate orange I won't like it but oh, I can go right okay if that was the only orange chocolate I have to suffer in life then fine but now they're making everything oh let's make all chocolate have an suffer. orange version Liz you've never you've never actually suffered don't, don't, don't be using that I'd word. have suffered yesterday if I'd have picked up my Maltesers buddy and it's orange flavour wow. I just don't understand why they're so obsessed with that right why not mint like, why are we obsessed with orange? Like, mint and chocolate go well together. Orange... orange and chocolate go well together. It's just you don't like it. There's a big difference. Just because no. you, no, just because no, you no, don't doesn't... like something no. doesn't mean that it's a case. It, yeah. it does. It means that's it's terrible. That's an opinion. No, that's it's, an a, opinion. it's a terrible combination. No, that's an opinion. Cadbury's and Terry's and Nestle need to scrap it. Cap- Cadbury's and Nestle's sales figures say otherwise. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. It's, the, it's one of the reasons why you can't get chocolate and cherry put together that often in the UK, that's because it's a terrible combination and you like it. There we go. There's the, there's a bit of a, a bit of bickering, a little bit of bickering <laughs> on this channel. So uh, Sarah's saying, uh, my friend who climbed um, Everest has just left Kathmandu Airport uh, to Doha. I'll be back at Manchester this evening, and they've wow. raised 123k between the 20 of them. Wow, so that's that like, wasn't that's it like at 60 something? Or something? I don't know if that was one person or if that was the. I can't remember. What oh, that. is it between, right? Well, maybe that was the between one before, but that is an amazing that is total. That's an amazing job they've done there. No, it's great that. I'll oh, see you later, Diana. I hope you have a good day at work. I oh, it goes make quickly. Make a day at work again. Stop it. Leave her alone. She's a nice lady. Just give her the money. Even uh, if she doesn't work. We've got a Ryanair on finals. 
Oh, sorry, 7.5. You are not... No, that's fine. I'm just keeping an eye on the A380. Yeah. A380, I would, I would say, yeah, I would, I'll ju- I'd jump on it even for this. Because I know there's a few more going out, but um, otherwise, no chance. Oh, well, uh, Heisenberg, I'm glad that you can finally just sit back and relax and enjoy watching some planes. Oh, yeah, bounties are terrible as well. Try to get the style of coconut and chocolate. <laughs> Jonathan, hope you're well. Well, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Stop and shop, as York should say. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's probably quite a big thing over there, isn't it? If you can find some York should say. Hey, I drink York should tea nowadays. Could you imagine, right? We could, like, literally just get, you know, like them really cheap jet blue flights, get over to the stage, just like suitcases full of, like, York should tea and stuff like that. And just like, just sell it. Like you'd make an absolute fortune, wouldn't you? I just call it custom American customs do you? You get like cavity <laughs> church and everything. <laughs> like, you got, what, what, you, what are you doing here? Like I'm just uh, coming here and I'm drinking lots of tea. I'm smuggling. <laughs> I am British, don't you know? <laughs> I'm smuggling tea into the, in, in the United States because you don't have any property. <laughs> yeah, they don't have this breakfast tea nonsense. So I our breakfast tea. And here is that Ryanair 737800 list uh, told us about. Um, Martin, good morning. Uh, and Annette, you know, I don't really like the kind of chocolate coloured pretzels with the salt. I like, I like having something sweet and then having something like salty. I don't like the two. Oh, God. No, so I'm very fussy. Oh, God, she's a nightmare. That's, that's, she's not fussy, she's a nightmare. There's a big difference between <laughs> fussy, yeah? Nightmare. Oh. You, you just see what I have to go through, people. Morning vision thing. <laughs> hey, Paul, how you doing, mate? <laughs> sort of just break that tension up a little bit tension oh, we're starting that back up I'll tell you now <laughs> no messing around oh dear bong bing Jim C is in the chat with the uh the bong horn. to the bing back at you lad <laughs> with the 499 hype tripe <laughs> morning <laughs> good morning sir how are you doing it's great to have uh our new mods uh, in the chat, we got, uh, just in case you weren't on the, for the show yesterday, we uh, made an announcement that we have Vision Thing, the legend that is Vision Thing, we have the legend that is Jim C, and Wadders, no kidding, the legend that is Wadders, uh, joining us to help. Well, I, I'm just, Wadders gets bonus points at the moment, because I've just seen he was... Um, Wadders is a top lad. I'm, he was I, just telling uh, Ian Meadows, he's like, be careful, you'll get signed out for liking bounties, and I'm like, that's why I'm like, yeah, bounties are awful. I question anyone that likes a bounty. Ian, mate, I'll have you back in there in two sacks. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Well, I can probably have a coffee because I'm some far up to date with the chat. Look at me. We only started an hour and 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm back up to date. So um, how long for the A380? Just going to have a look at now. I don't, so, want, I, I don't want Mike just like right, waking up in the middle of the night, you know, because he's worked hard, right? You know, and then coming in there and then start like going in there with capital letters going, let's see, free, he's on finals. I can't do me that. The poor guy just doesn't deserve it. He's a nice guy. <laughs> so we've got the British Airways A320 from Heathrow first. And right. then um, the, the Emirates oh. Beast is about to turn on. Excellent. And it is up. I'm going to assume near Hyde or is it past Hyde? It's past Hyde. Past Hyde. It's near Ashton. Excellent. Can't wait for that. Surely you'll, oh God, speak, just speak, Simon. Just I'm speak. sure you'll agree with me on that. There we go. <laughs> well, 
Morning, so Mark. Hope you're well. So what's everyone up to today? Uh, you know, you got any plans for the rest of the day? After after watching us, of course. <laughs> uh, oh, that's because... Right, so I was like, why is Mark talking about using Kit Kats as straws for tea? And I think it's because Paul, living at large, Paul was saying, has anyone, yeah, there you go. has anyone ever drunk a hot drink through a penguin biscuit? No. <laughs> no, I haven't either. <laughs> Sick. I like... I like dunking a biscuit into a cup of tea. I like it has dismantling. To be tea. It cannot be coffee. I don't understand the. I like dismantling chocolate. Oh, so it does. He's weird. I do like the individual flavors, and then at the end, putting them all together. Oh, I do. I, I'm weird like that. I do that with my food, though. I like tasting the individual things and seeing how good they taste, and then how they work together. Why? What else do you do it with? I do it with like. A lot of stuff. I'll be I honest, go. I don't really watch you eat that much. I'm never going to start so, watching no, it's, it's, So it's not stuff that I've prepared because I would have tasted as we're, we're eating. Oh, right, okay. prepared, so it's, it's stuff when I'm out. Mm. Um, I'll do it. You know, like, so, just, like, you know, if we've got a burger or something, like a really good burger, you know, like we've got it yeah. like in Italy. No, oh, yeah. I'll take the individual components, try them separately, and then eat oh, the whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, <laughs> I do that. I just... Meanwhile, I'm just like, just like, stop it in my face. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good, it tastes good. <laughs> oh, I might have started a bit of a tea debate. I can confirm though, look, it's Yorkshire tea is the best, right? I used to drink tea, PG tips back in the day because they used to have extra strong tea bags. And if I have tea, I like to have a strong cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, none of this wheat, watery nonsense. No. I don't taste anything. Ricky's brew. Yeah, no, I'm not here for that. I like the strength. So I, yeah. I did used to have the PG tips one, but. Oh, there's Nigel. Yeah, now I'm all about the Yorkshire tea. No, well, I really, I don't really drink tea that much. I have to be often. really in the mood for a cup of tea. Like, I'll drink the herbal stuff more. Or like fruity teas or whatever. But yeah, for a normal cup of tea, I'm not. It's all about coffee. Especially in the morning. Okay, Emirates at Stockport. Cool. I remember that coffee that we had when we were in Italy. Oh my God. That Ethiopian brew was so good. I had to get... Like, so I'm, like, like I say, with tea, I like a strong tea. But with coffee, I'm... Oh, I kind of, it's not, I prefer espresso. a bit, I like really the strong stuff, I prefer it a bit more like sweet and milky, like yeah, I, I need yeah. it a bit not as in your face, like, yeah, totally. wake up! <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, it was a bit, of a bit of a shock to the system, that stuff. Okay, so we have an easy jet coming over here, but of uh, course if the Emirates... Emirates are cheered up. Yeah, I was about to say, once I get... Uh, once I'm I literally... That... So, I'm actually Oops. leaving the chat for a minute and I'm watching that because we don't that's, miss it. That, that's the main thing, isn't it? Let's be honest. I'll keep an eye out for it, but... Um, I'm not going to be that far away from it because I can always just zip across to it. Yeah. see it. And, uh, that new um, delivery is still not in here obviously that's uh, currently on the way back to Dubai from Melbourne oh, uh, again just, just stop it will you just like sort yourselves out Emirates and send it to a decent airport I'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm not even funny about it better Melbourne I'm just had bitter it over it I'm bitter over Melbourne it Melbourne have had it enough like you've had your chance you should have got your pictures by now <laughs> okay I'm going down to the bush yeah it's like he'll yeah, no, I think I, could, I think I just saw a twinkle light right. there ready for the beast Beast, 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 beast. Well, there's a lot of you up very early in the morning. I mean, I know you, a lot of you are not all from the UK. I know some of you, some of you, it's the afternoon and a reasonable time of day. But I know a lot of you, it's either first thing in the morning, like it is here, 20 to 8 in the morning, or if anything, it's the middle of the right. night. So, thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> and here comes the beast. God, even I can see it, it's that big. Oh, this looks stable as hell, this. Yeah. Oh, for road corrections, I'm wrong. What the hell do I know? There we go. Now, oh, made it smooth. Made me look silly. Yeah, 
this is going to use a lot of runway. Don't worry, I'm going to send the Emirates. He's just going to photobomb again. Yeah, uh, he's just the Isle of Man that just photo bombs. Oh well, I'll get over that. And that happened yesterday. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Slight easy jet alert. No, we want the glory. We want to be on the stream. But um, we want an emoji. You only do the Emirates emoji or the A380 emoji. Oh, that's an idea. You know, Stop. mighty orange. That's getting done. Okay, yeah. okay, that that's decent. Mighty orange is going to get done. Today. Are you going to do it in like in uh, words, or are you going to do an actual orange? An orange. Is it an orange then, or is it a clementine? Oh, don't or a start Satsu- this. A, the mighty Satsuma. I will literally, <laughs> I will literally get rid of you if you start that kind of talk on this channel. It's orange. The terrific tangerine. The stunning Satsuma. God, help me, help me, someone. <laughs> the cracking clementine. Oh. Sorry. Oh dear. She didn't have that much to drink last night. I just need to clarify that. No oh dear. I hope you all enjoyed that arriving anyway. Because if you are a member, you can use the A380 emoji. Featuring Simon's picture. And it is actually of an Emirates. Which is novel. No. Well, I think it, the good thing is it's not not busy at the moment, so we can actually watch this just to go on stand. Uh, yeah. There is a 757 at the back that's pushed. It's in the dot-com oh, livery, I can see. Finals. So we've got a Logan Air ATR 72 from Aberdeen on finals. And we've also got a Ryanair from Shannon uh, just passing Oldham. Yes, pilot's not in a rush to get on stand. A couple of ones that we've seen recently have been like in a right rush to get down to the bottom of the runway. Well, he's just photobombed them and they're just like, yeah, I'll just take my glory on the, uh, the Think Plane stream. Rightfully so. Absolutely. i tell you what, that uh, Emirates that went out yesterday on our show, uh, they were in a rush to get down to that bottom of the runway, weren't they? Oh, they were. Like, go, go, go. Go. <laughs> well, we weren't complaining anyway. We were it not. It was a really epic capture. No, oh, tweet birds. Quite unique. Okay, so there is a bit of rain there. Birds. Oh, is there? Yeah. I don't think it's a lot. Okay. Well, I've got all the... If it's just going to be a quick... Well, bit. the wind the wind sucks going the other way, to be honest, so oh, right, the, okay. that shouldn't really affect us, but as I say, it's quite close to the airfield, that. Okay. Well, hopefully if it's just like a little bit, then the rain cover... Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going okay. to turn out for that. Morning, Nicholas. Hope you're well. I don't think we've ever had a thing where we've been able to just follow it all the way onto stand like this Ooh. before. Which is quite surprising because it's just been so busy of there late. I know. Of late. Um, just, just taking all the glory. Different. Just like going, I'm here. Check me out, people. On a proper plane. Our 757's coming out, though. So the proper plane status will be <laughs> taken away from it. It would be nice to, uh, I know there's a couple of you say, saying in the chat, it would be nice to see uh, he's like an Etihad A380 here, a Qatar A380 here. It's, if you want them, unfortunately, you're going to have to take a trip to London because I don't think any of that lot's coming here anytime, unless anything diverts. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know, that could happen next week, this, uh, on Wednesday. Well, on Wednesday, of course. 
Uh, we do have strong winds forecast. Uh, we did mention this on the show yesterday. Yeah, because we got the weather warning for it yesterday. Oh, there's the Atar. But, um, I'm, start, I'm going to stick on this because I, I, <laughs> this is one of my favourite compositions at the airport at the moment. Yeah, if so you... the weather warning is from Tuesday evening, I think, up until um, Wednesday at some point. Um, yeah, so I think the winds pick up about 6 in the evening. Yeah. Tuesday. And they're still quite gusty throughout Wednesday. But down at here. It's gusty, right. So this is what I noticed yesterday, right. So we've had a weather warning up in the north, right, for that. And I, out of curiosity, looked at Heathrow. It's windier at Heathrow. Even just as a baseline, it's windier. um, And then it's gusting a hell of a lot more. And yet, there's no weather warning there. I'd imagine if anywhere there should be a weather warning, you'd think it would be the south. Yeah, you would. um... But, oh well. So, we've got a... What have we got coming out? I can see there's a Ryanair on the way out. There is. And that is going to Mercia. Mercia. It's a 737. And I can't see anything else on there at the moment. I thought you said there was a 75 coming out. There is. Oh, I can't see it on radar. It's just not... The chance Bonder's not on, but... What do you call it? Oh. Well, that's not good enough. Well, I can literally see it because it's right Come on, Jess Glenn, put your transponder on. Darling, hold my transponder. <laughs> Won't you hold my transponder? Because I don't want a transponder alone. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I don't want a Swook 7700 7, <laughs> for this. <laughs> no. no. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's on. Yeah, that's that, a number one. So do you know, like I said, the other one was uh, was being towed and it was wrong. Yeah. It's, this one's being towed and Liz is kicking bags because she's an animal. <laughs> so this one's on. So it's going onto remotes. Oh right, okay. Sorry, people. I'm disappointed as well, to be honest. I know. Like the proper. Uh, Paul's looking at coming here tomorrow. Uh, Bring a brolly. I mean, it's saying there's maybe sun, maybe rain, but just just prepare for everything. I'd say tomorrow. Uh, right, you got right now coming on at finals. It's nearing Hill Green. Where's this one going? Where's this one? What the right now going out? Yeah. Mercia. Yeah. I'm Mercia. You did say. Yeah, I did say. Yeah, um, did. Morning, Claire. Hope you're well. Uh, awesome, old James said I was uh, lucky enough to find the Emirates Anchor Tower, uh, A380, December and January, just gone. Well, I hope you have good flights. Trying uh, to make you jealous of something? Did you do a good job? I was gonna say, I've never heard anything, well, Emirates especially, I've never heard anything bad uh, about them. Um, we looked at the prices, and I looked out of curiosity, you know, because they are busy at the moment, these Emirates flights, and I was looking... Oh, is this... Oh, it's the CEO. Uh, sorry, this is sorry. This is the uh, seven three seven eight hundred. So we'll go on the skimmer tires on this one. We do oh, like it. You can see the curved. You gotta be careful now when you're saying it's a max. We do know that there are a few of these about. Yeah, exactly. Gotta keep uh, your eyes peeled. Check those engines out. Check the engines. Check, and if you're looking from behind, check the APU. But out as well, um, there are differences. But they say they're curved, they're not the straight ones that you. The, yeah. The, the scimitars, split scimitars. Oh yeah, we actually. This is perfect. This max just coming in, so you can actually see that they're straight. The skimmer, uh, skimmer tires on them, whereas as you just saw on the the retro fitted uh, 737 800s, they do have a curve to them. And yeah. So yeah, there are differences. Um, oh yeah, that was the same. So I looked, I sort of to Emirates flights to Dubai. I think it was like it's like four or five hundred quid or something. Yeah. And like, don't get me wrong, that wasn't like a year in advance. I was in like I don't know, like a month or two or something. So a pretty short thing. Um, but I was like, God, that's so expensive. And I actually saw a video of a girl the other day. Again, I keep seeing a lot of these little like travel bloggy type things at the moment. 
Um, and she's like, oh, I just didn't feel like working from, like, the UK. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to go back to Dubai and work from there. Because, obviously, she works at home and she was obviously some sort of influencer thing. I don't know. So hard. I, I couldn't even watch the whole thing, right? But she's like, so I booked my flight. And she flew from Manchester as well. Oh. Um, she's like, so I booked my flight with Emirates. And I'm there, like, last-minute flight with Emirates. My God, you've got too much money, love. <laughs> Well, the flights, I, 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 so this is before COVID, because so I don't really check the flights now, if yeah. honest, to be honest. Uh, and I, I always used to notice that the flights never changed that much. Do you know, the, 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 the numbers used, always stayed the same. Yeah. So I don't know if that's still the case. I'd have to check that. Yeah. But yeah, crazy. But I, I remember back in the day where you could get the Emirates return flight for about 340 yeah, quid. Yeah, that, I mean, look. Those days are long gone. I mean, I don't buy them because people are paying, aren't they? So. Well, you look at the capacity. The exactly capacity is mean. crazy. Um, for those of us with less money, there are very, very much cheaper ways of getting that. I mean, like, British Airways, if you go down to London, mm. um, British Airways, you can get for about that kind of like 300 kind of mark. Go to Liverpool, um, get the, one of the Wiz flights, and then you can get Oh, uh, yeah, you can, yeah, that, yeah, of course. You can go um, really cheap if you go that way. Yeah, Wiz and go to... Oh, you can even do it from, To be fair, you can do it from here. You can go from here to... You used to be able to do it to Riga. Um, there's Riga that goes, and I'm sure it's somewhere in Italy as well. I think right. it's Rome, actually. I don't know which Rome. Um, oh, it won't make it. Yeah, it'd yeah, be but they, Enco, wouldn't it? But yeah, it, like, so you can go to Rome. I think they do as well. Then they go to, I think, oh, that's Abu Dhabi, I think. But then Wiz put a bus on. I think we've said about this before. Yeah. Wiz put the bus on or a coach on between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And it's so much cheaper doing it that way. And it's basic, but it gets you there. For a fraction of the price. We could actually do a few days in Rome. Like yeah, well, the one Rome. I saw, the guy I saw that did the vlog about it, he actually spent the day in Rome. Um, I think he said he went to watch a football match as well. Okay. So I think he got into Rome, like, first thing in the morning and, like, enjoyed the day there and then flew out at night. Don't blame him. Wow, this Ryanair's going long. Oh, Larry's not going to They're usually off by the, uh, the RVP. Yeah. Uh, David, I'm liking the sound of that pizza, apart from the mushrooms, I don't, I'm not. I can eat mushrooms, I'm not like the biggest mushroom fan, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm going to be behind in the chat again now, aren't I? Because I'm only talking about Emirates flights and... Oh, apparently, yeah. Uh, Suzanne was saying it started raining in London now. It's actually, there's a little bit of brightness to our left. Um, oh, and above, to be fair. I'm looking over there. That's where ours is coming from. Oh, and, okay. uh, oh, well, well. I'm not feeling that. I'm going to have another quick check of the weather in a minute. Yeah, please do. I don't think it's going to be mega. I, no. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be, like, uh, super heavy. I do think we'll get the odd the odd one. We do have a Ryanair coming over. That's why I was uh, <laughs> I was just looking at the clouds, and then I went, oh, there's a Ryanair. Oh, thanks, uh, Ashton. Same beautiful camera work. Thank you. Uh, Nicholas saying from Manchester, but I live in Edinburgh. Um, so I'm just used to the rain and nowadays, yeah. <laughs> As I say, there is rain on the airfield right now. Okay. Not here, but on the other side of the airfield. You can actually see it. So we've got, we've got lucky, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, Skethas London is good at morning. Morning, Peter. Hope you're well. It's uh, raining down south. I'm just bringing you the sun from up north. Well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, enjoy your breakfast. I hope everyone's like having a fry up today. Yeah. Treat yourselves. You deserve it. Just have some leftover Easter egg as well. Oh, just winning. <laughs> uh, Canal, good morning. Breakfast of kings and queens, that. I would agree. Yeah, Paul, I mean, like I say, I've never heard anything bad about Emirates before. I've only ever heard positive things. Like, I've never heard anyone go, oh, yeah, my flight with Emirates to Dubai was awful or whatever. Like, 
I've, I've never had I've only ever heard good things I've got um, to be honest the only ones that I've seen have been and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way have been like those travel bloggers who are trying to get extra views oh yeah well there is that I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. No, that was a rain out of Belfast. Uh, it's saying no rain until 11. I'm going to just check the other apps. Uh, yeah, so do you know, it's weird. I watched um, a video from uh, Hank Green yesterday. I love Hank Green. So he used to do a load of like YouTube thing stuff back in the day, which did like Crash Course, which was you know, like, all like A level stuff and everything. Um, but he just, he's just a very knowledgeable person. Um, and he does it in quite a humorous way you know you can learn kind of a lot of stuff but he was saying that there is like they actually have done a study now where it does show that if you publish something i.e. like video content or general social media content if there is something negative people are more likely to click now obviously we kind of knew that anyway and that's why you know like all these like tabloid newspapers and stuff do it but it's yeah. actually been fact like they've actually done a proper research on it now and found that that is the case the sadistic nature of humanity yeah and it's like you know, if you do want more views, then you should do that. But it's also not a good thing because you're not going to get a good name for yourself. I, you know, we all get sick of seeing all these stupid... Horrible titles. Ta- yeah, on like, like I say, all the kind of tabloid the news daily fail. Stuff on, yeah, it, it's just annoying. Uh, so, yeah, this also is not saying any rain until 11. So that's two out of my three at the moment. They're saying no rain until 11. Well, it's like it's really weird that there's rain across the side, on the other side of the airfield as we speak. Okay, let me just check number three. Uh, windy, I would say, is probably the most accurate one that I've got. Uh, where's rain? Well, we'll take that. Rain, where was the look see? It's always a bad sign when the free channels all say that there's going to be no rain. I, I do start to worry then. <laughs> I see this one's still saying from nine. Yeah. I do think we'll, we'll get caught in the odd shower. I, I, okay. it, it's life. We get on with it. It we is. That's we overcome. We and, if, <laughs> and it's like, if it gets really bad, we put the tent up. Exactly. Uh, we've got KLM uh, in Brea E190 on finals. Uh, Why are they sending their E2 anymore? Don't they like us? Maybe not. Maybe because you've gone under too many 757s and stuff when a KLM's been around. Oh, well, st- we're not going to treat you anymore. I'll stuff them. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I did a beautiful pan of their, pi- of their pilot wave. From the London, and this is what you get when you do that to us. Right, fine, okay, that's not going to happen anymore. I like Wendy. I like you if you're in the chat, and but they're, they're mugging us off. Can you sort them out for us, please? Can you send us a triple seven? Hey, can you, I was going to say, can you just get? Them, can they send us a triple seven? Just yeah, the for, one with the orange. Yeah, yeah the that orange one. Blue. Oh, right so no, I, did, I missed that one when I was in Amsterdam. I saw it when I was actually in Amsterdam for a day, and I was just like... Oh, I can't remember where it was, but it was somewhere that... It was quite far away, so obviously it took a while to get back, and I just didn't, I didn't see it. OK, um, we do have a Jet 2737 coming out. Yeah, so does that count as ca- catching it? No. I saw it, and I'm flying over Amsterdam no. when I was near the Anne Frank. It's not raining. No, I can smell rain, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. It I is. can smell the rain. I know that sounds really weird, probably there's a lot of people, but... Uh. <laughs> well, it's also got about a degree or two colder as well. So it's always a really okay. good indicator. But we're right on the edge of it, from what I can see. I don't think we'll get any for now. That also, uh, David managed to uh, be the 380th person to light the stream. Hey, like that one, mate everyone else can just press like as well that'd be great yeah it does help us out it helps push the stream out to other people and uh make our community a bigger and hopefully a nicer place absolutely nearly lost my voice halfway through i that, think you, you know. did yeah well, like, bigger and <laughs> place <laughs> the hell uh good morning the white rooster yeah i saying it's uh rainy just north of london Exactly between Luton and Stansted Airport, and we're expected rain for the rest of the day. I think it's coming up from that. Well, it must be coming up from that way if it's raining down there already. Yeah. Well, we'll get our few hours in today, and uh, have some great action with you guys. Yeah, yes. if you're all just sort of chilling today, just maybe like monging out on the sofa, just like oh, it's bank holiday, just chill. 
detox after a long weekend of chocolate or alcohol or lots of cups of tea. Um, or maybe if you just had a, still had a bit of a food coma, if you had a roast yesterday. We had leftover spaghetti bolognese, which Simon nearly burnt for Chris because he forgot that he put it on to warm it up. And then I was like, I can smell really it. Bad. And you were like, no! <laughs> like, you were running to the kitchen. I did save it, didn't I? You did save it. It was a bit more tomato than originally uh, was, but it, it didn't It wouldn't have been as good as, like, the like what we should have had, and I yeah. apologise for that, but, yeah, I messed up. It was good, though. No, I messed up. I got you got to admit when you yeah. mess up. That was an accidental 600mm pan. <laughs> Morning, Esther. Hope you well. Uh, so that is off to Barcelona. And on that's, finals... that's going to the end of this runway. I can tell you that's where yeah, it's going to. Well, KLM's on finals, uh, as in... Um, Hill Green. Near Mosnock. OK, I'll grab this and I'll turn it around. So yep, what have we got coming out as well we've got an easy jet to Newquay that's Jesus Jesus is going to Newquay today he is. Uh, after Danger Brolter he wants to go to Newquay uh, we've got the British Airways pink up for London we've got a jet 2737 for Venice and that little um, I, I don't know if that little biz jet's going out or if he's just got his transponder on because he wants to put it on for whatever reason. I think it'd be it'll be a quick turnaround. Don't I think, think so. Yeah. He's got no destination at the moment, but yeah, probably won't have. <laughs> I already feel like there is a bit of rain, but. It's because it's literally on the other side of the airfield, so you're you're in that kind of ballpark, but you're not actually getting. I feel the rain. like I can hear it, but it's not. It's not. No, no it's wrong. not. I just no, feel like I can hear stop things. Stop it, Liz. Stop it. Stop. Stop manifesting rain. <laughs> Keep your negativity away from here. Okay, we'll uh, catch you this uh, KLM Embraer. Uh, uh, morning, Stuart. Hope you're well. Oh, I didn't. Do you know what I was going to say? We're going to watch on the taxi for a little bit, but um, I won't because there's a easier that's just crossed the runway. So we'll actually jump onto that now. Speed. No, David, we don't. We don't want Heinrich King's rain. You can keep it. <laughs> just, just uh, be nice for once and keep the bad <laughs> weather, will you? Yeah. Uh, well, Claire, I hope I hope the weather I hope the weather does stay. I said they're going to Barton um, Airport today for a bit. Oh, that'd be nice. Are you going anywhere? You've seen anyone that's flying there? There'll be a or... load of movements. There will. Uh, although the weather might put some people off. Some people in the night flying in the well, sunshine. I think they'll be out now. I think they'll be out yeah, they will. nice and early before this bad weather comes in. But, uh, I suppose there is a cafe there as well, isn't there? So. <coughs> Do some really good food in there, so yeah. Yeah. Go out, have some fun. <laughs> Obviously that's now it... changed it. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even know what it's called <laughs> now. Sorry. It's really funny, right? I don't mean it in a bad way, but it's hilarious. I've never known a company try and change the name and change the whole identity to then go, uh, no one's calling us uh, City Airport. We're going to have to change it back to Barton. I just love it if everyone started calling them City I Airport. Think we have, I just, yeah, they've, they've gone back should to Should we call City Airport? Yeah. Enjoy your day out at City Airport. Joking aside, it is a great. Uh, it's, it's great. It's great. It's a great, for, um, it's a great place for. Uh, you know, I've flown out. I've added a little trial flying lesson from there. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's very easy to get to, and yeah. um, a lot of history there as well. Yeah, so. I mean, look, I mean, blokes. I would say here's a suggestion: if you want to keep Mrs. happy, right? Trafford Centre is just one junction away. Is it one? Or is it two? One. One. It is one. She can go shopping at the Trafford Centre. You just go and watch a few people doing a few, like, touch and goes, flying lessons. Say you're having to go to the traffic centre. Oh, center. seriously, isn't Because you got the Salford one just before it. Am I wrong on that? No, yeah, because I'm thinking the other way. It depends which way you go. No, because it's Junction 11, isn't it? For oh, part yeah, of it. Yeah, Junction yeah, yeah. 10 is for the traffic. We've got after Junction 10 for the traffic centre. I'd go to the traffic centre personally, but that's just me. Because I was thinking of 
Barton or City Airport or whatever, I didn't zoom out, and that's another 600 millimeter botch job. Uh, 600 millimeter. Awesome. Panna, 600 millimeter pan of Jesus. Awful. That was awful. I apologise to Jesus. <laughs> I'm sure Jesus will forgive you. Jesus forgive me. <laughs> Oh dear. Back for forgiveness. If you're wondering what on earth we're on about, the reg of that says spells Jesus basically. But with a G. With a G. Not with a J. But it's a holy plane, that's what it's. <laughs> and Optimus Toaster. Yeah. <laughs> it's particularly to Optimus Toaster. And if, uh, if they're not in the chat, I'm going for them, I won't lie. <laughs> kidding, mate. I'm only kidding. Oh dear. Uh, ben, good morning. I don't know, Sarah, but they were in. Uh, Jesus was in Gibraltar yesterday. So I mean, Jesus in Gibraltar and brought back a load of duty free. <laughs> <laughs> Just always giving, always giving. You know, uh, oh, it's a bit different, isn't it? It was Moses that parted the Red Sea, wasn't it? I was going to say it. Gibraltar Straits parted the road. <laughs> no, he parted the Gibraltar Straits over to uh, to Africa. So nice. I was going to say the road, because obviously it's got stuck at the road running through the runway, hasn't it? So, I love when I see videos about that, you know, from just, like, people like, did you know? <laughs> yeah, I did, because I've walked it. I know. I've walked it a lot. But, um, so, yeah, the, the, well, the road's in place now for cars and bikes, isn't it? The, the tunnel. Oh, is it? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they are still keeping a, a walkway. But it'd be interesting to mm. see how long they keep that up for. Probably not very long. Probably worth... Uh... If you, if you want to go and experience that, the thing though is, is if, if you were to, if they were, there'd be a massive uproar over it because you have to walk right to the end of the runway in order to go under the tunnel. So I don't think right, that'll ever okay. happen. I still think they'll keep that walkway open. Yeah. Wow. So they're literally going to have to like close it just for pedestrians, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I've um, said that for FOD though, it makes it a lot easier because remember that mm. if I don't know if you've ever been to Gibraltar, they, what they used to do is they used to close it and then they'd have the sweepers come up and clear it for um, for FOD. For uh, debris okay. or potential debris. Got an easy jet on finals Excellent. from Milan. Did you see a three twenty today? Well, I've just noticed we've still got a lot of Cheadle? Ryanair's. We've got a lot of Ryanair's in, so they're going to be coming out in sometime soon. I was going to say. I can see after. another jet two pushing. Yeah, we've got a jet two seven five seven for Alicante. Excellent. So uh, we're going to have some of that action in a bit. And, uh, I just it's coming out at a nice rate today. It's not you know is. too busy at one time. Yes. Because that's, uh, that, that's what I did notice yesterday. Yeah, it was a bit... It was like manic at some time. It was. Oh, my gosh. I can see some blue sky for now. It's clear today, blue sky. What do you mean, blue sky aviation? Watched a bit of that yesterday. It was a good stream. Yeah. Because we, we, like, so, we're kind of knackered after the thing. We have, when we have things to do, we have videos to get ready and stuff like that. But um, we didn't stay there for long. But it, it looks like it was a great stream. It was. Yeah, I had a little... Oh, I, I went for a nap, but then no, I, went, I had a little look in. I was a lurker though. I had a little lurk, see who was there, see what was going on at Manchester. How far is this arrival? Uh, it was ch- well, hang on a minute. I can't see it. Heel green now. Heel green, cool. Well, I will stay off this jet too, it's on the taxi towards us when we get this arrival. The clouds look nicer now. Well, I can us. see sunshine. Yay! Yep, I can see it now. <laughs> oh yeah, Jim, I agree. <laughs> oh dear. Hype. Drive. <laughs> there you go. And down nicely. It's a little breezy down at that bottom end. Is it? Yeah. And it is a crosswind. Morning, Thomas. Hope you well. I can't remember if I've already said good morning, so I've lost track at this point. <laughs> but if not, at least I've said it. And if I have, then at least you get two good mornings. It's Sorry. always a win. It's a win-win situation. It's one of them bug off offers that you can't say no to. That jet too looks nice in this light. I do think, I, 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 you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this livery, but I think it works okay on the 737. The holidays uh, okay it. right i'm only saying okay 
I'm not the biggest fan. Well, Hinsenberg, I hope your uh, cat isn't like going for the TV and trying to catch the uh, catch the plane. I was saying, I, I always say that's like a worry with cats because my mum and dad's cat does that from time to time. She'll see someone on the TV and just go, "Oh, this is a, this is a toy," <laughs> and then the TV nearly gets knocked over. Okay, so looks like we've got catering going on and off. The Emirates at the moment. Right, Esther, keep the rain in Liverpool, but don't want it over her. See a couple of you had roasts. Good stuff. Don't don't, don't tell Liz what you had on that roast because I know what it probably will be, and she'll start getting emotional again. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm not going to cry at that. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, that's good. We've sorted that out, people. And I can see the 757 now coming out, so I'll move off the cool. Emirates. Cool. Got Swiss A220 from Zurich on finals. So that's Stockport. Hopefully it makes a noise when it arrives. Oh, I didn't schedule that um, short, did I, last night? Did you not? Oh. No, I didn't do it last night. I remember I was trying to fling it over to my phone. Oh, did I? Can you just... Oh, I don't want to have a look. Hang on. I don't think I did. I was having the issues with my phone at the time, wasn't I? And I had oh, to reboot yeah. my thing. Content. I'll do that in a bit. It's all saved and ready to go. Shorts. Uh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. Didn't think I did. Unless it's on. How's it schedule? Double check. No. Nope. Sorry, I got distracted then looking at the uh, all the analytics. I do love like YouTube. One thing I will give YouTube praise for um, is their analytics. You numbers. They love you to have your numbers. Oh, I love looking at all the kind of like you can do loads of different comparisons of like I don't know um, what age viewers are that watch certain types of content and from what countries and all this kind of stuff it's just really good how you can like uh mix and match it yeah because the thing that we're proud of is like our time that people watch us that number's so good yeah you guys like to stick around and we appreciate that yeah and i bet you loads of people just turned off like don't tell me i'm turned <laughs> I, think well, we just I don't want to freak people out, but there's sunlight down at the uh, the bottom of the oh runway. Oh, my God. If you're, for, for oh. if you're out for a rotation shot, you might get something in good light. Maybe. <laughs> well, it might only be for the case for five minutes. It's actually popping down here, that light. Nice one. Yeah, well, the windsock, I don't think he's doing very much today. He is. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's blowing at about five to ten. Oh, okay. Oh, there's really weird light. It's like... It's just a short, intense burst. It's actually going to go in the BA in a minute. Uh, and then the a 220s just landed. Where's the BA at? It's at the end of the runway. Oh, wow. Shall we make make the most? Shall we get a picture while the sun's out? I think you should. I want to see if this Swiss gets that light. See, this, the, the, the sun's on my neck. I can actually feel it on my neck. And it's about to go on this BA. One BA enter the runway so we can actually see the nice light on your side. It's gonna miss it because it's, it's a really small little patch of light and they've, 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 you've missed it. Oh no! It's actually on it now, but because it's kind of head on, you're only seeing it on a little bit of it. Disgusting. Oh, I'm not happy in that. Disgusting. Can they at least wave and I get a picture of that? I just, there's another patch of light coming down. Okay. Liz loves a BA. I do, I do like BA. Eh? 
I mean, I'd like it more if they didn't take full length and came down here more. Came often. down here more often, but you know. Oh yeah, the lights be good again. Right, so it's going to look good when it turns on air now. Oh yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. The Swiss whale in the background. rotate any second now wow quite heavy that oh wow it's nice light on the a380 <laughs> oh wait a minute nice light on the 75 yep so this is to alicante you want to get shot of that liz that's just gone off it that is mugging us off big time. Uh, I'm here ready. Do it for case. the British Airways and you don't do it on the, uh, the 75. Is it holidays livery? It's holidays livery. That's why then? It, yeah, but it still shouldn't do that. It's disgusting. That is Mother Nature. It should that. be arrested for stuff like that. Mother Nature, sort yourself out. Some nice light going on it now, just a bit. Ooh. That's my impression of Liz right now. She's having a big yawn. <laughs> she's pretending not to make. She's like she's so trying hard. So she's trying so hard not to make a yawning noise. I just thought I had to do it for her. <laughs> Thanks. Really My pleasure. Really, just, really appreciate that. Just here to help, babe. You know. Yeah. Oh well. Here we go. Very nice. Uh, you are just maybe waking up, tuning in. Good morning. It's 20 past 8 in the morning here at Manchester. The sun wants to come out. I think it really does want to come out. It's keeping the rain away. The sun's trying to be social. I know. know I, mean? I the will clouds say are just that. being antisocial. But there is some blue sky now. Look. There is a bit. I'm just. I'm thinking the weather might actually be right. I think we're going to get away with this. Oh, those, oh why did you say that? Because I believe. Oh my God, why would you say such a thing? That's uh, ridiculous. You see, your lack of faith is what causes like it to jinx, not my trust that the universe will deliver good weather. She's so cursed us. Uh, so it's negative. Um, Stuart's saying um, they're on the flight path for Manchester on a clear day and then a cocker spaniel parks at the plate. <laughs> 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 it's a stick, it's a stick. <laughs> Some nice light again. Uh, oh, thanks, Taylor, saying there. Not staying long, going back to bed, uh, but sending love. Why, thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Uh, Ian, good morning. Hope you're well. I know lamb. I hope you enjoyed your lamb. I know lamb is very traditional. I was going to say Christmas, then Easter uh, uh, roast. That I just, I'm not, I'm not, le I'm not eating a little bar bar lamb. They're too cute. It's like a little, eat a little quack quack ducky that I have eaten them. I've tried it. I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> and as I was saying yesterday, this, right? this is the bonkersness. Right? <laughs> and I don't like chickens, so. <laughs> oh, I eat loads of chickens because I don't like chickens. 
Um, but if it goes, bah, um, it's, it's all good. And yeah, I, 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 I like I've said this before. I was vegetarian. I was younger for about five years. Um, but yeah, I've uh, I, I switched back. I do. Like, do you know? I still see like every now and again, like when I'm like in the shop and stuff. I do see all the kind of like the veggie options and stuff now. And obviously, it's such it's so more popular now. We and did I'm a like, few God, corn wish... things, didn't we? And that, that that mince was all right. Yeah, a like, of I like the corn lasagna. Like I, the choices now are so good. Like, I wish I'd have had them choices back in the day. I'd have probably maybe not even switched back. Now I probably would have still switched back. But um, get to a three thirties on the. It's on the tow. It's been towed now to stand. So we should get that out in the okay. near. So this is going to Malaga. Malaga. And what time was that Ryanair for Dublin meant to be? I don't know. Was, so was I know it th- even a Ryanair? I don't even know. You just said 8 o'clock Dublin. I know there was a Ryanair. Was it 9 that, o'clock Dublin? I was going to say there was a Ryanair that came in at, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago or something. That'd be that one, won't it? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. As long, do you know what? As long as we get all the departures on here, <laughs> that's it, isn't it? Uh, there's a ten past eight for Dublin. It's due at eight forty. It's probably that one. Mayor uh, Vids, good morning. If I just subscribed to the channel. Uh, down near Gatwick uh, and it's raining and it was glorious yesterday yeah we've had like, three really good days today you could be tricked into thinking it looks promising uh, but welcome thank you for subscribing we appreciate it we do oh that was close to the red zone for rotating there get in there again <laughs> oh look at the light on the Emirates that's sublime it's what? Oh, light on the Emirates. What did you say it was? Sublime. Oh, I you... Sorry, I thought I just said lime. I thought of limes. He was thinking of the drink that goes along with the limes. To yeah, I was, I was, I won't lie. I think it's because we were talking about oranges before. Oh, Paul, well, Paul's probably already back at work, but uh, you poor thing. I feel for people that are working today. I really do. Oh, I really do hope Malta you... Air. I hope you do get that day back somewhere along the lines. Not well, Paul. Anyway, <laughs> everybody else. Everyone else. I definitely do hope you get it back, Paul. No. This is in from Milan. It's a good-looking aircraft. I won't lie. It is. Morning, Randy. Hope you well. The uh, the scimitars in red and yellow definitely work for me. Oh, are they in red and yellow? Yes, they Ooh. are. I must have hurt Ryanair doing that. I won't lie. I feel like everything... Because obviously they're part of Ryanair, so you get red and yellow, and then there's obviously blue and yellow. I'm like... They're very, like, you know, like, primary school or, like, nursery oh colours. You know, like, children's <laughs> colours. They're, like, really bright, kind of, in-your-face primary colours. <laughs> I'm surprised they've not done something with the colour green. Crayons. Yeah, it's kind of like it is, or, like, <laughs> coloured bricks. She just imagines Michael O'Leary in a meeting just going, Crayons. <laughs> <laughs> and I just imagine there with some building blocks, and they're like, right, Michael, you need to choose the colour scheme. And it's, oh, these ones. <laughs> no, no, no crayons. I'm going to build a French tower. ATC. <laughs> if you don't know um, Ryanair and Michael O'Leary having a right go at uh, French ATC at the moment, it's on social media. Well, yeah, we're they've got a whole petition and kind of everything going. Them, I honest. agree. And like we were saying yesterday, we do think, like, why are the French, actual French airlines, i.e. Air France and that, getting priority to get back? Like, if they want to cause disruption in their country to try and promote change... You disrupt them they, first. You disrupt your own country's flights and let everybody else get to where they're going. That's just our take on it. God, the sun's out. The sun is out. Enjoy it, people. So, we do have another Ryanair coming over towards us. And it's with really short speed. Yeah, that's true. Right? There are lots of people that are uh, on flights, obviously landing, taking off, and they've got no idea that they're being live streamed out to over a thousand people around the world. Get in there. Wow, 
trousers. Oh, Tony joined at the right time and said, we're well, way to join at the RB211 Raw. You cannot beat those engines, can you? Let's just be honest. People will say they are. They are. Di they are distinct, I will say. Oh, we've just got an easy jet coming in behind that. We will watch this one just... Uh, I didn't see it, uh, Paul, if it was in the chat. I'll probably miss that one, but it's not a problem. Uh, here to help. If we can, we will always help. If you need help and knowing, I don't know... I'm trying to think of something really obscure here to make a point of something I can't help with. <laughs> Flying a plane, I probably can't help you with that. You definitely can't help you I with that. I definitely can't help you with that. Seeing things, I can't help you with that. I was going to say, because uh, I know Sarah said about there was a flight that went over the top. But there's very, very small patches of blue, so it would have to be like a perfectly lined up shot so yeah. you won't get it going over the top. But um, if we do see something, we'll, you know, that I'll looks good, we will get it, but I'm not holding out much hope for the lack of No, blue. there is a big patch coming towards us, though, over there. Oh, right, so okay. we mm. might be able to get some out of that. But... Oh, we got an Atar coming over here. Right, I'm just going to hold that. I'm just going to try and find out what flight that lad was on. Yeah, that's cool. Right, because it was on a short, wasn't it, if memory serves me right? Yes. Uh, and that's saying, uh, breakfast in bed has just arrived. Soft poached eggs on toast uh, with a smear of butter and marmite and sprinkled with chives. Wow, that's a fancy breakfast. Although so I'm sure some will be like, oh, marmite. Yeah, FR553, so that is okay, the, that's cool. that one. And we do have, that's really good that I had that camera in that place, we do have the Etihad 787-10 Dreamliner out on the taxi. Awesome. Do you know what, I've never had like a, a poached, like a proper poached egg. What? No, because oh, I've never dear. had one when I'm out, and because usually if I'm out buying breakfast, I'm going for the pancakes and stuff, I'm not going for eggs benedict or whatever. Um, I, never, I can never make, I've tried to make it, I can't make them, so I've never had a proper poached egg. Well, that is right now. It's just touchdown, but... Oh, actually, it's just gone really heavy on the reverses there. Let's just get on that. You're just freewheeling it down there, and then all of a sudden just went, I, I really need to stop this plane. <laughs> Morning, Noah. Hope you will. I say we do really concentrate uh -huh. on the departures on this side, but uh, that was uh, noteworthy, that one. I just got my reminder on my phone because I realised yesterday that I forgot to do the travel hacks that I'd posted on our Instagram story. Oh, yes. And yeah. I remembered on the way home and I was like, oh my God, I forgot. You can do them a little bit but later. But I will do them soon. Yep, that sounds good. Very early rotation there, and off to Belfast. Very nice. All right, let's get on this Etihad. Uh, Andy D, good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Richard, good morning. We are well. We're enjoying the uh, lack of rain. 
Yeah, it's a bonus. This. I mean, we did bring. We were just saying, uh, we did bring the tent out today because the forecast was a bit all over the place. Yeah, it's it kept changing, and it's it's so frustrating. I just wish that someone would go. Here's a weather prediction that's probably going to be right. Oh, get that front gear down, lad. There we go. Come on, <laughs> front down, 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 down. There we go. Touched it. Very nice. Morning, Stay- Mark. Hope you well. Some yeah. nice light on that louder. Saying, so, you know, yeah, lots of rain over the south and east of England. Yeah, I, th- I think we're all right for a little while at least. The gym there with the 199 unboxing super sticker. <laughs> well, well, that's for my order anything. <laughs> I'm gonna. Does this count? I'm gonna Hashtag unbox tripe. some. <laughs> I'm gonna unbox some coffee into my cup. <laughs> So the Etihad will be crossing over to uh, this runway in the next couple of minutes. So it's going to be crossing over runway one, and just needs is it to in make the old sure. new livery. It's well, it's dash ten, so it's always oh, going to be the new livery. Of course, livery. it is. Yeah. Dreamliner. It's not the triple seven. Wake up, Liz. Assuming what is this happy with that then? Ow. There's a sick individual <laughs> who needs help. <laughs> No, it's a good-looking livery. I just don't think it's as good as the other one. That's what. That's my. No, I don't. do like it. Yeah, I like it. No, I, just, I just don't think it's. As I say as well. Oh, thank you, but, but thank you, Jim. I feel like I get so lost in having a laugh with these stickers that I forget to actually properly say thank you. Yeah, we do, don't we? Cheers, mate. And uh, thanks for all the hard work that you do for the channel. And that goes out to all our amazing mods. Thank you. Uh, morning, Chris. Having a quick watch before heading off to work. Oh, sorry you got work, mate, but I hope this makes you feel a little so, bit better. Uh, hoping to catch my daughter on the EasyJet from Amsterdam at 10am before I go. OK, well, fingers crossed for that. Hopefully they're on it. Hopefully we're on it to catch it. <laughs> oh, we're on it. We're on it like a car bonnet. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, I am. I'm not sure about you. OK. Um, you seem to be doing well in the chat today, though. Uh, not too I'm, bad, possibly. I'm not hearing, oh, no, I'm behind in the chat again. I'm not hearing that. Bad. I think the only thing, like, I, it feels like I get behind, which obviously it's everyone having conversations with each other, which we it's love cool. here. But obviously for me, I, I just have to make I, I kind of go for it. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm quite good at getting through and seeing what I need to see. I know I probably do miss some stuff, but. Well, that's what you hear for all this. Yeah. But that's usually why I'm so behind. It's not usually, it's, they're not all directed at me. So it just feels like I'm a lot worse off than I am. They should be on the chat. Get back to it, please. Okay. Morning, Charlie. And, uh, sorry to say you've got a cold, but have a, a relaxing morning just watching some planes and hopefully you feel better soon. Yeah, 100%, mate. This is Zach Aviation. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Lee, I've just seen her in the chat as well. Good morning to you too. I don't think there's going to be any spectacular light on this, but it'll be decent. Morning, Catherine. Hope you're well. There we go. Five star mods. See what this yabby dabby do special does. <laughs> I can tell you one thing it's going to do. It's going to rotate late. Well, we got the uh, Virgin A330 about seven minutes away as well. Excellent. Well, this thing better move, otherwise we're not going to see. That. I know. Got the Qatar on the way out as well. Them two love following each other, don't they? They do. Like holding hands. Like, Are you ready? Should we go? I'll go to Abu Dhabi. You go. No, to you Doha. go first. No, you go first. No, I want you to go first. It's just it's like <laughs> guys sort it out. Get a room. <laughs>
Rodriguez? I could have done that. No, you, not, not not this specific composition I did on one. I want to zoom in, Mum. What do you think I've been doing? Interesting to take a picture now. I didn't think you were. I wasn't then, but I could have done. By the way, you left your battery on, uh, uh, your camera on before. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we are rolling. Enjoy it, everyone. Oh wow, that's up early. That's up so early for the 787-10. Well, wow. I'll, I'll tell you what, it woke me up going past. I'll tell you what, that's that's decent. Um, I'm guessing there's not a lot on board on that today. but uh, Maybe not. Uh, good morning, Graham. Hope you're well. We will take that. Morning, Paul. Do you know what? I'm going to go back to it. Uh, yeah, you do that. The uh, SR is not going to move anywhere for a minute. Uh, good morning, Freddie. Liverpool 67, good morning. Sorry about that, I should have just stayed on that. That's a mistake from me. Good morning, Love Aviation. So, we do have an ATR waiting, and behind that, we have a Ryanair. But we'll stick with uh, a couple of banks from this 787 10 Dreamliner. Uh, Lucy, good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Prof Mark Taylor. Good morning. Uh, the. Cool, we've got CRJ900 coming in in a bit. Uh, Haji, good morning. I have a load of you just woken up. I feel like there's a load of people just coming to the chat and going, Hello! Hello! I'm here! Hello, back at you, anyway. <laughs> uh, Plain Lover Hanover, good morning. Oh, he's going good for an morning, early turn now. He's going for a really early turn. But uh, welcome back and uh, hello team over in Vietnam. We will take this. I'm just hoping one of these don't, doesn't come on in the next minute. Because I bet you if you're watching in 4K, that looks decent. Because that's still pretty close to the airfield. That's going to double back over here. Obviously, we've still got the uh, Logan Air ETR 72 waiting to go back to Newquay. We've also got a Ryanair 737 at max 8. We'll be going to Shannon. Uh, and as I did say before, we have got the Qatar uh, Dreamliner. That's a 787-9. That'll be going back to Doha on the way out. And the Virgin Atlantic is now uh, nearly at Oldham. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, this is... This is going right over us. Wow. That turn. I tell you what, if you're on board, I bet you're getting some amazing views of Manchester. I looked out with the weather then. Whoever's on radar is a legend. Oh, the clouds have mugged us off. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, it was... Oh, no, wait a minute. We might get him as he goes through. I think it's going to be there. Uh, Dan, good morning. Uh, plans to come down south side uh, later this week. It's easy to park around there. Uh, we've actually got the um, what three words locations um, for both where you want to park and uh, the mounds. They're in our description. Um, I would say the bit um, the way you just come off the roundabout... Um, it can get busy, um, but you can go into the hotel car park and pay. And it's, there's usually it's some only space only a couple there. of quid for like four hours. Yeah, it's so not bad. it's not too bad in terms of uh, parking. Just don't be late going back. I know someone who got a ticket there. Yes. And they are ruthless. Oh, 
Morning, Dean. Dean was uh, up watching the golf till half one, apparently, last night. He's a good lad, isn't he, that Dean? <laughs> oh, like I uh, bailed on it early because I was knackered. Absolutely. So, next to go is the Atar. Oh, well, I'm glad that you enjoy those uh, longer departure shots then, Ashton. I know. Uh, I like them. It's, yeah, it's... obviously it's weather depending. Hopefully we can get it on this um, tar as well, but then the Virgin might get start getting involved in that one. Yeah. Okay, that one's up. Having said that, he has to wait a couple of minutes now for this one because our ain't the quickest yeah. to getting out. Uh, Heinzenberg, hopefully you get to see it go over as well. That'd be cool. Yeah, Not just listen out. So, um, so it's just turned on the Virgin. It's no hide. Excellent. Well, this guitar's about to come onto the runway. Awesome. Morning, Mr. Bear. Hope you're well. Survived the 35 hour shift, three days off now. Blitz. Get in. Oh, well, well done. done. Well done. And having to I watch hope. this tripe after. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> double well done. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your days off. Morning, Jenny. Hope you're well. So, I hope everyone had a lovely day yesterday. I'm very much looking forward to a chilled Monday. That's why we're here. Get you through your chilled Monday morning. That's what we're all on about. Or Monday afternoon, evening, or time get late Sunday this. night. Got time to get shot of this. The lights on, it's decent. Just on the uh, no section. Yeah, decent. Right. On this departure, yeah. can you like just keep us in the loop of where the Virgin A330 I is? I can please? indeed. Thank you very much. No stop port. Yeah. It's gonna, it, like, I, I did want to get an extended departure on it, but um, unfortunately not. It'll be a case of uh, watching the Virgin come in and then uh, see if I can pick it up in the sky after that. Sounds like a clamp. Hey, well, it's given a lot of time for that. Uh, Isn't it? For that ATR to uh, get a good distance, but hey, that's life. Uh, seven Maybe. knots for that ATR. I was just about to say, uh, it might even be a case that we get the Virgin in before it. Uh, yeah, potentially. Which could be uh, beneficial for us. Ryanair to Dublin is on the move. It's the one coming over. Yeah, you can see that one in the background. Cool. So Virgin, is it cheered on now? Yeah. Are we starting up? The pilots must be going, why the hell aren't we getting clearance yet? I know. I think they'll wait for the uh, Virgin. Oh, no, it's rolling. So we're not going to get the Virgin, to be honest.
beautiful flex and there's some great light on that down at the bottom end. Right, I'm going to grab the Virgin. I'm going to go back to that. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just going to be back and forth like a year. Oh, yeah, mate. Um, what I, was that? That was like a giant waspy fly thing that was like the size of my hand. Great. That thing needed ATC clothes. Oh, some nice light now on that. And then it goes straight away. Decent light on that. Yeah, not bad, is it? Sorry, Liz, I know you got, like, I just, nearly, I just nearly got attacked by a bug. We, no, like I said, I was watching what I was trying to say was it needed ATC clearance, that thing, and I don't think it got it. Right, right let's see if we can get a bit of an extended departure on this. Yep, we do that. Um, Paul Hilbert, not a problem. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Oh, yes. Should be in that shot. And I can't see him for love nor money. That is so weird. Uh, good morning, Brian. The bottom of that. There, there well. he is. Got it. Um, Paul Jones, I don't think there is anyone streaming this evening. Have I just had a quick look? Um, I don't think there is. Well, unfortunately not, no. But uh, I do hope uh, that your son and his girlfriend have a good flight out to Faro. Oh, yeah, this one's banking early as well. I'm sorry. Oh, is this the Ryanair for that ladder, isn't it? It is. It is, it is. I'm on it. I'm all over the place. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Tell you what, it's some cracking light down at Wood End Lane at the moment. I would agree. Definitely take that. Oh, nice one, Steve. Well, I uh, hope you hope you're getting prepped. You've got ten days to get ready to go up your stag day. I don't care about that plane coming in, unless it's the uh, Turkish. No, it's not. We'll get this guitar going over the top. There we go. Oh, the, I tell you what, whoever's working radar in tower, take a bow because we love you on this channel. <laughs> oh, he's Scottish, won't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up, Simon. Well, whoever it is, thank you because we're enjoying that. Uh, good morning, Sean. Well, thank you. So nice camera work, guys. Well, thank you. That was a bit manic, that. It that was, was a bit. Are we, a bit uh, all over we're the doing place. really well catching um, people that we know flying out today. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we'll take that one with... Uh... Uh, we have a new member. Excellent. Uh, Prof. Mark Taylor, welcome to Short Hall. Thank you yeah. so much for joining. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted by a dog. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I just went past. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate uh, the support. Wow, I'm going to have to expose these highlights. Oh, they are bonkers at the moment. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. 
Because surprise, okay. surprise, I'm a little bit behind. Well, I think after <laughs> that kind of manic, like, five, ten minutes there, I, I, I'm i understanding. Yeah. It, it can get like um, that, but uh, that was decent. I won't take some nice light. And yeah. got some more nice light. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, David's saying the nice light makes the 4K picture quality pop. I mean, to be honest, I think it could be in any kind of resolution. And to, I'm looking good at light, it at 144p, light. and it pops out a little bit more. Yeah, Liz, you're not selling it to me at 144p. <laughs> Any choice? Sell the channel, Liz. Sell the channel. 144p is not going to do it. Get it 4k, everybody. There you go. 4k, 4k, 4k. I'm going to need the charger soon. Uh, well, right. yeah, we'll, we'll get you doing that. Get me charged up. Oh, thank you, Esther. So, an amazing stream as always. Sorry, I can't stay for the whole stream, but I will catch up later. Well, I hope you have a. I hope you don't get stuck at work late like you did yesterday, Esther. I, I hope you do. <laughs> I'm just sadistic there. Right, that's what I said, yeah. Thank you. Right. So, I asked on... Sorry, I've got fluff on me. Go away, fluff. So I asked on um, the old Instagram the other day, if anyone's got travel hacks and travel tips, right? So, I'm going to share them with you. Oh, now I've gone to the other account. <laughs> One moment, please. Oh, we're nearly at 7,000 Instagram followers and we didn't even try. It's ridiculous. Do you want to follow us on Instagram? I am posting that for a week, I don't think. Okie doke. Where is that post? There it is. So... Just to say we do have an Aer Lingus A321 Neo coming up. See, if I was going over to Dublin at the moment, I wouldn't lie, I'd be tempted to fly on this. John, the yeah, outbound. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Blue Man Fan 1 at 30s uh, tip was uh, never travelled, and I'm assuming this is if you maybe live in Manchester, go to London for a flight, never travelled down the day of the flight. Always stay in a hotel the night before. Oh, the motorway's going to be an absolute joke. Yes. Uh, train strikes, train just not working cancellations. Motorways, closures. Yeah, I would I would 100% you can get good good like premier ins and stuff down there. 40 quid. Yep, jobs are good. And, you can get, uh, I obviously, the, that works even if you say maybe further away from Manchester and you want to just. It's more relaxing, I find, especially if you've got an early morning flight. You can literally just kind of wake up. Bit more relaxed, that was far to go. Yeah. Um Yeah, just sort of much more relaxing. Gonna check if we've got anything about Nils. I'll, I'll do it, you're good. Duh. We've got an Air France um E one ninety, I'm guessing it's a hop. Just <laughs> uh, Andrew's aviation saying, Don't forget your passport. It's, that always, is, that is it's basic but true. It is, it is. I'm OCD about passports, aren't I? I'm, so, I'm always so like this. Nice I'm like this, I'm like this every time yeah, I get the Yeah, but the thing is, right, you started taking, like, when we go somewhere, you look after my passport. No, which you put, gave me your passport yeah, first no, time. Yeah, I know I have. And then, then I know it's just I have. Like, and that's kind of that. just now a thing. But then it puts me into a panic because I'm like, have you got my passport? I always <laughs> know I have it. It's just that I just have to reassure myself. Yes, exactly. Because I'm a prat. It's that simple. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, AWB photos. Get a job that pays for it. Now, in the first of all, I thought, well, that's just a bit. Just get a job. What I think he means is uh, get a job that you need to travel in that job for. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation. You have to work and you have to travel somewhere nice. And he's a legend of doing that. He is indeed. <laughs> Not jealous at all. Hashtag je- bitter and jealous. Yeah.
I'll tell you what, for a 40 minute flight in an A321 Neo, that was a, a long run. A long run. And we have your hippity hop. Hippity hop. Easter bunny. In the shape of a plane. <laughs> Uh, Lee, good morning. Saying that uh, yourself and uh, Maisie wanted to come and see us yesterday. We couldn't find out to get here. So we have put the what three words description. Um, dis- in description uh, in the description. It's near the bottom, I think you said it was. Yeah, that's it? right. Um, that gets you to like the parking spot and the mounds. Uh, so I put, the, I put the paid parking spot just because a lot of the time you come down here, it's busy. There is yeah. a, there's a little lay by just before that. Uh, as I say, that, that does get very very busy very yeah. very early especially the weekends but uh yeah hopefully uh next time you've maybe down you can come and see us and that'd be really cool as as we always say always happy to uh talk to uh anyone who wants to come over and say hello to us I'm not one of them ones who's like no we don't want to talk to you talk to us after the show guys you're so important to us uh absolutely we'll talk to you anytime you know I say the only time we might be like, just give us a minute, as if like, I don't know if I've put a tent em- up. Em- it's well, <laughs> that was going to say, all like Emirates is about to take off something, which I'm we'll sure. We'll happily talk to you after. I'm sure you can all understand if something, you know, really bakes me in that. But uh, yeah, just come and say hello, don't be scared. I'm hearing lots of people say, or hearing, seeing the people saying, where it's raining everywhere. We are avoiding it. We're doing all right. That's <coughs> dodgy clouds at the moment. Well, it could be worse. I'll, I'll take this. Don't hear me complain. What's that? Yeah, just. I was going to say, i some coffee if you want. Yeah, I just want a coat and throw it with something that's not coffee. I'm not... I've got coffee breath. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh, vision thing, yeah. 144p on your TV must be amazing. <laughs> 144p is the future, mate. <laughs> you know it, I know it. Everyone's going out for 4K and everything. No, we don't want it. We don't even touch 14, uh, 40. <coughs> We're at, I think we could even go low, lower than that. <laughs> I'd, be able, I'd be able to do 120 frames a second then, wouldn't I? <laughs> Black and white. <laughs> Just be perfect. Put a filter on. <laughs> Put a filter on it. Uh, Stephen, yeah, the motorways are definitely getting worse. Um, I mean, we really noticed it when we went to Heathrow last, and obviously we went, we're like, oh, we'd have to be there till later on. We'll go down like sort of bad driving, wasn't it? Oh god, no. there was a like, lot of bad driving. I think though. we actually said, didn't we? Like, if we do that again, I'd rather we just go down in the middle of the Free night enough. and just, even if it's like we get that, we have to maybe hang around a little bit because um, you get a bit of geek from, geeking in for a yeah, bit. Yeah, then it's just like go and check in early at the hotel because you can pay to check in early. Uh, I just do it that way. Yeah, it was only ten quid, wasn't it? And you could check yeah, in from like, like ten o'clock. Yeah. Like I've a bit of that. I can understand why. I don't. I don't know if like all premier ones do that. I can understand why airport ones would, um, just because obviously a lot of people probably are out first thing, so they can I probably think it's clean a lot. Board. Is it across the board? Okay. I think it's across the board. Well, that's good. Uh, we do have a Ryanair now because that BA is not on the. It's not. Well, it's not moving quickly. This one's moving a bit quicker, so we'll uh, jump onto that. Good morning to you. Well, good evening to you, Carwin. Hope you're well. Hey, Carwin. Uh, Marvin. Good morning. Andy, good morning. P. Birch, good morning. Raining in Guildford. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be nice about this, but it's not going to come across. It can rain much. later. It can rain later. I don't care. I like the rain. Just know when I'm out in it. Morning, Libby. Hope you're well. That's true, Mikey. Would not be a bank holiday without some rain. Right. Should we do another tip? Um, so this is... A big Bone Steez recommendation. So air... I think this is a bit of a hybrid, air buds, because I think it's air pods or earbuds, but... Uh, it's covering base. Covering bases. Uh, to relieve the landing pressure. Um, you know, in your ears. Yeah. 
an interesting one. Um, I do know I just saw another one for one at the end of the day, which I could have done with on the way back from Italy. But uh, if you ask the cabin crew for some empty, some plastic, two plastic cups, and they've just got like damp paper towels in. Yeah, that makes sense. Put them over your ears. Uh, and that can well, I, I'm thinking, help the pressure. I'm thinking the uh, the AirPods ones are a really good idea because then I don't have to listen to you and um, on arrivals. Oh, charming. You don't even have any. You'd have to use mine. I've got them. I've got a set. Oh, have you? Oh. Told me. I got um, I got a pair from a company called Cambridge who do really good audio equipment and they're far better. So oh, there. Look at me, 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 me. Anyway, uh, right. Next tip from uh, from Hannah, my friend, and this is quite a good one actually. This uh, she usually puts jokey things on uh, our stories. I will lie, because she knows it's us. Uh, she actually put a really serious one. And she said they're booking hotels in the local currency. Uh, or using their website, so uh, for example, uh, booking.es for Spain, you know, rather than yeah, booking.com. Um, I will say, some of them throw you straight to the website, you know, the country that you're in, you might have to use like a VPN or something to get around it. But it's VPNs definitely... are a really good investment. Yes, uh, there is a great one for mobile called Super VPN. I do use it from time to time. It's It's got ads, but it's free. It's not weird at all, and it, it just kind of tricks your phone into thinking your internet's in a different location to what it actually is and for stuff like that it's really good just to say it's KLM was a quick turnaround I was um, but yeah, I bet your enders worked it that's why yeah no messing hashtag legend hashtag yeah. turnaround king well yeah where's the hotels I worked for um, I'd say um, you know flights as well I used to always do that with um, uh, looking at different flights from different, you know, from different kind of countries yeah. and stuff. I mean, that's also a good one if you're, you're quite flexible on um, booking flights rather than just looking at flights from the UK. You can look at flights from, say, Germany um, or like the Netherlands and just look see if they're cheaper. Very nice. That way is decent now. <coughs> we just had a uh, Tui Dreamliner for our positioning, even from Newcastle. Just Newcastle. Did see that on board this morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me, as I die again. Definitely need to get some antihistamines. I, I know, I've run out. <coughs> <coughs> it's funny, actually. I do think it's that, because I actually took one on. So my last one I had was on Saturday. And it's gotten worse, so I do think it's allergies. Because um, I have noticed a blocked nose as well, so I might have to nip and get some from a shop today. <coughs> so I'm just, excuse me, dying here. Well, we have the BA shuttle crossing the runway there. Don't maybe should get a picture now when it's properly light. It's, it's not bad. It's just, it's all over the place. It's just little spots. I mean, if you were down at Woodland Lane, you, you're singing, you're just going, best choice ever. But uh, on the turn on mound, it's not amazing. Well, it's better than what I had before, so. That's true. Have a look, see. I feel like I can turn my ISO down now. I'd hope so. Yeah, see, my ISO is half of what it was before. So that is a winner. Walk over here. And, uh, still got some more travel tips, so I'll get back to them in a minute. And Swiss is out as well. My eyes are watering now as well. It's emotional, babes. <laughs> oh, <coughs> the A's not taking full then. Oh my gosh, it's like they listened. Are they watching? Well, I'm guessing it's more likely to do with that there's a slot restriction at Heathrow, but, you know, 
Nope. Nope, they listened to us and they went, right, we can't take full length. They're just going to criticise us again. <laughs> Quite a nice shot with the old, old tower behind it. Nice, very nice. Uh, you can hear the noisy neighbour behind it. Oh, a Swiss whale. I <laughs> <coughs> think that's going to hold there and jump onto that Swiss A220. Oh, CS. As people still call it, and rightfully so. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware that um, Airbus bought this plane and the rights for this plane from uh, Bombardier. got busy here, hasn't it? <coughs> As I think everyone's sort of thought, the sun's out, I'm going to get out while it's sunny. And I can't blame people, really. Oh, come on, light, please stay out. Nice early off. rotation there. Yeah, back after Zurich. Making a great whale sound. And the hairdryer's coming out. Awesome. Need some decent light on this one. That was a real massive hint of putting. <laughs> but it is holding short on the active runway. Pretty the easy get is just about to cross from way one's gonna come round and uh, come down this taxiway and get in front of everyone's. Probably. And depart early. Uh, so the uh, Jet 2757 is for Tenerife. Uh, thank you, Carlin, for that. So that Tui is approaching Stockport. Okay. I just don't know which one of these is going to go. Who knows? It wouldn't surprise me if the Z jet comes down <laughs> comes down this taxiway right in front of us <laughs> and just departs straight away. Morning, Mike. It's magic. Yeah, oh god, I better catch up with the chat. Oh, I can geez. feel the magic. I just felt the magic in the chat. All right, all right. I'm, I'm up to date. I'm up to date. I'm up to date. Sorry for missing anything. But I can't have Mike. Poor Mike he's shouting going, at he's me going again. To it. He's going to it. Right, I'm going to record this one.
not going to get a turn and burn off that? He's thinking he is, but he's, he's not. He's going to have to wait there. OK. So Darren, good morning to you. And uh, apparently a, a very, very wet heath throw. Yeah, I think that's why that heath, that, that, that BA is... Been like the rain. <laughs> yeah, I think they've been held. I think they've probably got slot restrictions in place. I'm just waiting for any time that they can depart. Morning, Jim. Hope you're well. Um, it, was, it was actually quarter past six we started this morning, so, but yeah, we are still mad. Yeah, we had a proper lie in. Yeah. <laughs> that 15 minutes saved us. <laughs> uh, Tony, good morning. And British Airways is now entering runway two three left. Amazing. And it's turning and burning. All the pencil emojis there for that 7 5 that just left. So, as I said, that two is positioned for Newcastle. Uh, also, just over Stockport now is the Singapore A350 from Singapore. Okay, it's a heavy, it gets priority. And then we'll have an Aer Lingus ATR72 from Dublin. I apologise to that British Airways pilot if they ever watched this, which they weren't, so I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> Got over that guilt complex really quickly there, didn't I? <laughs> just a bit. Oh, dearie me. Uh, thanks, Ian. It's an awesome sound. Always good to hear it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's always it's positive, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we've got an ease jet now departing. Off to Milan. And that is how you do a winglet pan, people. That was decent. Morning, Darren. Hope you're well. So that noise never gets old. Music to my ears. I'm assuming that was about the 757. And I assume you're talking about the planes, not us. Well, yeah. That's a given. Uh, Singapore passing Cheadle. Jump on that. Do you have a... Uh... Oh, that was a smooth pan onto that winglet. Oh, that was, <laughs> it? That was decent, wasn't it? Sometimes you just feel good about it and sometimes you don't. <laughs> Today's... Today and yesterday have been good days. Uh, Cheadle, so we want to get this Singapore. I know it's a Jet 2, but that's just Lynn's fault. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just over here, green. Excellent. Now. Yeah, well, definitely. You can't say no to Singapore Airlines A350. Absolutely. And after that, I'm going back to the. Uh... I'm getting a coffee. You're getting a coffee. And uh, I'll go back to the, the travel hacks. Excellent. Travel, travel hacks, travel tips, whatever you want to call them. And here is the Singapore A350. Oh, he's a bit wibbly wobbly there. Wibbly wobbly. So, uh, get that nose down now. You're on the runway, stop showing off. <laughs> Too. Uh, Chris, good morning over in uh, Detroit. 
Welcome to the stream, uh, mate. And happy Easter to you as well, Carlin. Thank you. Well, Carlin, good morning. I'm panning and drinking coffee. This is <laughs> morning, Martin. From a rainy uh, county, Durham. How Manchester is looking out this morning. I won't lie. We've looked out, but there is some cloud behind us that looks not as good as uh, what we've had for the last 20, 25 minutes. So, fingers crossed, we'll, this look stays. And we have the motor air coming out as well. Awesome. I think I'll actually do a winglet pan on that one. Okay. You love a winglet pan. I do, you know. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a sad fetish, I think. Well, I'm going to pest you all now. If you haven't already pressed the like button, press the like button. Yeah, we don't pest you that often, do we, on this we channel? So, uh, I just do it when I remember. <laughs> oh, this, this motor air's in a rush to get back. Oh. So that is a fast old taxi. Right, okay. I'm in place. Well done. I'm going to do a uh, winglet pan there on this one. So we go back to Milan. Go 600 mil. <laughs> no mess. <laughs> Why not? Why not? What I'll do is I'll stay on the plane until it starts rolling and then I'll uh, jump on the winglet. Good morning, Matthew. Hope you're well. I know I lost that about two times. Oh, well done. There we go. But uh, thank you, Matthew. Uh, I mean, I kind of forgot. I just kind of forget about bank holidays, to be honest. But uh, so I wouldn't really be like, oh, it's dedication. But we do appreciate that you appreciate, appreciate us it. coming out. Lots of appreciation. Just a Monday. It does just feel like a Monday to me. There's just a few more of you here because you don't have to go to work. Exactly. Which is always a bonus. Mega bonus, that. Uh, Michelle and Johnny. Um, we won't be live Friday morning. I think Mac Aviation will be live Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully he will catch your departure. But I hope you have a great flight. What are they flying? Do we know? Tui Dreamliner. So. You'd be afternoon, yeah. He should he should get you. Thank you, Liz. Um, I think he, he usually goes. I know he's been going a couple of ones where he's been going a bit earlier, hasn't he? From 7 through to. Yeah, like he's the one to check out, though, because I don't think anyone else goes on a Friday. Yeah. And uh, Matt's saying by 10.30, we'll have seen seven of the eight 757... Of the other what? Hang on. We'll have seen seven of the eight 757s in Chet 2's fleet depart. There we go. That was a tongue twister and a half. Oh, well, that's on it. Um, so, AA is on the ground in Manchester. Um, for the rest of it, isn't uh, booked to fly today, according to Flight Radar. Well, now you know. Well, it's been lazy. That's how I, I put it. I, I agree. You, I they should have switched nice out one of that. the seven threes for one, shouldn't they? Okay, right. I'm going to finish these. Uh, what's it? Actually, let me just double check flight radar. Mike's not shouting at me, though, I don't think so. We do have uh, an EasyJet A320 from Belfast on the finals. It's just passing over Cheadle now. Excellent. Well, I'll just dump on the uh, A380 for a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Aviation for All's um, 
tip, and I like this one because I agree. Saying don't fall asleep on a flight, you miss too much. I I, I agree unless I'm on a red eye. Yeah, if it's like a really long flight, or if it's dark, then you can't see anything really. So if it's a red eye, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I will get some sleep. And uh, HR photos. And one that a lot know, but very good still. Uh, put an air tag in your luggage. Yep. Uh, obviously. Or just put a Harrison in your luggage. <laughs> put a Harrison <laughs> in your luggage. He travels in North. That's who HR for, uh, photos is, yeah. by the way. That's um, why but uh, yeah, so obviously Apple do air tags. I know there are, Samsung do their own version. There are probably now generic versions you can probably buy on Instagram. Obviously, you connect it to your phone. You can then see if your luggage goes missing. You can see where it You're is. You're going to buy the Apple one. Buy them early because during the summer, they will, they will, they will yeah, sell out. They will. Um, definitely get some of them. It just gives you an extra thing to kind of track it. It's a really good idea. Just um, to say that the 276 is pushing. Awesome. But yeah, thank you for uh, those of you that responded on that. I thought I'd try and do something a bit different on that because, you see, I feel like... Instagram is my little kind of free for all. I feel like I can kind of do what I want on it without worrying too much because it doesn't really give us much back in yeah. terms of anything because I just it just doesn't because that's Instagram. That's a metaphor for you. But so I kind of like experiment with stuff on there. So I like I enjoyed that. I might do some more in the future if I can think of some other questions. Um, I did actually have a couple of my own little tips though as well when I can find them. Oh, here we go. So. Uh, packing cubes, they're a good one. They're a good one if you want to just take the small bags and go and have checked luggage. Um, you can get them on Amazon and get a few different sizes of them. And especially if you roll your clothes rather than fold them, you can put loads of stuff in and they kind of compress down and it just it just gives you so much more room. And also if you have just got a small bag, it just gives you that bit of extra space. Um, I know if you want to go for a few days, you can maybe even get away with just using them and the smallest, like the little carry-on bag you get with like, basic you know like Ryanair and Easter and everything yeah um while that Virgin's now only going to gate wow A330 that's been waiting a while that, that. has been waiting a while wowzers uh right I've got two more right just quick ones right one for probably more for the for the ladies um if you want to get your toiletries uh if you especially if you, again this is if you maybe you've only got hand luggage you, you try and stuff everything in them little plastic bags they don't fit you can order your stuff into boots at the airport. And I know a lot of people are starting to do this now because obviously boots will hold your stuff for a few days. So maybe book it in for collection the day before you fly. And then you just go, go to the counter as normal, go, hi, I've got a parcel to collect. And then all you're your not toiletries. Paying silly money. You're not paying silly money at the airport. Plus then you can just put it in your bag. You don't have to worry about having it through security. Obviously, a lot of the stuff you might just use while you're away, like your shampoos and stuff, you might not bring it back anyway because you're away for a while. So that's always a good tip. Oh my god, Liz, that's oh amazing. God. And um, the other one that I thought of, which uh, it was because I saw a video about someone going, oh, um, this is how like you should always ask to try and get upgraded on a flight and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, fair enough, you don't ask, you don't get. But whenever I was looking for people to try and upgrade, I really I wasn't appreciative of people like, can you upgrade to free? Because it'll go down in status. So if you've got anyone on the plane, you know, like a gold card or whatever. Yeah. they'll get the priority but after that the best tip a just be nice to the check-in staff uh but b wear something nice yeah. you just dress like it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to be in like a suit and tie but if you do like smart casual you oh, it sounds really bad but, but they want, you'll look, get they want picked, people to look the part they want people to look the part so that that's what we think so that's there's your there's your tips there you i hope you enjoyed them um, I'm I, I've just got one, right? Yeah, I, uh, I need that. No. Yeah. Uh, I've I've just got one, and it's be- it's because we live in an age of credit cards and debit cards, and they're increasingly being used abroad. Yeah. Always have a bit of small bit of currency on you. Oh yeah, yeah. The amount of times where I've seen these cards go wrong, and then people have just been left in the lurch in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's also good for like a lot of places that you go to. The especially always, maybe smaller places, they maybe like taxis and stuff. It's yeah. easy. They want cash. I always, um, I always carry cash on me. Yeah, or if you know, if you're just in a maybe small little cafe or something, they might not take card. Or plus, if you want to do a little bit of a tip as well, it's usually a lot easier in cash, isn't it? Well, it's it's an old tip from like uh, some some uh, someone I know, and it's just like ca- cash will always get you out of trouble. Yeah, that's true. One number one thing: cash will always get you out of trouble in life. Whereas a card, not so much. 
I'm just saying what I've missed. Uh, Gillian, good morning. So we have the louder out in the taxi. The 76 is now on. Oh, yeah, it's coming out towards us now. I can see its tail uh, behind T1. Uh, we've got an EaseJet that's pushed. I'm not on the taxi yet. And there's another Ryanair that's just pushed. Uh, it's awesome. Like it's um, 9.37, we've got a Nordica Mitsubishi CRJ 900ER. Just saw that. It looks decent, that. I'm from Copenhagen, that's you. God. Well, it's better than the uh, the plain white ones, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I do like the CRJ, so it's a double win. Thanks, Craig. Yeah, it's, uh, we do have, we've got the tent just in case, but we also have just our other like, waterproof stuff, which I really hope we can maybe, if we have to, just get, get away, away with that, rather than having to put the tent up. Might just like sell spots in the tent if it really does book it down. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of um, other spotters on the mound today as well. So, yeah. Um... Oh, I was right. I was going to say, I was just reading the comments. So, this is Johnny, who, Michelle and Johnny, who are flying on Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to the Dominican for her 40th birthday. Oh, uh, nice one. I spoil her too much. I don't think you do. I think that's a lovely gift. And uh, I do hope you have a fantastic well, time. I wish you spoiled me for my 40th a few years ago. <laughs> me? <laughs> no. All right, I was going to say, I didn't know you for your 40th. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll no, do I'm something sure else. I'm sure you have an amazing you. time. I'm sure you have an amazing time. Yeah, you will. That's very true, Matt. I'm saying, uh, travel tip warning, uh, packing cubes make uh, space in your suitcase, but do not make your wife's shoes lighter. <laughs> You've got to have a pair of shoes for every eventuality. And, yes, everything's coming out towards us now. Looks like we're going to have a busy five, ten minutes here. Uh, Gillian, no, I don't think they've not scrapped that yet here. I know they've done it at London City Airport uh, with the new scanners. Um, I think that, I think other airports, they're, they're all due to... I mean, they're going to scrap that they, thing what, anyway what, at some point, but... The issue at Manchester is they've got... They do have those scanners, but they're in T2 only. Yeah, yeah they'd, they'd be too much... Um, it'd be too much hassle for them. Because so, like, you could just imagine people going up, going, well, why can't I do it in this... Yeah, why can't I do it over there when I can't do it over here? My friend Bob went blue out yesterday. He could take his two-litre bottle of Coke through and I can't take mine. And Yeah. It'd have to be across the board. Yes, absolutely. Otherwise, it'd just be a, a nightmare for them. And, and the, the the media team here, but, I mean, I, I know them quite well. And they're really nice people, but they do get a lot of flack. They do. Like, unwarranted a lot of time. I'm not saying they're perfect, because... No one is, but like some of the stuff they just got thrown at him. Yeah, I, and especially uh, when a lot of it, especially the stuff last year, was down to well, if we're going to be talking about Tui, talking about um, the handling side. Yeah, it, it was really, really bad. And like the, the airport was like going back, going, well, it's actually not our fault. It, that's to do with the handlers of the airline. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the airlines were just staying so quiet; they wouldn't say anything. That's the it problem. Like, it's like if you go poor. to. A, it's like that wasn't blaming... just from Tui. That wasn't from Tui. No, well. but it's That's like blaming a shop, the whole shopping centre, for a problem with one shop. Yeah. And uh, you don't, you know, you you have if you have an issue with the one shop, not the whole shopping centre. Well, we'll uh, keep a focus on this uh, two seven six. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, plus I'm simply the best aviation channel. Ah, thank you. We do appreciate people's support, and uh, it's great that you like us. And we do now have the Air Lingus A330 out in the taxi as well. It's like Mega Rally or something. Which one, that? Air Lingus A330. Let's have a look. Seems it's only half nine. That's what I'm thinking. Early as hell, that. Unless it's got in a position to flight back to Dublin in order to have maintenance. 
Uh, it's going to Shannon. Yeah, okay, so it's going, it's going for maintenance. Okay, well, this one might actually might be a really good one because it will rotate pretty early. Yeah. So this is uh, 276.2 Boa Vista. I think I'll record that um, A330. Yeah. Vortices from the uh, engines look awesome. Right, one of these is going to be going next. I'm going for the Rhino, it's a good gas. Morning, Bobby, hope you're well. Uh, morning, Caitlin. And we also have the uh, Tui Fly Special coming out. 737. That's uh, CRJ's on long finals. Okay. So Bradbury. Well, the CRJ. Sorry, that Turkish 737 Max 8. That'll be decent. Uh, from Istanbul, isn't too far away. About nine minutes. Definitely won't get that going out, but I'd say this Aer Lingus going out could be something special. Yes. Because you know the pilots are wanting to have a bit of fun with that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming that's... I mean, I'm assuming they're not just doing a normal flight to Shannon on that. No. It will be a... Uh... Ah, oh, someone who I know off uh, social media. It's Rob, isn't it? Not bad, how are you doing, mate? No, Top man. training okay wasn't aware of that thanks for that info yeah appreciate, appreciate that. that morning timbo hope you're well morning mrs freddie mercury hey how are you doing there it's, uh, nice to see you as always in the chat Stephen, good morning you're allowed to lie in on a bank holiday Right, I am only going to keep on this uh, easy jet until it rotates. I'm going to go back because I really want as much cool. as uh, we can. Uh, this easy jet is going to Malaga as an A319. You would have just thought the Malaga one would have just been a, an A, A320. CRJ at Hill Green. Just throwing Simon into disarray there. <laughs> CRJ, in it. CRJ all day long. Sorry, people. If you love EasyJet's got a Malaga, this isn't the channel for you. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, it's, like, it's kind of it's kind of nice, nice, nice paint. It's scheme. a good-looking plane, so uh, I can see it now. Cool. But we will get an up close of it when it departs, so uh, hang around for that. There it is. I might be able to get both there, actually. Check you out. Check me out. Oh, 
That's a good looking aircraft, that. But as I say, we'll, we'll get up close and personal with that one on departures. Should still be around for that. I'll double check when it's due out. EasyJet still doesn't want to do anything. Just like, going, nah, Simon's not on me yet. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so that little one is due out at 10.15. That's 35 minutes from now. <laughs> See, I don't have to wait too long for it. There you go. Uh, Mr. Oscar, good morning. David, good morning. I did not know that about Bo Vista. I'll, uh, I'll have a little look at that on YouTube, I think. Awesome, Oliver saying uh, thanks for the stream this morning. Um, walked my dog past you guys this morning. Right, and uh, the, back guys, in the stream the guy now. who's right behind us. I'm so sorry, just mate, like because he was the guy who was out yeah. yesterday. Next time, just honestly come over to us and have a chat. Well, yeah. I'd love to have a chat with you. What's his name? Just screenshot him because like, he's a nice guy. Um, I feel sorry for that. I, I feel bad. Just that we had a, quite a few planes going out at that time. You got a lovely dog, by the way. Yeah, I love the dog. Very for doggos. <laughs> Just like when things are busy, we'll get the departures, but we're always happy to have a chat with people who come over. And honestly, we just appreciate everyone's support. So, all right, so it's the two fly coming on next, so I'm not in a rush to go back onto that. Tui is going to Dalaman, it's a 737. Right, and we've got the Aer Lingus going on after this, so Okey -doke. I will be uh, on the record. I'm going to be all over the place. It's just going to be two e past us and then going back onto that. <laughs> Sorry for some crackles there. Um, that was me just messing around. So this next one could be special. I think this one's going to be up like an absolute rocket. And uh, Chris and Matt, thank you for the info. I'll read it out once uh, once it's departed. Right. Let's go. go. Enjoy, everyone. This should be fun. Decent, but not as good as the other one that we had. Oh. Timing, of course, the uh, Turkish Max 8 came in. But, uh, of course it does. Well, we will get that on the way out, so yes. that's not a problem. 
Yeah, so uh, Chris was saying, so apparently the A321 uh, flight crew at Ellen has been converted to the 330. That's right. Uh, okay. 321 is leaving the UK arm of Aer Lingus, uh, and the JFK route changes to A330 from 200. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and then Mike was saying that the uh, uh, Aer Lingus A330 uh, only moved to a British registration on the, four, uh, on the 24th of March, sorry, uh, first on the 7th of April from Dublin to Manchester. Uh, did Shannon and back yesterday and then this trip today. There we go. Thank you, oh, everyone. Thank you, guys. The FROP, good morning to you. Oh, my phone is buzzing. And uh, Jack, good morning. Hope you're well. Uh, Ray's good morning. And, uh, awesome spot, EKF. Hopefully not long for the Emirates. It is due out in about five minutes or so. Yep. All was, compartments, uh, all compartments yep. are closed, so it should be going on time. I mean, it pushed early yesterday. It pushed five minutes early yesterday. Obviously, the time that is on the thing is the pushback time, not the takeoff yep. time. Um, but still, five minutes early for pushback is gate still to gate, isn't it? fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, if you know what you're doing when you're doing recording those flights, it's uh, you actually log the time of the second that beacon goes on. <laughs> if you're in a rush. Oh, wait. This jet is going to go in the red zone, isn't it? Oh, no, he's up before nah. it. Boo. <laughs> Christopher, good morning. We are doing well, thank you. Hope you're doing well, too. Yeah, so I'll have said, uh, I will come and say hello next time for sure. Definitely, mate. Said, uh, uh, so I was worried you guys were busy. No, honestly. Honestly, mate. It's like there were a couple of planes, as you know, as we were going out. But honestly, we'd love to say hello to you. Uh, we it saw you yesterday and we would good today. So, mate, it please goes come for, over. It, honestly, it goes for everyone. Like I say, the stuff got out and then, we'll, you know, we'll catch it. But, you know, if you have got a minute to hang around, please do. We've just seen your doggy as well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, why? <laughs> if you've got a dog, even better. <laughs> have another Ryanair coming over here right now. I'm just looking to see if that tug is connected at the on the Emirates. I'm, I think if you look to the bottom, it is. So hopefully that's going to get pushed in the next few minutes. And there is a Ryanair coming out over here. I know, too much excitement for one stream, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, so this uh, Ryanair is off to Kerry, it's a 737. We've got uh, an arrival nearly here, it's an EasyJet A320 from Jersey. Excellent. Right, let's see if that's charged and up And then also was Excellent. Uh, another EasyJet from the Isle of Man. Another EasyJet, it's an uh, EasyJet returning hour. Yep. Ah, in fact... The it's not the third one out. Third easy jet out is the one from Amsterdam, which someone said was it their daughter was That's on. That's right. So hopefully. So you've just had one arrive now. So there's two more, and it's the second one. I will keep an eye Number on that. Number two. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. I like to say I remember these things. Oh, 
as I say, we'll make a priority for that Amsterdam. So, we do have a Ryanair now, entering runway 2 here at Manchester Airport. Well, enjoyed breakfast, Josh, and uh, thank you for tuning in. everyone's having a, a chilled Monday morning, watching don't, some planes. Don't blame them, everyone works so hard, moon. don't they? Oh, we do have the Lufthansa A321 Neo in. I Very do nice. like that plane. It looks it looks pretty. <laughs> it, it is a nice plane. I enjoy yeah. it. Oh, it's Simon's time. You know what time it is, people. There's no planes on the runway, but you know what else is on the runway. Is it an ops car by any chance? Oh, it's an ops car. You know it. <laughs> Let's pan this ops car like a ledge. Ah, uh, well, the EasyJet from the Isle of Man is just by Heel Green. EasyJet from Amsterdam is for over Stockport. I'll, I'll, yeah. Get your ops car. Get I'll your ops the, car. I'll the ops car. Sorry. <laughs> the ops car. Yeah, don't spit. Yeah, go on speed up. I'll still get you. Don't, don't play me. <laughs> Oh, we just got attacked by like blossom. Blossom in my coffee cup now as well. I end up drinking some tree again. Dean, don't come out if we're just saying tree. All part of a tree. Okay. Let's get this easy jet that's coming in. It's about to touch down. And there it is. And we'll stay down there for the Amsterdam arrival in a minute. Just get this one. Tech, uh, exit. Oh, God, I can't speak. We will get this one exiting the runway. There we go. Yeah, Claire, th there is that. I mean, there's obviously you can just hold it. Or just find somewhere away from everyone. <laughs> it's, a pain. It's, it's a pain as a woman, I won't lie. Okay, Cheadle. Yep. I'm heading down there now. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, on it. I'm messing around with this channel. <laughs> well, on a Monday. Sunday shows a different matter altogether. He's out of the gym. Ops action in 4K. I've only just literally noticed that uh, Cessna citation. I didn't even notice it, because <laughs> I can't oh. see it, it's, it's so diddy. But there is a session citation coming over here now to depart. And, uh, morning Tap Aviation, uh, it's not that cold. Don't it's wrong. decent today. It's, yeah. It's like Goldilocks' porridge. I'm not quite sure about that. It's just right. It's not, it could be better. Stop, stop complaining, Liz. <laughs> I do, because I'm playing. <laughs> I think I'm going to set up a new YouTube channel for Liz, everyone, where, where it's just her just ranting about, about stuff. Cold. Yeah, well, just complaining, full stop. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be brilliant. Here's the easy jet. Lovely. Morning, Hatter. Hope you're well. Just touching down. Your corrections, oh god, get that nose down, happy days. And you're back in the UK. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, it's, I think, uh, was it, yeah, Jim, what is it? I think we all would like a job at side Ops. I just want to go scare the car losses away. <laughs> Oh, rain. Is that rain? That was rain. That was a random couple of drops of rain. Okay, right, I'm on. I think it's not bad. I'm no, not. I know. I'm just going to put my camera away for one. Okay. Uh, and I just want to make sure that I've got the stuff to hand should I need it. Because it's literally like a few <laughs> drops. It's actually white cloud above us. It's okay. bizarre. But that's Manchester for you. Yeah, welcome to Manchester. That's why we love it. I don't think so. That's a few minutes <laughs> It's not great over there, but it's not too bad. Is that the right one of them, or is that the wrong one? That's the wrong one that's of them. That's the wrong one. Okay, that's the correct one of them. That's that one. Oh, God, the tissue's going everywhere now as well, hopefully. The only ones I'm going to ask for is the one for the external monitor. I've got them out just in case we need them. I'll just make sure. So that's covering. For the most part. Okay. On it. Beats the world record for earliest rotation. That's the bit. That was uh, that was up like an absolute shot. Made Rishi look Rishi Sunat look stupid. <laughs> oh, that's the A321 here or whatever. Oh God, yeah, that was. Sorry, I see. I wasn't watching that one. It literally watching... just rotated right in front of us. Yeah. Trying to make sure that the rain was uh, prepared for. <laughs> Liz, do we have plastic cover for the external monitor? Yes. It's the only one I'm going to put on now. Emirates is pushed. Oh! I might rip that off when the Emirates comes in. Yeah, that's fine for at least for now. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have it for a few minutes. We are. That's perfect. All right, yeah. I've done well lasting this long. Do you want a camera cover yet, or no? Are you good? Yep, go for it. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera cover on now, uh, just to cover base. I do think we're going to have some bad weather for a few minutes. Did I mention we go to a black screen? Oh, yeah, I'll go back for a second. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll see the light in a moment. We'll see the light. Uh, Stagtastic, good morning, hope you well. Do we have a new member, uh, David Riley? Welcome. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to have you on board with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thanks for joining. Hope you're enjoying it today. Well, obviously, you are. I'm just going to get my umbrella because I'm sick of my phone getting wet. Are you happy with all this? No. No, okay. I've got um got a cover for that. Or a bag. Hang on. 
got a bag? Yeah, two sets. Just do this 7.5 departure? Yeah. Bag over something and lift it up halfway through. That's why I came with the 757 shot. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't bad panning like you get on other places. No, that was just at uh, least nearly ripping my arm off. <laughs> oh well. Sorry about that. Alright. Woo! Umbrellas up. And next to depart, we do have the KLM Hop. Hoppity hop hop. Hoppity hop hop for Easter. Just gonna put my microphone on the inside. I'll do it another way. Okay. <laughs> it's a great thing with these things. I got. Okay, I need to just check that Mike's not shouting at me about anything. Oh, well, unfortunately, that's life. <laughs> uh, Mixed a good morning. Not a problem, David. Like to make everyone feel as welcome as possible here. And the hop is spilling up now. To eat Dreamliner that's going to be uh, going to Melbourne, Florida. Good flight uh, prices on that. Um, going up yesterday at two hundred and seventy pounds. And they were actually two hundred seventy. And they were actually on the, on the through website. the TUI website. Bargain. Um, you I, said yours were coming up more expensive. Yeah, so I did a search a couple of nights ago, and I don't know if it was just because it was a couple of nights ago, and they thought saved everyone your, was saved your cookies yeah. potentially as well. So, uh, but yeah, two hundred and seventy. Obviously, that's. Uh, in the next sort of month or two but you know if you are quite flexible you want to get out to florida uh 270 quid is an absolute bargain and the car hires they're cheap out there as well yeah exactly uh also we've got the air tank on for tenerife that'll be for jet team and obviously the emirates a380 gonna be heading back to dubai all right probably isn't raining it's always the way, though, isn't yeah. it? It's... it's not too bad, though, is it? It's not bad at all. As um, I say, I think when the Emirates goes out, I'll rip this uh, cover off and uh, yeah. do a decent pan. So uh, Matt was saying that this Jet 2757 um, is apparently uh, one of the oldest passenger 757s. In mm. Or maybe even the oldest. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit heavier now. It is a bit. Uh, morning H, hope you're well. <coughs> so, right, just making sure that everything's covered. Morning Anthony, hope you're well. Let's 
go. Jim's a fan of the uh, dot com livery 757. That's why I like Jim. <laughs> There's many reasons why I like Jim, but that's just another one. Oh, we have a bit of Atara coming towards us. The Emirates hasn't uh, started its taxi yet. Oh, it's, there it is. I couldn't see it through the rain. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, KLM just turned on to finals. I think we're getting... I, I don't think we're going to have that much. But no, the sun is trying to come back out. I think this is a bit of a shower. I think towards Nutsford they're getting a bit of it. Yes. But here we're... Uh, uh, so I'm just about Wigan's really bad at the moment. Luckily, Wigan's a little bit further away from us. And the Emirates is now on the taxi. Awesome. Thanks for uh, tuning in today, Andrea. Have a lovely rest of your day. ATR is a fascinating aircraft, but I'm sorry, this one's better. This is off to Dublin. Oh, Matt, you should stay for the Emirates, then go for your garden centre breakfast. <laughs> I think it's the right thing to do. I would agree. I think it'd be rude to not watch it. If you don't watch it, are you really an aviation enthusiast? Yeah. Are you a breakfast enthusiast? Are you a plant enthusiast? <laughs> I was saying when we went, we went to a garden centre on the way back from uh, uh, London, didn't we? Yes, we did. And I was like, I could feel the plants dying as I walked past them because they were so bad with plants. Yeah. She literally has, you know, you talk about green fingers, she literally has the fingers of death. I really do. I have an aloe vera plant which are pretty good at keeping themselves alive and it's dead. I've just put it on the balcony you yesterday. Put it on the balcony. I was like, oh, it might, it might get some life back into it. I think it is definitely dead and never coming back. Yeah. Even even uh, Jesus of the plane couldn't bring that one back from the dead. <laughs> Maybe I should take it on that easy jet flight. <laughs> See if it's a miracle. It's a miracle! I don't think there's any rescue in that thing. To be honest, it's, now that it's raining in Manchester, it's probably the first water it's had in about eight months. <laughs> Plus, probably a year, actually. Great job, Les. <laughs> Double thumbs up. I do feel like this is just a bit of a shower. It just needs to... Pass. Yeah, it's, it's quite clear behind us. Yeah, so I can see blue sky there. In front I, I know on radar. I know on radar it's not, but... It, it doesn't look I know look the too ASMR bad. of my umbrella. I said it's not. On the edge of it. <coughs> I get you. I get you. Oh, I'm, sorry. Oh, well. I'm sorry I keep dying, everybody. Well, thank you for that, man. Is it Mike? Sorry. Is it Mike? Oh, no. <coughs> Lee. Sorry, Lee. I'm... Oh, 
I'm sorry, really, I'm ruining this uh, wonderful A380 experience. You are. You know, people I'm come sorry. along for these. It's amazing um, kind I think of... what I will do, um, I'm going to ask you all to press the little online button while that thing lines up. I'm going to pass my mic to Simon to put on the side and I'm going to get a drink. Look, please do. Please, please, please go somewhere else and die. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't, I don't want that. But, uh, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? But there seems to be a little bit of a wait. We do have a KLM that's just touched down behind. There we go. Still got its nose up, showing off. Beautiful job. Touch down, you're on stream. Don't wave to us like someone else did. <laughs> Don't want that again. But um, hopefully. Yes, yeah, so A380 is now coming on. I mean, the, 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 technically there could have been a cell at the end of the runway or something. I didn't mean, want to go into, but it's not that bad. Even Liz said it's not that bad, so it must be. I'm actually going to take this off. Just for this departure. Yeah. Just so I can see the screen better. Look at that mighty beast head on. I do love that shot of the A380. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoy this departure. rotation there. But it'll be interesting to see when this di uh, disappears in those clouds. I think it, we won't have too long to watch. We might get a bit of fluffage. just rain through it <laughs> don't even get that just get rubbish rain that's Manchester for you anyway we love it though well it's just making its turn now so we might get lucky and see it again when it comes out on this side. there is a Tui uh, it's just holding short of runway two three left. So we'll just go on that, and if I see the Emirates, I'll jump onto that one again. Absolutely. Uh, Mick, good morning. Hope you're well. Probably hear my microphone there, just uh, moving it to a better position now that the rain has abated a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Pingu, good morning. Okay, I can see it, and I think we will get it in a few moments' time. The Emirates, again. But we do have... Oh, this is a heavy hour here, isn't it? It is. Yes, we do have two Tui Dreamliners. We've got this one, and there's another one. Yeah, so and this one's the, the one... the Air Tanker. Yeah, so this one's the one for Melbourne. Uh, the Air Tanker's going to Tenerife. Yep. Uh, obviously, on behalf of Jet 2. Um, where's the other oh, Dreamliner? Can I have that cover again? No. Okay, can't see the other Dreamliner at the moment on radar. I can see there is another Jet 2757 for Lanzarote on radar, though. Every time you think that rain's going to eat it. Every time I think, oh, I might put the umbrella down. Right, I am going to try and get this. I can't see it. Oh, there it is, there it is. <laughs> I can even see the A380 through the cover that I've got on here. But as soon as the Tui goes, I'll jump onto that. You usually have to wait a few minutes. Oh, that really threw me. So I was like, oh, there's a Brussels coming in. I went, hang on a minute, that's a Eurowings livery. And 
Go figure. Okay. Two is filling up and the rain is coming in now. Very nice flex there. Okay, and we'll jump onto the... Uh, Trying to just give a bit more protection there with the rebelli. Thanks, Liz. <coughs> so, it's flying by half of Jet 2. It's an air tanker A330. Um, still not got a sticker on it, which I'm sure is irking uh, Jet 2 at the moment. So just play Jesklin and feel better about it. Yeah, just play double the amount of Jesklin. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Exactly. That's the theory, isn't it? It is the theory. Do you feel happy to be under the brolly? With you. Oh, oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I say I flew in an air tanker last year. It was amazing. I uh, booked it again this year. Oh, okay. That's oh, it's nice to hear. I've only ever I heard... Do, I do I've not know. heard good things. I have, oh, don't air I tanker I've not heard bad things about. You see, I've just heard people sort of complain. I think it's because the, like... It's not Jet 2. Yeah, I think it gets into people's heads. It's not Jet 2. Um, if, I, I wonder if they, if they knew the company and, like, what they actually do, would they change their mind? You know, if the new mm. air tanker and, like, it's... You know, with the, uh, well, effectively, a subsidiary of the uh, RAF. Exactly. The... I do that, that might be better, mightn't it? Yeah. I'll just have to... You just have to move back when we uh, pan round. That's all right, I can do that. Liz has to pan as well. Liz has to pan the yeah, brolly. Yeah, <laughs> I can't see the bottom of the runway now, to be honest. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, it, but behind us is not that bad, though. As long as the equipment's all right, I don't care. I think we've got it pretty well covered up there, haven't we? I think we're good. There's only one weak spot and that's there. Which bit? The, the gap where the wires the are the going. Gap. Yeah, okay. It is getting heavy, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be mega. I'm sure it's covered. So... I just hope it clears up for when that CRJ goes out. Just oh, go for nice. the CRJ. And the, uh, Get it over with now. Yeah. We did well, though, to get to, like, ten. Oh, it's, like, I'm, quarter past ten now. And, I'm like, taking it. I'm taking it, to be honest. That's, uh, it's not the worst in the world. Trust me, when it, when it rains at Manchester, it can be horrible. This yeah. isn't bad. No, exactly. I've spent many, many an hour out here getting absolutely soaked yeah. to the bone and, and like this is like, yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> Jim, it's just a shower, stay positive. Doesn't mean we can all use the spray emoji. Yeah, but your curse cape, see, I told oh, you. Oh, well that's, no, it's been, I told you, right? It would have been fine, but you ruined it by not believing. No, uh, you cursed it. Honestly. Throwing up a bit of spray there, this A330. This is kicking tripods. Sorry. Oops. She has a tripod kicking face, to be honest. <laughs> she's got a bad history of tripods. She's not throwing them, she's kicking them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if you can see the uh, 
Before we left. Oh, and it's just a bit heavier now. That's why I love leather. Oh, where's that Dreamliner gone? I don't, I don't, I didn't see it on radar. So oh, was it on the tow? It was on the tow. I think it might have been under the tow somewhere. Oh, this is lovely, this, isn't it? Oh, no. Watch that. Rain cover. It just got off, caught a bit of... Hang on. Okay, I think that's good. Sorry. Oh, good. I wouldn't mind Dreamliner going out right now. Get more spray. We do have a 757 coming over here though. Not a problem, Carwin. Have uh, a lovely rest of your evening. Yep. So I've still got water on my phone. Hang on. I need to dry my phone. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. I don't want a raindrop to like time someone out or something. <laughs> That'd be really awkward. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all here for this. Okay, we do have an arrival. Oops. And it is a British Airways shuttle. Awesome. I can't tell through the screen what it is. It looks like an A320 from here. I'll have a look. I haven't got Engine, one hand. Engines look like quite high up, so I'm going to go to CEA. Oh, no, that's an EO. That's an EO. Stand corrected. So I, I'm looking through a thing which is like a warped piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah. So, um... You can't tell a lot from my <laughs> So if I say a load of rubbish, just bear with me. Yeah, we'll get there in the end. I do know the difference between a, uh, a CEO and a NEO. So. Oh, and then the wind gets up. I oh, love Manchester. So, let's jump onto this. Uh, <laughs> just shake it off because he was trying to drip a load of water on it. Yeah, two, seven, five. Oh, dear of me. Yeah, ghost plane. Yeah, that was like Jet 2. <laughs> or a polar bear. I'm just looking for white things now. My umbrella's white. There we go. Uh, J. Fred, good morning. Hope you're well. Yep, absolutely. Sleepless in Nashville. <laughs> so I just got home from uh, the mass an hour and a half ago. Uh, crazy weather, but fabulous golf. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, you were actually there. You were actually a patron. Ooh, very nice. Hope you had a great time. Morning, Carla. Hope you're well. Ah. Hope you're all enjoying the uh, ASMR on my umbrella here. You get this free. <laughs> Everyone else charges. We don't. We don't charge for rain for rain sounds. Probably a copyright strike on the music. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Exactly. You need to keep an eye on the, the riders, please. Yes. Um, That's only right now. There's a there's a something at hide. There's an Austrian Airlines oh, at hide. As long as I roughly know where it is, I was yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's I, your next one. We can guess what it is when it lands. All right, okay. Right, well, Johnny, you can definitely keep the, the hail in Bolton. Oh, oh. what? You can, you can do them with the hail. What's the is I can still see brighter sky. It's the brightest sky behind us. I think we're literally, as you just said, right on the edge. Yeah. Dog's got it right. Just keep complaining, mate. It looks nice going past because of that bright spot over there, though, with the spray. Go 
course it does. It does. Morning words, hope you're well. Uh, Big E47, good morning. I love it, I love this. Yeah, love Ryan. Let's say. I enjoy rain when I'm not in it. There is a dreamliner pushing finally. Hurrah. So I don't know why this freezer jet's waiting so long. We thought you just had to line up and wait, but we're just making him hold for a bit. Uh, Austrian at Cheadle. Excellent. I think we'll concentrate on this easy check. I think, I think that's probably a better idea. Stuff that we can see quite close. Just making sure the mic doesn't get wet. All oh, right. <laughs> I wonder what you were doing. Put his mic on my trolley. Well, oh, this spilling up. Oh, look at that spray behind it. Let's go for an engine. How crazy is that spray? Just a bit. I'd love to get a picture, but I've run out of hands. <laughs> You're just doing that now. <laughs> I know. I am umbrella holder. And the Austrian has landed. I'm going to just shake this off for a second. There we go. Where is it? It's there to the right. There we go. I can see two foot in front of me. There's a lot. lot of water going into this now. Okay. Do you want to... Be aware of that. Yes, uh, Lord Darlow, typical Manchester weather. I just need to... Not kick that. This. Yeah, I know. I, I just... I, keep, I haven't got a hand. Hold that. No, I mean. I think that should drip that way at least and then we should be okay. Thank you. Alright, let's film back out. Uh, man at City Half, I remember for a month saying there, uh, just you know, your channel is amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Great to have thank you on board, you. mate. 
Right, what have I missed? What else have I missed? And there is the Tui coming out. Yeah. Yes, if you are just joining or have just rejoined, uh, it's raining now. <laughs> it's clearing up at the, uh, the uh, bottom end. Okay, that's always a good sign. Hopefully, so maybe sign another here. five, ten minutes, hopefully. Yep. Oh, my seat's got a puddle on it. Yeah, you got two seats. That's true. My back's probably soaked as well. Oh, well, that's... Might have to stand up for a show. Imagine that, Liz. <laughs> die just thinking about it. Is it actually, uh, can be International Air Samoa Day, according to uh, YouTube? So I'm uh, right on top of it. Well, there we go then. Welcome to the uh, Think Plains, where we provide coverage of Manchester Airport live aviation, as well as ASMR of the rain. Just rain. Just rain. <laughs> Think rain. I feel we're robbing Simon low of all the bad weather that he always gets I in the know, stream. All right. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think he's going to get some tomorrow, actually, to be honest. Yeah. So, Wes also a member for one month. So, you know, wow, where does the time go? It's crazy, isn't that it? That time but flies, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> but thank you for your support, and it's nah. great to have your message in the chat. Absolutely, thank you. Ah, oh, Jesus is coming back. Of course he is. Coming back from dead. Can you bring the oh, wait a minute, sorry, Jersey. Can you bring the sunshine, please? <laughs> I'm not asking for a big miracle. Sorry. Sorry, Liz was literally just like poking the brolly in my eye. <laughs> I'm like going, can you put it up, please? <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, an easy jet start. Joe, hello again. Uh, Jim one hundred and nine at behind the scenes sticker. Are you ready for that tonight, Jim? Nobody's ready for no, that. No one's ready for it. I, but thank you, Jim. <laughs> I know it's done, and it's I, I I still can't believe it. It's shocking, isn't it? We have a Virgin Atlantic coming out as well. I couldn't even see that. Oh, cool! There's a a Ryanair on finals at Cheadle. Oh no, we got no no we got this jet on the runway. Okay. This will be fun to pan. Yep. Okay, apparently it's thundering in Bolton now. You keep it, right? The rain is easing off here. It's thunder. Well, if it's thunder, I'm jibbing. I, uh, yeah, I'm not that much to say that. Aaron. I love planes, but... Um, not that much. We're not think electrocution. Thank you, exactly. And, uh, James has been a member for three months. Brilliant. Saying Thank happy you. streaming. Thank you. Hang on. It's not bad. I'd like to say it's raining a bit. We're a bit soaked now, but that's life. I don't mind being a bit damp. It's the, it's the smell. It's the stuff. It's the smell. You know, like the, I love that, that smell. That damp smell. Oh, I hate it. The smell of rain on like vegetation. I actually. No, I've, do you know, like when it goes in your clothes? Oh, in your clothes. Oh, right yeah, now. I thought you meant on like there. the grass and stuff. I was gonna say I bought a candle for about thirty quid once that smelled like that. No. Spray ripped up by that Ryanair. Wowzers. Two seconds chat. Just going to put the brolly down. But I'm leaving it out just in case. I can put it in yeah. the puddle that is my chair. Um, oh my god, there's a puddle on my bag. That's fine. I'll live with that. And uh, I'm going to get a picture. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna zoom in on the engines because I think it's gonna. I agree. 
I think it's going to lift up a hell of a lot of uh, moisture going through there. Sorry about that noise, that was Mike just going back on because um, it's not raining anymore. There we go. But I shall jump onto that as soon as it spills up. But you know, my luck, it'll be now. <laughs> and you always change the composition, then it just changes, doesn't it? It you does. I mean? The A330 should be decent as well. That should lift a hell of a lot of spray. I agree. Oh, you can see it happening already. Just every so often, it just gets a little bit of water in intake. Here we go. There we go. I might have some fun with that sky. I'll put that in the puddle of the chair as well. Oh! That was beautiful, that top end. All the spray just came really? together and just moved down the wing. Beautiful. So, next to go out, we'll have a Ryanair 737-800. And behind that, we do have a Virgin Atlantic AV3300. I'm going uh, to just get this Ryanair, actually. Because I can get the tower behind it. Yep. I, I thought it was already. Uh, I on. do think we're going to get another shower again in a minute. I think we are. Well, hopefully we can get at least like the virgin out and get some pictures yeah. and then put the camera away nicely and get back to the chat. Uh, but yeah, chat. I will be back with you momentarily. We haven't forgotten you. I haven't forgotten. I'm actually just going to just look at you. You're still working. You're still all there. So I hope you're enjoying this. I think we're, despite the rain, we're having a great time. I, I That's mean, all right, yeah. I'll take this. I was I saying, mean, it's good preparation for what we might get on Wednesday. Yeah, that's true. Uh, weather forecast on uh, Wednesday looks a bit sporty. So we're all for that. We are. Oh, come on, Lina. In your own time. <laughs> well, yeah, I think the... I think because of the weather and the cells at the bottom, they're having to watch yeah. what this, the, uh, what's going out and everything at the moment, so totally understandable. Tree has rained on my phone. <laughs> uh, there's still rain on it. Okay, Virgin Atlantic is now just turned on. Oh. This could be very decent. Yeah. De these engines do push a lot out. Uh, Some might say spray tester. Spray-tastic. That's what we want. 
We'll have a bit of that. Won't say no. Turn your camera on, Liz, that helps. Just it rotates. That is something else, that. Oh, thanks, Andy, saying, uh, well done for staying at it like a good pair of half northerners. Yeah, hey, that's what and, we're uh, all about. <laughs> we don't let rain scare us. Is the tent nicer in that kind of weather, absolutely, but... But as I said, I just don't think it's going to be here for that long, so there's just Absolutely. no point. Plus, it, it can... Oh, look at the uh, wingtip vortices. Wowzers. There's a shot that there's one's missed. That looks stunning. I'd get it. I can't see the plane anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, I'd look at the I'm also and... too far. Uh... And you can see the previous departure there, just uh, banking off to the left. Oh, is that a blue there? No, no it's the right now, that. I thought that might have been a little bit, but it's the right now from before. But we'll stick with this for well, a yeah, few minutes. Yeah, do we minutes. have any wizards in those engines? Yeah, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking. Harry, po Harry Potter was in there. Harry Potter. <laughs> Voldemort was on the uh, TV. And, uh, awesome Rochelle saying, uh, knitting and plain spotting on the other side of the world uh, before bed. Yeah, uh, nothing better, thanks guys. Well, thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed glad it. Glad you enjoyed it. I do enjoy a bit of knitting myself, oh, I'm very good at it. I can do it though. I, I won't like. I didn't even notice this Lufthansa had arrived. <laughs> I didn't even hear it. I didn't know how there was a plane didn't around. I couldn't hear it. it. To be honest, well, we'll give it a bit of love. Always good to uh, see. I'm gonna check the battery levels and everything now because I haven't been able to do that for a while. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, that's okay. We will need to do it because I fancy getting that Emirates arrival. Yep, if you don't die, that, that's I'm a die. Because I think even, like, now it's going to stop raining for a bit, I think the spray off that is going to be something else. Yeah, I will. Oh, that's all right. It's the rain in the trees. I think it's about quarter past 12 it's due in at. I'm just going to go find it now. Well, there's the one that left. There is a Virgin Atlantic before that with, um, I actually know the, well, I don't know, the, I, I know the uh, part. Yeah, it's an hour away. <coughs> an hour and some away. Hang on. An hour and 34 away. Yep, I know the <coughs> Sorry, Summit was 34. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> right, you can interrupt me like 12 times, please. How's this? She in at 12.16. That's right. Um, just joking aside. But, um, so, yeah, the... Um, yeah, the partner of the FO actually messaged me last night. I didn't have time to reply, actually. Uh, but we will stand around for that. I know that they're going over to the RVP in order to get it, so they'll get some... Uh, awesome. Epic footage. But now, let's jump on to this 757 that's now departing. See how much um, spray displacement we can get off this baby. I don't usually beg on these streams, but guys, if you're enjoying what you're watching at the moment, please think about dropping the stream a like. And if you really like what you're watching and you want to watch more of this, please think about uh, subscribing to the channel. And if you don't like it, but you're still watching, thank you for the ad revenue. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably about a penny. I'll take it. <laughs> Don't even use that. To be honest. We'll take it. We have no shame. <laughs> exactly.
I'm glad you all saw the uh, the ribbons. What's that above us? Oh, I don't know. I'm a look. Not that we'll be able to see it. Super King Air above us that was making a racket. What's just coming in because everyone's taking photos? Sorry? What's coming? Some, it's just coming in because everyone's taking photos. Oh, it's just the Pegasus. Oh, yeah. Forget that. <laughs> uh, we've got an easy jet on the way. Oh, it's Jesus. Jesus is in the UK. <laughs> I don't. I, I, Not the next day. I mean, it's, it's an alright plane, I'm not going to lie. Uh, what else have we got coming in? Have a little look. Oh, Turkish is pushed. Get oh. in there. That's that's decent. Awesome. So, this is one of the reasons why. Well, we were, we always stream on a Monday anyway. But this is one of the highlights of the show today. The Turkish seven three seven dash nine. No, it's Max eight. Max, it's Max eight, isn't it? It's an eight. It's an eight, isn't it? I keep saying nine for some reason. It's not long enough to be a nine. But. Um, Yes, we are here for that. And the CIJ still hasn't gone out, so um, that's going to be a bonus. Awesome. <laughs> exactly, Jim. <laughs> Going for the finals? Uh, no, like I guess I think it's Jesus in next. And uh, not yet at Hyde, so. Okay. Be a few minutes. Oh, I'm glad it stopped raining. I thought it was fun, to be honest. I <laughs> just thought it was fun. Oh, it's due again at 12, and I don't think it's stopping. Well, we're at about quarter past, aren't we? Uh. Emiratus. Emiratus. I did literally just look at it. Where is it at? Oh, yeah, it's over Ger yeah, South Germany. Yeah. Not too long till we get that. Quarter past 12, this is due. Well, 12.16 to be precise. I'd say we get it about eight minutes past. Oh, there you go. Simon's called it eight minutes past for the Emirates. There we go. Stand back, people. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. Keep a re remember that, everybody, and see if he's right. If there's no traffic, I'll be right. If not, I'll be wrong. <laughs> Horribly wrong. Exactly. Excuse me, Liz. Yeah. I do get it right most times. Yeah, you do, actually. It's kind of actually scary how often you get things like that right. It's uh, Where things rotate, where things... It's quite experienced. Yeah. And I'm A old. A true plane spotter. Hello. <laughs> so, we have an easy jet now out on the taxi. Uh, kind of, I've always liked playing since I was a kid. Um, so I just like watching them when I was like going on holiday and stuff. And then uh, the apartment I used to stay in when I was on holiday, um, it was on the um, arrivals path to Vienna. Um, and uh, what on earth was that? I'm gonna look. Yeah. Because that is loud. That is loud. Uh, and yes, I used to just like watch the planes all the time. Swiss, A330. Wow. That was loud. That's really loud. Um, but yeah, so I've just been interested since then and just like really got back into, well, really got into it, like started going down here and I say in lockdown, obviously when we started, we were allowed out again. Um, and yeah, here we are. So, Jesus is um, he's a minute away, apparently. He's 
more than a minute away though because he's in Stockport so it's about <laughs> two minutes away Jesus doesn't know what time he's coming in at oh well this is still that slow because that's ridiculously loud crazy oh my god I can see blue sky again yeah, yeah rain go away doesn't look too bad for a short while now I actually might take all the covers off I lost my seat, so I don't think I've got puddles on him. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to stand up. Liz has to stand up. You're gonna have to, gonna have to grin and bear it like the rest of us <laughs> on this channel. You have to stand up for six or seven hours at a time. But, uh, what a complaint. The, um, the Turkish is now on the taxi. Awesome. It's somewhere behind, yeah, you can actually see it behind the seat. Oh, we're being treated. Coming on this taxiway in front of us. I can imagine. <laughs> See you later. Looks nice in the, the wet runway and everything, I must say. Yeah, I agree, that, uh, I agree. It, it adds a little je ne sais quoi. Or something like that. I'll tell you what, if that, that Turkish comes on here, I'll, I'll say it's Christmas. Come down here. All good. Right, I'll check all connections. Well, mate. Yeah, you do that. That's good. That's good. That's good. There we go. Make, me, make the editing life easy. Just cut the grass out on the actual shot. <laughs> so Jesus has just landed. And look, I see blue sky. It's a miracle. You see the spray being lifted up. Not that much. Just saving it for the A380 when it goes out. It's just, they're just too kind to use jet at times. You mean when the EasyJet, uh, when the Emirates comes in? Yeah. You said when it goes out. Oh, sorry. I say we just had one going out. <laughs> This is why we call this one Jesus. Yeah. But I need to charge microphones. Ah, oh, no problem, Jim. So thanks, Think Plates. Her bring us great entertainment and aviation action on a bank holiday Monday. That's what we're here for, mate. But, uh, oh, oh, and then consider ev- pressing the like button. We, we, we I, I've pressed the like button, haven't I? Probably not. Oh my god, I actually mean press the like button. Oh, Jim, this is the thing I have to deal with. Like she talks about, I'll oh, press the like button. She doesn't even press it herself all the time. I pressed it now. Just no say, excuse. Just say the CRJ is push. Okie okay, doke. Push. Pushing. Pushing, push, push, pushing. Push. I, I can see there's something else over there that's uh, facing us. I think it's a dish jet. Alright, okay. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, well, it's relatively unusual visitors to Manchester. It's the Sounds... Turkish Airlines Max. Sorry. We usually get a. Um, we usually get the um, A321 Neos oh, here in on, Manchester. Come on, we have a lucky dip with. Uh... We had the Turkish 777 last weekend, though, didn't we? Not... They just put all their different aircraft into a hat and they pick one. Yeah. Today it was the Max. Well, I'm not complaining. But, uh. David, enjoy an ice cream. Morning, Lewis. Right, I'm going to take this cover off. I don't think I need it for a bit. Hmm. Lewis currently putting watermarks on all his pictures to upload as a flicker. Why are you want some? Huh? I said who wants them. I'm joking, Lewis. <laughs> Good job, mate. Speaking of which, yeah, just to say though, if you, especially if you post to Instagram, never post an image with a watermark on it. They actively 
use the algorithm against you if you have a watermark on it. They don't like any other advertisers on their images no. on their site. So uh, like, same you, for you, a video as well. Obviously, because uh, obviously that came in more from people used to just downloading their TikToks and putting them on Instagram Reels, but I think they just don't want watermarks. Full stop. Okay, this is just now coming out in front of us. is off to Bordeaux and uh, Joe thank you for gifting a membership oh thank you so much really appreciate that okay this is uh, going to be decent Turkish I'm going to take Mike off for this yeah not a problem There we go, lifting that spray up, looking very, very impressive. And we now have the Lufthansa A321 Neo uh, that's pushed. That was a very quick turnaround by that plane. They'll be very, very happy at Donata with that. Especially in the weather that they've, they had to deal with. Ryanair and arrivals as well. So let's get that. Look at that spray dispersion. That's very naughty. Okay. And one of the uh, another one of the specials that we're here for today is this beauty. 
Miss CRJ. And behind that, we do have an ATR as well. Which will, uh, if you love your props, you'll be loving. Oh, please bring this one down here. This could be decent if it comes down this taxiway right in front of us. There's a good chance it's going to take this first left here for Victor Alpha. Yeah, it looks like it's slowing down for it. Oh no, it's coming down. We're going to get a treat here. Well, thank you to the staff up in the tower. So before that goes out, we're going to have the slogan Air ATR depart. As always with that plane, we get a nice early rotation. Very nice. Go look those props on that. Just seeing what's going to be next. Hoping it's the CRJ, but we do have these jet ready to go. There we go. Very nice. I really do like this scheme. Wish he had more of it because most of the time when we get him, get them here at Manchester, they are just in the plain white schemes. Which, no offence, they're a bit boring. Don't worry, I will come into the chat in a minute. I just want to get these departures. Uh, I don't have a stand for my uh, phone, so that's why I can't really interact with you the way I normally would. And of course, we do have this A321 Neo behind. It looks like this plane's ready to depart. Enjoy, everyone.
nice. Okay, next to park we do have an EasyJet. Very nice. I think the clouds with the contrast in the background are something else at the moment. Whilst we're waiting for that, because we do seem to have restrictions and departures at the moment, we will have a look at this stunning aircraft. I'm a big fan of it. I do like the... Uh, it's got a mean look to it. And uh, I think it works on the, Luft, uh, on the Lufthansa livery, especially with the new one. Good news for everyone, Liz is back now. She just had to pop away down to the car to get some it. And she's back. Just saying you had to get some in your car. Well. Don't do it, pull it out. Oh, I missed. Wow. Oh, a lot of good action. I'm, I'm plugged in. <laughs> the Cease One's gifted five memberships. Uh, Mr. Pingu, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Oh, wow. See, I, I just left a chat for you. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate that support. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for that. We do appreciate it. Might have been a bit delayed in thanking you for it. But... I get that in the end. Uh, Lazo the 399 super sticker which I think is a cup of coffee or something I think we probably need it I think we probably need it uh, thank you so much really yeah, thank appreciate you for the amazing that. support that's amazing okay and then I'm back up to Joe so right what have I missed in between let's see what about the chat saying just wait to make sure I got those out Very clean looking plane, I was just saying before. Apparently, uh, the weather, weather, weather warning for wind has been updated, but I just thought it's windy. It's overnight, mainly tomorrow night, the uh, stronger winds. I don't really know what the update was from the Met Office. I think oh, they're wow. just, like, scaring us with as well. You know, like, you know, we're getting these, like, emergency alert things on our phones yeah. from, like, at some point, they're testing it at some point this month. Um, you know, I know, because obviously everyone's comparing it to, like, the American ones. I've been in New York when I got one for, like, a, a blizzard or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. They're just going to misuse it. Forever. They're going to use it. Yellow weather warning for rain. Alert everyone. Well, I think if they go down that road, I hope they get. I've right. already switched mine off, I won't lie. Right, so where's the seas get off to? 
Oh no, I know the sun's out. That is going to Belfast. I won't lie, I am changing the shutter settings as that runway, got that plane's going down the runway, <laughs> which, no offence, is really hard to do. Especially when you've got a microphone in the left hand. Exactly. Um, that was special, that. And I still haven't got it right. It... Oh no, we're good. Just need to wait. Simon Attenborough, who apparently you were like, and the next plane is. Well, that's all you can do, isn't it? Because <laughs> it was the next plane. Uh, I'm just seeing Mike put in that Singapore was pinging. Is pinging? Is it already gone? No. Nope. Oh, right, okay, cool. You were, you were away that long, you could have gone. <laughs> could have probably got to Singapore by now, but you know. <laughs> probably. Um, oh, dear. Uh, awesome uh, World Cancer. Kind of I flew in on that Lufthansa last week. Is it nice? Yes, yeah, but uh, comfy and quiet. So, I'm just having a look. Sorry. Do have quite a few planes coming in. Cool. Uh, Tom's video, I think, I think that was uh, that blah, 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 blah. That new uh, Jet 2 Neo still here, isn't it? Like it that, is, it's yeah. having seats put in. Of course it is. I did see that somewhere. Virgin Atlantic, it's 13 minutes away. That is going to rip so much spray off that runway. Yeah, that is. could be like the shot of the year, that. Awesome. I'm just calling that one already. Right, I can take that out. Thank you. So, just uh, powering stuff up as we, as, as and when we need it. As we go. Let's get this jet to, whilst we're looking at the other one. There we go. It's off to Dalaman. Wow. So Liz has just pulled his chair, uh, the water off a chair, and I won't lie, it was like a river. <laughs> you want to sit down? Oh, like, you're going to have to stand up. Let me see if I've got a bag. That was hilarious, I won't lie. That's probably, that's probably my moment of streaming, just right there. Just the, right. Uh, the water going off the, uh, the chair. I've got about 5,000 carrier bikes. So, we've got a nice Jet 2 coming in uh, down the taxiway as well. Go on, Tesco, every little helps. There we go. <laughs> I'll sit down and have a coffee. I want to go back to chilled out plane spotting. I'll have to rip this in off. Okay. So, we have Rhino at the uh, end of the runway, ready to go. Oh, wowzers, so that needs to tone him down. There we go. Alright everyone, I'm just making a DIY chair cover here out of a Tesco carrier bag. Poor old Tesco's. There we I go. Say, every little doesn't help in this case. Hang on. I'm sure my chair's in the right place and I'm not going to fall over somewhere. I'm panning really quick here because the Jet 2 is turning on here. And we do a, little, oh. a nice little turn on shot from this point. And it bears the name of one of our favourite places, Madeira. Awesome. It's actually going to Rhodes. I know, but you know, we can just <laughs> dream it's going to Madeira. Yes. Imagine if you really loved Madeira and you were getting on board and you were like going somewhere you really hate. Yeah. That wouldn't be good, would it? All right, I'm back in the room, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Praise be, Liz is back. Thank you, Tesco. <laughs> yeah, we look uh, a lot like we should be okay for a short while. 
hopefully until we get the A330 and the A380 and then... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, slow down, so you can switch off the emergency lights, it's in your settings. Um, they are scaremongering about the thing, it literally just pops up a thing, you just need to press OK, it just pops up on your phone, you press OK and it goes away. about those notifications is the noise is awful it's so like it cuts through yeah like it's such an annoying alarm noise but any that's even if your phone's on silent so i always have mine on vibrate i never have my phone on loud and it because the first time it went off i was literally going down to get the subway and i said this and i was like what on earth is that noise and i realized at some point it was like me and i looked I was like what the hell is this um i literally i was in new york for like five days i got like three Ooh, of these that's in the red zone that's uh, in the red zone there yeah, it's uh, and the Singapore A350 is now coming out from behind yeah, the tower. That's going to go to Singapore. There's quite a lot of criticism about those uh, things because obviously, if anyone has a phone that they need to keep, you know, secret oh, and yes. stuff, um, you know, anyone that has any, like domestic violence or anything like that, and they have like a spare phone that they keep secret, um, those people are being urged like make sure you switch that setting off because otherwise, your secret phone is going to be known. Um, yeah, it's poor, isn't it? It is, it is. And like I say, I just, given the examples of floods and wildfires, well, I'm not being like flooding, all right, fair enough, but wildfires. When do we ever have a wildfire in the UK? Like, Apart honestly, from they're the gonna moors, st- Yeah, um, okay, fair enough, but. They're, 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 they're infrequent, aren't they're they? They're infrequent, and I mean, other than, like, I, I just, I can see them being used to stupid things like weather warnings. Yeah. Ooh, strong wind and rain is forecast. It's like, I'm, Man- I'm in Manchester, obviously. <laughs> it's going to rain. <laughs> kind of like, it'd be more shocking if you sent me one saying it's going to be sunny. Yeah. It's like last year when it got to 40 degrees. I'm like, sorry, what? 40 degrees? Oh, we're going to die in the heat. What's all that about? <laughs> one inch of snow and it's going to be like blizzard conditions <laughs> warning. Yeah. Well, do you like... know what, Jim? There's 33 bags now. Probably the most use that I'll ever have out of it. <laughs> so, we do have an arrival. And it is the SAS. Oh, and it's looking good in the new livery there. Oh, he's like wheeling it down the runway. He's like, I'm not putting that front <laughs> gear down. There we go. Touchdown very late, so he's going to have to get that gear down. Those reverses. Yes. Hopefully get a bit of spray from this. I mean, he landed right on the bump as well. I see, David, that is how we should be doing it. So in New Zealand, apparently, you don't get plastic bags more. You can only get the cloth bags. Yeah, I um, Which, I think, it became such a money-making thing. They've put it under the pretense that we're doing it to save the sea turtles or whatever. And you can still buy plastic bags. So if you really want to help the environment, you need rid of them. It's not a, it's a money-making thing for supermarkets now. Or we need decent um, paper bags which they do in Europe. Yeah. I'll go in Singapore. Awesome. Oh, I won't lie, I do what I walk in front of his shots when he goes in a bit. The, the thing is, there's a massive, massive pathway game. behind us. Everybody else has managed to walk behind us. Um, and also, it's just, it's going to be I'm not, I'm, not, so. I'm not saying that people have the right to do it, but, it, it, you know, I if I did it in front of him, he probably would kick off. I just like... I just don't know why you wouldn't walk. There's a, honestly, there's a massive gap between, behind us. A huge gap. There's actually more gap yeah. in the back, but hey. Oh, well. Oh, maybe he likes another streaming channel. Don't like us. I bet that's probably it. Oh, I really wanted to be famous. Didn't work. But yeah, the light's still pretty good on this. We'll take this if this goes out. Absolutely. With this on. No, no, look, probably won't. But it does look like it's raining on the other side of the mm. airfield again. It does a bit, doesn't it? Uh, oh, Mike's got the Emirates update. It's due at 12.20, so it's actually going later. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> What's right, happened I'll... to that? I don't know if it's going to really go on with a coffee. Do you want one? I'll have one after you. Oh, I don't know how much is left, to be honest. I'll have a bit of yours then. 
Just looking to Oh, no, see we're all right. You can have... There you go. Hang on a sec. There you go. I'll have three quarters of that. Okay. Just uh, run off caffeine there. That'll do me to the end. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you got okay. that. You can have the rest. Thank you. All right, I'm going to let me fill my cup back up. The chat. I'm sorry, I do feel like I've neglected you a little bit today, but I do keep checking and I know you're all having a nice don't see chat me between like yourselves. Panning. Don't see oh, me no. stop panning. I appreciate just, that. There's just 24 panning on this channel. 24 panning? Yeah, it's like 24 7, but panning. <laughs> okay. We've just had a fish jet arrive, uh, which is so small, I can barely see it. I can't hear it, so. There we go. Oh, is it the one that went out before? I don't Hang on. Looks like it. Zoom in. Mm, no, I don't know. Did we have a Pilatus out before? I don't remember a Pilatus, so. No. no. We've got a Rhino on finals from Knock. I always make a, jo a joke when I hear that. I just can't think of one. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies if anybody lives in Knock. <laughs> Probably hear that all the time. It's my, uh, it's where my uh, family used to fly to to get to there. Oh, okay. Who, who, who made the joke? Did, was it you? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, that's you sorted. Right, fine. Oh. And, uh, Jonathan gifting 10 memberships. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, wowzers. Thank you so much for that, Jonathan. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and if you've just been kindly Jester. gifted those memberships, please take time to say thank you for them because I say it not only helps us but it helps you guys, doesn't it? Absolutely. You, know, you can use the emotes in the chat and everything, and it's great to have you. And we have a Ryanair touching down. Okay, David, I understand the phone alerts over there uh, in New Zealand for earthquakes, tsunamis, and cyclones. Uh, You're stepping up there, mate. Events, wildfires, and civil defence emergencies. So the ones I got when I was in New York were, and obviously because I was only there, I thought, how am I even getting it? Because obviously I'm on a British phone, but it's just obviously picks up that you're in, using one of the networks, obviously. And I got a couple for blizzards, which I was like, it's not going to be a blizzard. It's sunny and blue sky, and there was actually a blizzard. So fair play, so they, they were right. I don't think I needed to be alerted for it, though. Like, no. I'm not being funny. I wasn't in the wilderness. I was at um, I was at Rockefeller Centre looking at the Christmas tree, and we were like, oh, God, it's snowing. Let's take some pictures. And then it was, bar? <laughs> like, yeah, let's go drink beer. Cool. Um, the other one was for, uh, I think it was a missing person. Yeah. Um, which I think that could be, you know... Uh, potentially quite useful uh, depending on how quickly they get that alert out well that's the thing especially if you think about the way that the UK police do it they don't really push it out straight away do they half of them don't get pushed out the Connie hello so in the high back again uh, lots of time to watch your stream uh, since I hurt my back um uh, paramedic, so not unusual. And have a nice Monday. Oh, oh well, I hope your back's feeling better soon. Simon, I'm sure, can sympathise yep. uh, with bad backs. I certainly do, so... Uh... Yeah. But well, hopefully you enjoyed some planes. So Hello, we... Sky Aviation, good morning. Sorry, I just jumped in there. That's OK. Uh, so we do have the uh, next one to come in. will be an EasyJet A319. Then after that, it will be the uh, Virgin A330, and that is going to absolutely rip a load yes. up. It's going to be a ripper. We'll just have another sip. Yeah, of course. There's a little bit left, to be fair, and that's it. No, I just need to... Uh... Yeah, yeah. That's me. Cheers. No <laughs> yeah, not a, not a problem, Daniel, I have to say. It's, uh, I feel like I'm on my phone so much anyway that if anything really urgent was happening, I'd probably find out anyway. Mm, that's true. Because I really... Uh... So we're also connected nowadays, aren't we, anyway? Yeah, exactly. And you can see they're actually the doing controls, so, like... so they're just doing control checks there. Sorry, I thought you were carrying on that same conversation. <laughs> no. But this Singapore A350 looks the biz, doesn't it? Has anyone in the chat actually thrown Singapore 
airlines on the A350-900. If you have, let us know. The only thing, I, the, the only times I've heard of people doing that, they've all said it's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, Eric said as well in California, you can buy the uh, oh, bag still, I can hear, feel rain. I can feel rain. Right, let's get going again. Right, we'll get the in Singapore going out. Yes. We can gauge it, and if it's raining heavily again, then we can... I'm going to put my Tesco seat bag uh, back in the bag. Hoping this baby comes on now. Uh, there's a British Airways there, but it is. Yeah, it's coming on. If we can get this, then we can uh, sort out the uh, the equipment again. Yeah. So I think we are going to have a little squall again. And British Airways is going to be coming on in front of us as well, so that should be good. <laughs> Trying to open my umbrella here. Oh, it's because it's not... Hang on. I'm not an idiot by the moment. Well done, Liz. Oh, I think this there is very first. It's got its uh, parts lights on. Jump on this. Flew away with my umbrella. Oh, God, there's a tree. <laughs> They're probably like, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> Waving an umbrella at me. <laughs> Wavy brolly. Go, throw, throw it on there. No. I'm well, just like, don't let it go, please. <laughs> oh, they're turning and burning. This is impressive. That's something, eh? That was, uh, that was impressive. Good job, that. Proper impressed. Yeah, BA get the departure of the day there. And Singapore is now coming on. Fantastic. Lord Dollar, they sent it by your network. So got an Airlink A330 for Orlando pinged up. Excellent. Thank you, Mike. I will. No, I'm going to record it. You guys are having too much fun in the chat. I won't ruin it for you. So, like, so there's a spot down the other end of the runway where you can get the rotation shots. And I tell you what, today this would be epic because the contrast and you still got the mm. light on the plane. I mean, your Absolutely. camera's going to be having a bloody nose and having to know how to expose that, but... Uh, You're going to say the camera's going to have a nosebleed? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Just like going, I don't know what to meet it for. Is it the plane? Is it the background? But, um... Looking... Resplendent. I knew you were going to say that. I knew because I I, I've got a limited vocabulary, like six words, and resplendent is the one that's getting used a lot at the moment. <laughs> and you have so much storage in my head. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, I'm getting all this stuff like off list about TikTok and stuff like that. It's all being used by that. Well, all the different ways to, of what to do when your butter's well, cold out the fridge. Yeah, how to peel potato without like cutting your arm off. <laughs> Such useful information. <laughs> you love it. I do, yeah. Just makes me think, you know, if, uh, it's the Virgin, that's why. Uh huh. Alright, get ready for the spray.
Oh, wow, that Beautiful. was amazing. That's the best ride I've seen in ages. I know. That was something else. Nice one, Stu. That's long we say it, that one. Isn't yeah. It? That is rotating considering it's going to Singapore. Mental. That is mental. A350 is like. So like, good. It is. It's so good. Anyway, when you think you've got the ultra long range configuration as well. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's grab that A330. Yeah, perfect. Uh, where was that one from? I can't even remember. It's Orlando. Oh, yeah. It's the one that I wanted to get. As, Perfect then. As I say, the FO's uh, partner and uh, their baby, uh, they're over in the RVP. So Fantastic. I hope they really enjoyed that arrival. And I hope, hope you, uh, if they don't get a wave, <laughs> really, honestly, if you don't get a wave as he goes past, you, you need to have words. Um, right, where was I in the chat? Um, yeah, Craig, I remember that. Obviously, Hawaii got a fake alert, didn't they? Or well, false alert. I did that. Didn't uh, I didn't yeah, remember that. Um, from so they were they said it was an ac they accidentally sent it out. It was only meant to be a test, but basically everyone like Hawaii basically got an alert on their phone saying there was a missile incoming. Oh wow! Um, oh, you know what I do? Yeah, yeah. The, the missiles brought it back, and uh, and then they were like, "Oh, sorry guys, T typo, finger <laughs> slipped." Like what? <laughs> Everyone's like praying for their life. Yeah, they, honestly, I've I've seen some people say like what they did in that moment. They're like I couldn't do anything. I just had to uh, sit on a beach and wait. And horrible. And uh, Phil, thank you for the one at ninety nine super sticker. Oh, thank you. That is a like a dancing something. Show me it. <laughs> we just had the Orini land. Uh, it's going to be sent my way. Oh, it's like a blow, kissing a blown, uh, blown kiss. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought it was a moomin. Yeah. Do you no. remember the moomins? Yeah, I do. I love the moomin. That's what it reminded me of. But thank you so much, Thank Phil. you so much, Phil. That's, I appreciate uh, that. That's fantastic. I'm loving the positivity from the chat today. And I know there's a lot of new people in there today. So Yeah, I appreciate all of you. I hope you're enjoying what we're doing. Yeah. And press that subscribe button if you uh, you want some more because we're out on more. Wednesday and the forecast for Wednesday looks a bit sporty, yeah, a bit, bit blowy, yeah, a bit gusty, yeah. So uh, we might get a bit of that action going on, and uh, we love it in that. So yeah, we can't wait. Absolutely. We'll probably complain a lot whilst we're there. But after the show, we're like, going, oh yeah, that was great. That one. Oh, it was awesome. That awesome. Best, best show ever. Best show ever. <laughs> So, uh, no, I'm enjoying today. I like that there's a lot of people being able to watch that would otherwise be stuck at work and things. So. Exactly. It's been nice vibes, to be honest. I like yeah. today's, today's and yesterday's show has been really good. So good thank you to vibes. everyone who's uh, been there with us. As I say, we're here for the uh, Emirates A380. I'm hoping yeah. there's no planes in front of us when that comes in. <laughs> so we can see some epic spray. Absolutely. Uh, vision thing uh, Paul's saying uh, Vision the best flight crew uh, they are uh, said the best one was on the return from Orlando uh, they were brilliant always chatting to us and friendly um, especially sorry my contact lens just moved uh, especially the cheaper so awesome that's brilliant that's what you want to hear if you grab if, if, do you remember the name Paul because if so I can pass, it on. pass something on for you mate um, I'll try my best to get that because it's always nice when staff get to hear about that so we do have a easy jet that's about to uh, land any second now and the emirates a380 is now over ghent so we're looking at about 50 minutes awesome. i was well wrong on that one yeah I'm you so were so bad that i mean look, mike did put it in the channel long ago it's due at 20 past 12 so about 50 minutes from now all right calm down <laughs> and uh, mr big dad's good morning Ah, oh, Stephen, I bet I was bringing back good memories. So that Virgin was the one I uh, flew on at to JFK three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, the spray on that Virgin. Even I could look over yeah, and go, yeah. oh, that is a big cloud of spray. 
Okay, do I dare get my little Tesco bag and sit back down? These chairs should dry quicker. High tech, carry bag. There we go. All sorted. I've got this like really annoying like bit of hair today that's like just like dead short and I'm like I don't remember cutting my hair some of my hair just like dropped off yeah because it's not like going back into like my bobble she's really annoying so we do have the Austrian Embraer uh, out in the taxi before that we do have an EasyJet got a Tui Dreamliner for Cancun that's pinged up and we've got a Lufthansa that's pushing by the looks of it and a Tui Dreamliner for Varadero as well So we're going to have a race to see who can get over here first. I think actually the Austrian's going to win it because the... Go uh, on, Austrian. Because the EasyJet's on a taxiway further away from us. Uh, CP, welcome. Hello. Yeah, if you're new to the uh, channel, let us know in the chat. Great to welcome you. Absolutely. We're very friendly people in here. Everyone has uh, a chat about everything, as I'm sure you can see. Day, Rob. So I'd, uh, had to pop outside. Apparently, the neighbours. Uh, I love how you've had to. It's a VW Beetle. Could have been any car. Didn't have to say where it was because it's a Beetle. <laughs> um, decided that even with the handbrake on, it would go for a ride without any driver. Wow. And uh, unfortunately, crashed into a neighbour's van. Well, that's. Uh, well, luckily, they don't make the Beetle anymore, do they? So that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Maybe they're just on self destruct mode now. I always liked the Beatles. I used to want a VW Beetle. Uh, I thought they were really cute looking cars. Obviously. Obviously. Um. <laughs> you deluded. Well, that's okay. <laughs> but I Liz, know. I know yeah. you get you're excited over this yesterday. But Go on. ET Fairways is coming out. I know. I, oh, I did see that. Uh, Micah popped that in the chat. Right. I hope you put ET Fairways. If didn't, I'm just going to have words with him. Oh, gosh, hang on a minute. I'm going to have a look now. Uh, oh, and there's the Aer Lingus uh, 330. ATR. Orlando, Orlando. Yeah. Well, we got one of their ATRs touching down as well. Let's see how that does in the wind. The wind? Oh, it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's a fair breeze. It's a bit it's blowy. But it's, it's, you forget it because you're sheltered there, I will admit. Exactly. No, you just put ETF airways. Oh, my. Come <laughs> on. Apparently it has to be a golfing reference, that one, doesn't no, it? No, it's just ET playing golf. Oh, right, yes, of course. Silly me, how could I forget such a, an obscure thing? Oh, I might forget the Austrian if you don't watch it. <laughs> don't forget the flying chocolates. charge my stuff first what number you on 17 might do yours in a minute yep <laughs> give, me, give me three or four minutes okie doke but yeah Jim we've got an extra bank holiday in May I think was it the 8th if memory yes. serves me right all the spotters going down to stands there to be horribly disappointed mm. and chucked off the land can't yeah, wait for be, that. be aware for that if you are going to go down. Um, you, just, uh, the, you can only use the. That, I can't remember what the road is called, but you can only if you're at Stansted, you can only use that one road for spotting. Yeah, they, if, they, if they will constantly like when. So obviously we were down there when everyone was coming in for the Queen's funeral, and they were on it. Like, don't think you can go there. They will find you. They will move you on continuously. Um, they're constantly around, um, so you need to get there early. early. Earlier like, than the early. spot's not that great. No. Fence along the way. It's 
Mike so. has corrected himself. It is now ET Fairways Taxi Out. That's why he's a legend. <laughs> why he's magic. Magic in the chat, mate. That is magic. Paul Daniels Do you think Mike has to remember like all this stuff and he'll just go into like somebody it, else's and he'll just be like that and everyone's like, what are you on about? Oh, fuck on started. I heard that before. Oh, ridiculous. Oh. I, I am going to send them an email. I'm going to send them an email and say, you need to invest in this technology and you can make a fortune off it. Yes. And stop it being so invasive to people. Oh, so the uh, actually the wind changed now. It's actually straight down the runway. Oh, right, okay. It was across. Uh, and that'll explain why my hair is blowing the way it is. <laughs> well, I'm just watching the clouds now from down there because we're probably going to get a bit of rain in a bit. Fantastic. Uh, Lord, no. So it'll be everyone coming. It's obviously the King's coronation. Um, Charles's coronation will be on. I think it's the sixth of May. Uh, so loads of like dignitaries and royal families and the important people from around the world are obviously coming for that. Um, so they like to stand step. It's the security airport, isn't it? Yes. It's the one they use. Right, let's not give you this. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, it's quite bl- breezy now. Cause... Yeah, it's getting ready for another squall, so we need to be ready with the equipment. Okay, right. Well, I mean, we're all... I think we're all good. I think we're all good to go. Um... Uh, the only one I need to check is this. Yeah, check that. No, we're good. Cool. So uh, it's just putting the covers on again if we need to. <laughs> also, Mr. Fingo, we had a, a beetle in uh, the 70s. I used to always want a cream coloured convertible one, just to, and I really like the flower, you know, the flower you get in the dashboard, I really like one. If I had one, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't mind the original. Okay. But I'm more of a mini guy. Oh. I didn't, know, mi- I didn't know this about you. No, the original Mini. Not no, the, no, not the, I don't, not, I don't not, like Minis, full stop. Oh, the like, original I'm... Mini was just a classic. Like, they used to, like, soup them up and put them on their rallies and stuff like that. They were amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, so. Uh, Daniel, good morning. We have had some rain, but... Uh, I'm I probably going to have some probably more. Probably going to have some more, but I don't think we've had it as bad so far as the South have. And uh, Daniel's down in uh, Essex. It's definitely just got a lot windier. Yes. Okay, let's jump onto this. They turned and burned. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Carlos is not like that A330. I don't blame him, it's a bit loud, <laughs> he just, that. He just went west. He just, there were two of them and it just went, right, I'm out of there. <laughs> so if you've not even used the channel, Carlos is what we call the crows here at Manchester, uh, Manchester Airport. Um, and yeah, they, they were them. not up for that then. They were like, just get me out of here now. I've had enough already. Uh, well, some random Philip, hope you enjoyed that, Seika. It's had an amazing flight when I uh, flew back in August. Yeah, uh, brilliant. So, here we go, E.T. Fairways, so just imagine E.T. playing golf, <laughs> and you saw it. Oh, dear me. We've still got I'm bets. To... We've still got bets on when this is going to go tech. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I lose, it, don't I, if, uh, if it doesn't go tech by tonight. I'm going to uh, Lanzarote. Well, we do have an EasyJet coming in first, so we'll grab that. Um, there's a lot of love for your liking of an original mini. Thank you, people. Oh, My it's faith not... in humanity is restored. <laughs> oh. I've just never been a fan. Oh, stop. Oh, I've got my uh, lens cap in my pocket, which is not much good, considering the camera's in the bag. 
Uh, it's not the best idea, to be honest. I might just put that back on now. I don't think he's moving any time quickly. Let's wait for the, uh, I'm guessing, the... the wake turbulence to dissipate. Uh. Shouldn't be too long for an A330. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Enjoy this one. I will take you. Enjoy those screenshots. Ooh. Tui is not taking the immediate taxiway to get onto the runway. Now, I have seen it very rarely that they can come on right in front of us. Mm -hmm. Now, if we get so lucky, that might happen. And if there's a wonderful person in the tower who we love very, very, very much. Very, very, very much. <laughs> very, 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 very much. That might happen. It's more likely to go down Victor <laughs> Alpha, but uh, you never know. Uh, Beastie say, I love the uh, Retro Beetle and Mini. And then, do you remember the uh, the old Citroen cars? Oh, um, my wow. parents called it an upside down pram. God. I know exactly. Like, I don't know what it was called, but I do remember. Like, I know what it looks like when you said that. Oh, here comes walking front again. Yes, Mark. Easy flown home. Oh God. Yeah, it's going down Victor Alpha. So I think the Lufthansa is going to go out before that. Oh, thanks, Paul. A pretty heavy, squally rain coming uh, through at Southport on its way east. Uh, buckle up, kids. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Uh, Where's that, Emirates? <laughs> Come on, Emirates. Please keep flying a bit quicker. Yeah. Thank it's you. Over, it's over the channel. 39 minutes away. And that two is now coming on, and that's it, go. Let's see if we can get... Oh, we've got another two coming out. This is two hour, two is. dream liner hour. I'm <laughs> busy saying, uh, my first boyfriend had a Ford Escort. It was a typical boy racer, and the colours was half gold and half silver. <laughs> so it was an 894, so it looked good. <laughs> what um. a legend. <laughs> What was your first car? Uh, it was a hand, uh, hand me down Fiesta. Oh. I like a Ford, you don't you? I didn't crash it. There you go. Ah. That's the one to Cancun. Uh, yeah, Paul, don't worry. Consider ourselves warned about the weather. <laughs> um, it's a race against the Emirates and the rain. It is. I think we are going to get it in a minute. I think we are. Um, Simon's little <laughs> jibe there at me was the fact that so my first car was a Renault Clio and I crashed it on the M61. And uh, that was uh, that was bye bye car. <laughs> bye bye car number one. <laughs> Uh, I then got a Nissan Micro, which uh, I crashed about seven months later. 
going off the M61 into the M60. So. Still mind the M61. That, that, right, it was at that point that I went, I really need to move to Manchester because driving, living in Lancaster and working at Manchester Airport is not doing me any favours. <laughs> I'm spending a lot on cars here. So, um, I think once we used the micro, the, my insurance wrote off, but I know they like reading it up as like, is it category C or D or whatever, you know, where they yeah, can resell yeah, yeah. it. So, some poor person probably bought that car. It was a, it was a wreck as it was to begin with, and nothing on it worked properly. Imagine if you saw it again. And... Oh, God. I'll just be like, just crash it and get rid of it. Do yourself a favour. Yeah, it's like the first, like the, the clear that I crashed, it was that bad. It was, that was crushed into a cube, that thing. It was, yeah. I, when I crashed, I went off the most when I flipped it. Um, so that was, that was a goner. So then I had another Renault Clio. Then I bought another Renault Clio. What ah. brand new one? <laughs> then I went to an Audi. And I've not looked back from German cars since. Okay, so just to say that the Emirates is now about to uh, hit the uh, the coast, uh, <coughs> close to South End on Sea, um, and then it's going to come up. Awesome. It's going to follow the Rhino in front of it, to be honest. Yeah, it is. It's uh, on identical tracks. Morning, Peter. Um, so heavy rain in, uh, at home, so watch your stream, watching your stream. And thank you for the story mention. Ah, uh, it's Anchorman. I die again. Good to see you in the chat, mate. Oh my god, <laughs> she looks like. Give me that microphone, please. Yeah, she looks like she's about to kind of like <coughs> cough out a fur ball or something. <laughs> she's not going to die, don't worry about that. Because I, I, I was choosing my words very carefully there. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, you, you might cough a fur ball up. There you go. Okay, we do have Eurowings. It's going to come on Secretly, I'm a cat. Well, hang on a minute. Is it, is it actually Eurowings or is it? But it's, it's a Eurowings. It might be flying on behalf of somebody. Well, else. yeah, because one came in for Brussels. For Brussels, before. yeah. Yeah, it's Brussels. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a Eurowings. Oh, no, it's a Eurowings. It, it proper threw me before. Um, so, Dil, I've got... Um, I've got a Mercedes now, although I don't drive anymore, so uh, I just get to ride around in it like Miss Daisy now. It's great. Driving, driving Miss Liz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's just as well. It's, uh, it's decent on fuel, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I get to appreciate a nice smooth ride of that car, but I don't have any of the stress of driving because... It's a comfortable car to drive. It is a comfortable it's, car. Uh, it's nice. You still go to change, because it's automatic, you still go to change your gear from every, time to time. Every so often, I do. Like uh, some of these cars that you mentioned, like we used to say Ford Sierra. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it looks like. Ian oh, said MK1 or Mark 1, sorry. Oh, God, are you sure? I don't know anything about cars. Uh, Mark 1 Capri. I've oh, heard of it, don't know what it looks like. I love the Capri, man. He had that. It's like a, was it like a three or a three and a half litre? I can't remember. But oh, that, that thing was, uh, that was a beast. I, so, <laughs> yeah, Lord Dalla, I used to have a, I used to have a BMW 3 Series. Um, and the, I can't remember what part of it was really... The, the whole thing broke, and um, basically... I, I got that car for three and a half grand, yeah. and by the time I took it to BMW to get it, they were like, it's going to cost you about four grand to get it fixed. I was like, the car's not worth that much. Get you on. So uh, that's when I was like, right, forget this. Oh, raindrop. Okay. I'm on standby. I'm on rain cover standby. Why can I hear that so clearly? That's, That's ridiculous. I'm, I, I know they're doing a great job, so I, I, I need to be constructive about it. They are doing a fantastic job over at the Runway Visitors Park, the TAS team. That is too loud, though. That You should not be able to hear them from the other side of the airfield. No. I'm sorry. It's to wrong. the point where I can... I can actually tell you what they're saying, uh, yes. but I'm not going to. Our commentary is well better. <laughs> That 
is your Tui Dreamliner to Varadero. That's nice over there. It's been a bit of a dream line day, hasn't it? It has. Right. So we've had quite a few. Right, let's see. Next out, EasyJet A320 to Bilbao. And uh, we've also got the KLM to Amsterdam, which is 737. And on a final approach, we've got Turkish Airlines A321 Neo from Istanbul just to mix it up a bit today. We've also got another Pegasus behind that, which is an A320 Neo. So they're mixing it up as well. A321, A320, do you want to send the 737? They're just copying. Like, come on. Need to get some maxes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> you need to take this again. <laughs> Having said that, Liz, the, uh, the, the, um, the people at Taz have just messaged me to say, can you tell Liz to stop coughing because they can hear you from the other thing. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Like I, said, I think the thing that gives it away is knowledge is my nose is completely blocked as well. And it's just irritating my throat, whatever it is. Oh. Uh, Emirates, though. It's down south. It's, not, it's just... Um, it's 13 minutes away. It's just east of London. Wait, it was last time I looked. Somewhere like that, yeah. South. <laughs> Generically. <laughs> well, we know it's raining because people have told us. <laughs> Mark Hayward saying a Ford Sierra looks like a woodlouse. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard a car described as a woodlouse before. <laughs> and drove white one. Jesus! Jesus! There you go. Well, Jesus is off to Bilbao now. Busy day for Jesus. It's a shame it's not bald out, bald out, because I could make uh, water into a wine joke there. <laughs> Les, you missed the pan on that and Jesus. It was just on Jesus. Oh, was it? Oh, there it is. You remember that? Most of the stream's up behind, isn't it? So. Oh, look, there you go. Uh, Puzzle done. Good morning. Is it still? Oh, it's just about morning still. Welcome. Mark one Cortina for Dave. See, that's another one I've heard of, but I've... I still remember when I got my first car. So I remember mine was a wire wedged car. Which is like, was it like 2001 or something that? Yeah. Um, and I had a newer car than my mum. My mum had a, an x wedged car. Well, I've got a, got a newer car. So the Pegasus is due in next. I think the KLM is waiting for that. So uh, I think it's prudent to move down to the, uh, the bottom. What were you putting up, by the way? That cloud. Ah. Great. Yeah. That one's not looking great, trust me. Ah, <laughs> uh, JJ, I'm not doing that. I'm not like, I'm not like a footballer. Oh, yeah, that, that looks like a menacing cloud. It does. It's definitely heading this way. I am on... I can feel it. Okay. Embryo. Sorry? No, I just talked to myself. Oh. I'm ready to go as soon as. Hello, Amy. Welcome. So enjoying the stream as well as the chat. Oh, well, thank you so much for that. And the commentary. All right, let's get this KLM.
terrain is black. Yeah. There we go. Nice rotation. Backless. <laughs> Alright, <coughs> I'm just going to jump in front of the camera once again. going to smile and just go that's fine okay so <coughs> yeah i'm just going to jump in front of the camera i'm going to put a cover on it be two minutes because the rain is starting again i was say i think it's just better to be proactive on this one um, let's say i want to get that emirates a380 so we're committed now aren't we so we are committed we are committed to getting soaked for you i know uh right. just close one chair and put that there Keep the bag dry and keep the puddle off the chair. Excellent. There we go. Ah, we do have an ATR, so we're going to jump onto that now. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> that, honestly. Oh, I was like, oh, the screen's gone black. And I'm like, well, no, obviously you were just putting the what's the over cover in, yeah. yeah, sorry, everyone. There we go. <laughs> and then there was light. <laughs> yeah, at least it wasn't a big ugly mug at the end of it. Like, my big ugly mug goes, hello. Yeah, but this should do us through now till uh, the Emirates arrive, so. Yeah, we've, uh, we've managed well without the, the old scent today. Even though we have it, but you know. Just hope that stays on. Why can't it go the other way? So weird. Uh, morning, Alan. It's in uh, Ford. First car. First. Oh, let me try. Start again. First car was a Vauxhall Viva BB oh, yeah. model. Oh, I've never heard of that. Right. So I have my... zero interesting cars. My hood on. My all good. Change the exposure settings around because, as you can tell, it's gone from very light to very dark in literally a few seconds. It's, uh, interesting conditions today. Oh right? yes. But as long as everyone's enjoying it, I'm, that's what I'm here for today. And uh, I really hope you are. I've, I've had a lot of fun on this stream today, won't I? So have I. Uh, Rob's first car was uh, an A Reg Austin Metro. Oh, yeah. Do you remember oh, wow, you got Metro? excited about that one, didn't you? No, it's not for, nothing to get excited about. Sorry, oh, right. mate. <laughs> oh, God, it was an awful car. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it, I'm just reminiscing about it. I'm reminiscing about it. Oh, gosh. Just to make us feel better, what do you drive now, mate? Just like, and... So we can look at the progression. Right, so we'll look at the positives. Is that what we like today? And if it's a Tesla, don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, if we get a bit more rain, it should mean that when the Emirates A380 comes in, we should have some epic spray again, which I'm sure everyone will be happy for. I mean, even that Ryanair's lifting a bit up Yeah, now. that's in from Rome. Oh, that's the one we caught right now, not we? Oh, he definitely wants to get off at this uh, taxiway. I mean, he really just slammed it on, just went, I want to get off here. I will get off here. As I say again, it's not the worst in the world. No. How many people are dedicated fans are over at the RVP at the moment? <laughs> so I'm, giving, I'm going to give you credit where credit's due, Peacock. There's only a couple, but whoever's up there, kudos to you. I mean, same with people here as well. If you're out in this, well done. That's Absolutely. Dedication. Absolutely, Ian. Couldn't agree more with that. What was that? It said, uh, viewers are people on the stream, not pound notes. Sorry, just say. No need to be sorry. Don't need to. Yeah. We are friends, family, whatever you want to call it, community. Yeah. They, we're not going to be one who... Gonna be and we actually mean that. We're not just saying it. We always chat to people. We always say people message as well. We always try and message back. It might not be immediately. We do get around to it. We do. 
I mean, the, the thing nowadays is, is that we do get so many messages, and it's it's lovely. But it. Oh. A plane. Single no single ops. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <all right. laughs> oh, fair enough. Have we gone single ops? That right now. Yeah, well, they turn the lights off on this runway. Oh, right, okay. Don't like the rain. Like on singles. Okie doke. You haven't got sure. enough people in on the shit on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think, I think that's what it is, isn't it? I don't know this for a fact, but I, the, the, I'm, the vibe I'm just getting right at this very second is I don't think they've got enough um, staff to cover two runway ops. Uh, I could be very wrong on that one. If I am, I will, I will humbly apologise later. I'm more than happy to, but so, yeah, that might that might be the case. Say I'm not 100%. Um, they had to have a certain number of covers in order to do both runways. And yes. Uh, Tina, yes, we are staying for the A380 arrival. It is probably about 25 minutes away now. Yep, we are tied in for that. We can't wait. So Alan's car now is a Dracula XF. Yeah, you see, look at that. Get in there. Someone else just put like an old car. What was his car? Oh, there you go, Brian. His car was a Leyland Marina. A lot of, I feel like a lot of people are showing their age with some of these cars. I will say. No, I, I, you, you, you would have got that if you, you've watched Top Gear. You watched a lot of Top Gear. You will, you'll, 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 you'll know what that is. They've, they've had it in one of the challenges. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying I don't know it. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry, when, I you. I mean, it's just like it's your first car. Like, yeah. obviously, like. Imagine if they just like retro car straight away and they were actually still 20 and just had a lay them <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? And what's someone's first car? Like, what are people's first cars? I know a lot of like girls like to get the Fiat 500, don't they? I remember like, well, when I, you know, when I was thinking, was the, the, one of the main ones was the um, Fiat Punto. <laughs> oh, I, I had that car as a um, courtesy car uh, for about a week. Yeah, I on single hated ops. it. We are single ops. Yes. Okie doke. Antisocial. <laughs> uh, thank you, EKF. Yeah, for... Uh... Yeah, for a short while, yeah. Yeah, we, I was going to say, we will... Uh... You don't want to miss the A380, because no, like, exactly. I think it's going to throw so much spray. Yes. We're and here for that. Runway's still wet, and I still think we're going to have a bit more of a downfall in the next yeah. few minutes. Uh, Mrs. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, so that front half of the Monarch uh, DC-10 is... Uh... They kind of use it for like school groups and stuff as well. They do. Lot. Um, but I think you can just, they've got quite a few static aircraft over there. If you haven't been, um, they do, do great tours over there. Yeah, uh, I've been on the Concorde oh, tour, it's decent. Well, there's a guy called Gareth, isn't he? Gareth Bond, who uh, yes. does them. So, um, you know, he does the Concorde tour uh, predominantly. And uh, yeah, well worth a trip. Just obviously, check for obviously if you're from around there, if you're not from around there and in a different country, then it's going to be a bit of a track for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it might be worth that trip, I've got to be honest. It's a good trip, but I, w- I wouldn't say it'd be worth travelling hard- like over... Uh... Halfway across the world for or anything. Yeah. If you're, if you're in this neck of the woods, like... If you love Concord, though, it might be worth it. Yeah, if you want to, you know, maybe you want to go and see all the ones dotted around, check them all off. I won't lie, I wouldn't mind doing that. You know, if, if I had an unlimited budget. Yeah, definitely. So we do have a Ryanair that's uh, just turned on to finals. That's over Hyde at the moment. I was just wondering yes, why sir. that Ryanair isn't moving. Uh, J Day's first car in 1988 was a Ford Cortina. It's just a good shout, that isn't it? That car. I, I could just imagine having a Ford Cortina as my first car, just ragging it all over the place. And do we have a new member, Bev Ooh. C? Welcome. Welcome, Bev. Thank you for joining. Um, Hope you enjoy everything that goes along with it. You get the emotes in the chat and you also get to join the Think Planes Clubhouse if you're on Facebook. Yes, that goes for any gifted members as well. I know we did have some gifted memberships before. So, uh, yep, search Think Planes Clubhouse if you are on Facebook. You'll be prompted to uh, enter your YouTube username when you click join. Please make sure you put that in. It makes my life a lot easier to uh, cross-reference. Yes. And uh, there we all have a good old chat. It's not moving. I want to wait for it to uh, get (laughs) shifting. I don't uh, want to go. It's really weird. I don't know why it's not. There is an Air France. Well, it is in Air France. There's an EasyJet as well. They're on the taxi. I think a Virgin Atlantic has pushed as well. Let's have a look. It's got... Oh, 
Oh, we've got a cafe on the way out. Oh, excellent. That's going back to Hong Kong. It's an A350. Unfortunately, it's on the wrong one, boy. Alas. Hashtag gutted. Oh, yeah, I can see the tail now. I didn't see that before. Uh, what have we got on finals? We've got a Ryanair on finals. It's a 737 from Faro. I think that was the one we saw out this morning. I remember that yeah. going out. But, I mean, that's that's a good old distance away still. That must be over Stockport by now. Um, yeah, it literally just passed Stockport now. That's why I'm finding it weird that they're not having this Ryanair come on. Weird. They, they, I can, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not panning down there because you can only literally just see the top of the tail and I can, that, that tail's not moving. 18 minutes now it's, uh, for the Emirates. It's passing over, it's starting to pass over the Peak District. Oh, Peak? Peak? Did you say Peak District? Because like, that's that not is, that far away. That's, that, that, that is like the Peak District down there, isn't it? Like where it is? No, no, sorry, it's a bit it's south. It's over Derby. No, no, it's, it's quite yeah. close. No, I'm, but, yeah, I mean, it's yeah not, I was going to say, it's not that far. It's not that far. No, you're right. Absolutely. Yeah. I just didn't think it moved that, that quickly down there. So that, that's why it came as a shock <laughs> you to me. the rain was coming. It's like, <laughs> I can't at least think played that in the I put, uh, put the foot down for Simon and Liz. Put the throttle down. <laughs> like, come on, guys. Let's get there. All that talk of my old first car, I just want to get in the Think Planes chat. <laughs> We'll uh, stay on the cafe, uh, the cafe for a short while. Sounds good. That, that, that right now is just still there. Very perplexing. Yeah. Thanks. Not sure what's happening at the moment. Oh, Ford's as first car, Tina's first car, Ford Capri. He reminds me of Capri Sun. That's all I'm thinking of when I'm seeing Ford Capri. Anyone's got a scanner and they're listening in? Should let us know. There's another. There's Rhino now. Not a problem, Martin. Thank you for tuning in today. It's been great to have you. Yeah, there's a fair look at that. There's a lot of spray on that runway still. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much gifting uh, 10 memberships. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. You have just received a gift of membership as well. Please do say thank you if you're in the chat. That's amazing. The support today for the channel has been absolutely next level. Yeah. And we do really appreciate we it. We do. All we want to do, ask if you, if you <laughs> shall I say that again? All yes, we'd ever ask if you press the like button. I know, I know I'm half on about that. I know I'm like a broken record with it. But it's because I mean it and it's true. Should we press the like button? Oh. Unsubscribe if you unsubscribe, obviously. Uh, but everything else is a mega, mega bonus. So Absolutely. thank you so much for everyone's generosity yeah, today. Thank you so much. Towards the channel. As again, it's just been another show that I've really enjoyed from the beginning to end. Yeah. It, like, how long have we been out? Six, six hours. Slowly six, six hours. Yeah, it feels like about two and a half. Yeah, six hours. Just to close by in the blink of an eye. There's sometimes when you do a stream and it's like you're here and you're like going... You're kind of like, oh, yeah. There are days you don't feel it. You know, I think, to be honest, I think it's it's been a nice steady flow of traffic as well today. Oh, it's right now going. Um, when it's um, not as busy, it feels a lot more difficult. Matt, we are still here. Oh, I hope you enjoyed your breakfast. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, that's the sort of thing. Do you buy any plants? That's <laughs> <laughs> the question. That's the killer question we all need to know. <laughs> yeah, Andy saying uh, maybe looks at the weather radar and uh, gone for a lie down. Well, Nice around the way. That was uh, to Alicante. Thank you, Mike. So we will have another SAS coming in. Then we'll have the uh, Ryanair from uh, Fake Brussels. <laughs> and then it should really be the Emirates A380. Cool. And, uh, so we'll look forward to that. And we should have a few departures in between that. So that should be it. 
The one good thing, though, about this this runway being closed is we're guaranteed that we're going to get a decent spray shot. Yes, exactly. There we go. Every cloud so, uh, has a sometimes you just showery don't. lining at the moment. <laughs> showery lining. Um, John said his first car was a Vauxhall, a Vauxhall Victor uh, with a bench seat in the front. It cost £30. Pounds. Get in there. Wow, it's cheap, isn't it? It's crazy, isn't it? How, um, like, you know, we, we, look, we look at numbers so differently. I know. That probably still, it'd probably like... I don't know, 3000 pounds in today's money or something stupid, that wouldn't it? And uh, Ian Brown with the 199 Super Chat oh, saying uh, here for all of the Chewy Dreamliners and Crazy Chat. Oh, well, thank well, you. Well, thank you so much, Ian. Glad you've been enjoying it. Exactly. We did have a good Chewy uh, Tui Dreamliner like, hour before, didn't we? Well, we say did. hour, like, there was quite a lot. So that was a stripy tail, so I'm going with Air France. Oh, you are wet. Woohoo! Air France back to Paris. Except now I can't see me screen because I've looked at the sky. Well done, Les. Well done. Okay. And I think the EasyJet is uh, coming on, come on on the earlier taxiway now, and he's going to go in front of the Cathay Pacific. Cool. I can own that hour though. Thanks for the uh, update on the SAS Peter. And yeah, my, I don't know, they, they went to the single up, so was it like 12, 5 past 12? 12 on the dot, but really. Yeah. Uh, not sure why. Not sure why, but uh, oh well. Like you say, we will get that spray shot of the Emirates. So I'm not complaining, because this is what we're really here for now for this next bit. I mean, yes. the cafe's a me- mega bonus. But the main reason that we, uh, we've hung around a little bit longer is to get that spray shot. Absolutely. Hashtag mega spray. But, uh, Matt saying, uh, of course, we had to buy plants. Uh, but breakfast, breakfast before that was a very nice thank you. Oh, oh nice that's to hear good. That. Nice that you're having a good time on uh, thing. Yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to just put this brolly down for a bit. It's annoying holding it. Well, to be honest, well, ready to go. I'm getting to the point now where I don't want this on there, but I know that I'm probably are going to have a bit more rain. Can you take this until I need it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I thank you Bev saying uh, obviously our new member saying I've been watching uh, a couple of shows since uh, sorry my hair got in the way then. Uh, since I heard about you at Heathrow on that oh. windy day oh brilliant uh, so decided to t- so decided, sorry I really can't speak today uh, it's all going wrong now <laughs> so I decided to treat myself today a great show guys by the way thank oh, you so much thank you so much well, I'm glad you decided to uh, to join that was awesome I, I love it when you hear, you know, people who just like come down for a few shows and then it's like, oh, I really want to get in. Absolutely. A good afternoon, Matt, down in Melbourne. Better late than never, you'll be in time to see the Emirates arrive. That's 600, and I really didn't want it to be a 600. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, Peter, I think it just depends on what ATC, uh, what routings they give them. I'm assuming, and why it's been coming up from the south or going down south and going across. I'm yeah, it's, but it's just what's planned in with the winds as well, isn't it? And yes. the traffic going across Europe and everything. It's all tied in with that. There's a lot of many, there's a great many variables that go into it. Uh, so, that was that an easy job? I was going to Belfast. Well, this is a Cafe Pacific A350. I was going to Hong Kong then. That would be a really good guess. a good assumption. Uh, okay. Well, let's get this one. Oh, look how early that's up. That's silly. That is mental. Slight times when we're doing shorts and stuff like that short form content and we've got plane powering out of Manchester that, that, that is did. powering that out is. that is that, literally that was perfect how it crashed that as well awesome I hope someone, some people here who were taking photos got some really good shots of that uh, Ian Brown says it's pure sun in Sheffield now I don't think the weather knows what he's doing uh, Dave Nicholas with the uh, 3 pound 80 super chat saying oh. uh, lurker loving the stream and the 380s Oh, well, thank brilliant. you. We love our lurkers. And we have one more A380 for you. We do. You. So, uh, that's a bonus. Absolutely. But thank you so much. It's uh, really appreciated. Absolutely. 
so it's uh, it's nice to get so many you know no, we get we got a lot of people in, but it's nice to have like so many people on the bank holiday, you know, having their day off and everything to join us. Absolutely. I mean, I know the weather's a bit miserable, so at least help. we can uh, provide some entertainment on a rainy day. There we go. That was a really nice landing. That one. And uh, Craig B with the two ninety nine super sticker of the thumbs up, I think that is. So a lot of So you should see me. I'm like t two inches away from my phone squinting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Really appreciate that. Even though I can never see what these stickers are. I mean, I get to know what they are after a while. Like the behind the scenes ones that Jim always says. I don't know what that looks like now. All the hype. Right. I know what that one looks like. So we've got anything? Yes, we have. We've got, another, we've got the sass that's going out down at the bottom of the runway now. So that one. We're sponsored by sass now. The sass hour. The sass hour. Just too sassy. Sassy. Oh, thank you, Ian. Saying that you have been amazing on camera today. Well, Modfather, you have been amazing. Mr. Modfather, you are next level. Yes. I have been amazing. I'll take that. But you've been next level. Yeah, so thank all you so all much. All our months have been fantastic as always. Next level, and like the people who've just come in and started helping in the last couple of days have been excellent. You know, just coming in yes. from what I hear, interacting beautifully with everyone. So, thank you to them. But you know, the team who've been there doing it for a while as well, just yeah, awesome. So, we've got Ryan right next in from Fate Brussels. Then it is it the is beast, beast that is the EK17 A380 from Dubai. And I just noticed that uh, ATR going, so oh, I, I didn't <laughs> there's miss an it ATR once. going, <laughs> I didn't miss it for once. Sorry, this is a left-hand pan, that's why it's a bit rubbish. There we go. If I do pulls on the left-hand pan, I'm good. And uh, I can confirm that the Emirates and the new livery will still not be coming to Manchester as its next book flight, or book flight, plan flight, is to Jeddah. That was short, though, isn't it? That's it, I'll be back. That is, that so it could, it could be coming back in the morning or something. Oh, well, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We don't know. We can only hope. I would pop out just to see that one, you know, just to get yeah. a shot of it. Yeah. And here is the our penultimate arrival. Absolutely. Which is this Ryanair seven three seven eight hundred. Oh, are they uh, beastly? So no, I was watching because we didn't we didn't get a chance to watch yesterday because someone was watching the golf. Uh, so I was watching Kevin and Rudy last night. They're planning another twenty four hour uh, stream in June from the H Hotel. Yeah. So the first one was great. Yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. obviously so. Obviously, with the time difference, I remember tuning in. I was like, our time, like late morning, early afternoon. I guess it was night time there. Uh, when, whatever it was, sometime around that. Um, also, morning, actually, like, that makes sense. And uh, I could tell you, like, I think Kevin was just so grateful for anyone trying. I think, because I think Rudy had gone for a nap. Yeah. Which, uh, can't blame him. Love a nap. Um, the energy that you have to do. No. Do you want that? Right, okay, well, I'll just get the umbrella. At least. Yeah, thanks. There we go. That's brilliant. <laughs> the rain's back. Um, but yeah, I think he was so grateful for oh, absolutely. people in the chat. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for that then. So the beast is now number one to land. So uh, it's just over Cheadle at the moment. And awesome. You should be here in about a minute and a half time. Um, well, we can't wait for this because I think it's going to rip a load of spray Absolutely. Up. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to enjoy this one. I'm going to record it as well. Awesome. Uh, Beastie, thank you so much for the £2 super chat saying uh, another fab show with great conversation. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Really appreciate that. Apparently it's uh, number four worldwide, that A380. Always draws in a crowd. Can you just tell me when it gets to heal? Uh, I can. Which is this sass one. Get... Oh, look at this. It's up early. It's a cheedle at the moment. As uh, you say, it is starting to get a little bit heavier, this rain. We're fun packing up. Okay, let's go in the beast. Yeah, I was going to say, there's nothing else due out or anything. So, it's literally now just a case of waiting. Yeah, I thought I saw it there, but... Oh. 
I mean, taking one for the team and getting soaked, and I even put my hood up. Boom. Huh? I just gave you a wink. Oh, cheeky wink. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't kick the tripod. There it is. So, enjoy this, everyone. Wowzers, that ripped up a lot, still doing it. Amazing. Hope you all enjoyed those inboards that. are amazing those. Just they are. so much. Uh, Lloyd, thank you. I knew they had done a second one, I didn't know whether it like it was finished I'll yet. I'll take but the reg on that. Uh, EOG, uh, apparently yeah, it's currently en route to Glasgow. Oh, that is that's, that's rude, that Emirates, that, that is rude. rude. <laughs> we deserve it. Glasgow's a great airport, but we deserve it more. That's how I'm taking it. Right, I am going to grab the laptop. I'm going to yep. shut this uh, stream down. But uh, can we just say... A massive thank you to everybody who has watched today, joined, liked, subscribed, sent oh. any super chats or joined as a member or gifted anything. You're all amazing. You have been fantastic today. Absolutely. And it's really helped us get through this and, you know, when the weather hasn't been great and everything. Yeah. So Mons, thank you. You've done a fab job. Uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who's donated, as Liz has said. Yeah. It's been next level. Uh, Liz says mods. Simon, you've been amazing. I've Liz, been amazing. Thank you. Amazing. It's raining. It's chucking it down now, it's, so we're going to yeah. get everything done. Take right care, on. everyone. And we'll see, see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.